If the end of the world comes, who will our hero rush to protect in the first place? Is it possible that parents, trying to dial their number while looking at all the horror that has enveloped the city, hearing that the dialed number is not available, perhaps the young man will be very scared and will want to dial his sister. The next moment she will already be holding her younger sister in her arms, dying and blaming herself, saying that the baby should be patient, because her brother will look for healing restorative water for her and save her. Taking his sister in his arms, the young man and his sister will go to seek shelter. Coming to this shelter, our hero will see his girlfriend kissing another. And maybe he was his friend, so the young man would have wanted to save his friend. But the next moment that friend would want to rip open his life and take away what he needed from the hero. Thoughts at the last moment about what if it would be possible to start all over again. And waking up again in his bed, our hero could not believe that he was not in a dream. He really was reborn anew, looking at the alarm clock and the date that proved it. Thinking about his life, the young man thought that he would like to have the most powerful equipment and unique strength so that all enemies tremble before him. Waking up again in his bed, our hero tried to understand, looking at the clock and at the time that was right on his alarm clock and realized that it was three hours before the beginning of the end of the world. Trying to pinch himself, the young man realized that it was not a dream because it hurt him and thought that he was really reborn, asking this question. Looking away from himself, the young man saw Yoon Jong, who was sleeping right next to him, and then realized that he had to kill the girl or thank her, because if he and lover Zio had conspired to kill him and jinx -soo, the young man would not have been able to be reborn. At this moment, the ring was shining on the young man's hand again. Looking at the girl, the guy understood that in this life he needed to take good care of his loved ones and loved ones and take revenge on his abusers. The young man was sitting on the bed and holding his fist tightly, on which the ring was shining. The guy was saying that he would get to everyone, if only they would wait. The next moment, a stranger burst into their room, saying that the young man should open, because there was a bypass of the room and knocked the door right off his feet. Here in front of our hero were two guys who were holding bats in their hands and these guys were talking about the fact that these two bastards were here, as expected. The next moment, one of them, addressing Yoon Jong, said that he loved the girl so much, and she did not want to notice him at all. Seeing our hero and the guy asked if it was her man, saying that now they will break all three legs of him. Seeing strangers standing with bats in the doorway, the girl did not understand who it was. Getting out of bed and addressing our hero Yoon Jong told Yong Fen that who was it, because she was scared. The young man thought to himself that this bitch was playing innocent so badly, as he had not noticed it before. The young man reflected, looking at the girl who was lying in his bed. The next moment, they rushed at our hero with a bat, saying that the young man was a brat, dared to take the girls he liked. But our hero tried to dodge and said that the guy was hitting him too slowly. The next moment, looking at his abuser, the young man said that at the end of the world there will be one saying, the end of the world is the strongest world. At this very moment, our hero got up from his bed and, continuing to say this phrase, hit his abuser right with his head into the wall. The neighbor who came with the guy said that the young man was very strong. At this moment, the girl who was lying in bed and could not understand how Yongfen became so cool. But Yongfen hadn't dealt with everyone yet, and therefore said that they should have continued, addressing the young man who was standing right in front of him. He said that he was next. So our hero hit the guy right in front of him and said that today, when the time of the new world comes, they guys will beat him. Zombies will almost bite him to death and he will miss the first opportunity to gain strength. So he decided to deal with them first and beat out debts from them, hitting his abuser right in the face. Looking at the guy who was lying on the floor, our hero told him to clean up his wounded carcass and get a good feel for how cruel the new world is. At this moment, our hero was about to leave and the girl asked Yongfen where he was going. A young man talked about how really she didn't want it in the next moment, turning to Yoon Jong. The young man said that he was sick of the girl, and that their relationship was over. Leaving, our hero said, putting on his t-shirt, that the next time they saw each other, it would be the day of her death and looking after the young man, she did not understand what had happened. Thinking about what nonsense this loser is talking about, because they have just started and have already parted. Our hero went outside and looking at the weather did not understand why the sky had darkened so much and saw the seeds of darkness that were flying everywhere. At that moment the young man realized that the end of the world would begin earlier, and said that it was urgent to warn his sister, who was not next to him, so the young man dialed her on the phone. At that moment, his younger sister was drying her hair, 
Her phone rang and answering her brother's call, the girl asked what happened. Did the young man miss her, his gorgeous, sweet, beautiful sister? Then our hero realized that he had no time for jokes and told his sister to listen to him carefully. The young man explained, saying that right now she would lock all the windows and doors and said that no matter who came, she should not have opened it and be sure to wait for his arrival, asked if his sister understood. The girl thought that her brother was joking and asked what happened, because it was safe in their dorm. Her sister said and that there was no need to exaggerate so much, but looking out the window she saw a bunch of incomprehensible people, so our hero told her on the phone to do quickly as he said. The young man also explained to his sister that if she hesitated, it would be too late and the girl realized that the people from below were behaving strangely, and then she saw that these people were eating others. Our hero tried to call his sister and telling her to do as he said. The next moment, looking at the phone, the young man realized that he did not have a signal, although this time it was safe enough in the Jinxu dormitory. He still had to hurry, the young man thought. Then, paying attention to his hand, the young man saw that the ring was responding. It turns out there was a merchant nearby, and the young man thought that the universe was helping him. The next moment, the young man was walking around the city and thought that the energy to which the ring responds turns out to be in the women's shower of the campus. Going there, he thought that apparently men's and women's showers are not at all different. At that moment he saw that someone was sitting on the floor in front of the entrance. Then someone turned to him, and our hero saw that it was a zombie that was rushing straight at our hero. Looking at the girl, the young man thought that she had a good figure, I knock out the glass that was behind him. The young man said that he would not stand on ceremony even with the girl. There was an axe behind the glass that he knocked out, and grabbing it, our hero decided to defend himself with it, attacking the girl. The young man said that only dead zombies have value and demolished the zombie's head, then removing the stone from her head. The young man said that even with the weakest gray crystals, it is not worth throwing around. At that moment he held such a crystal right in his hands. Looking at the girl who was a zombie, the young man thought that there was no time and he needed to gain strength as soon as possible to protect his family. At that moment, right in front of him was a gray merchant who had a lower level. A man in a cape was standing in front of him. Our hero, looking at him, realized that he had finally found him. Yongfen understood that in his previous life, he discovered the healer merchants after three months, and now he found him so quickly. After the end of the world, strange creatures called merchants appeared. From weak to strong, they were divided into nine levels, gray, white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue and purple. They could trade with people, represented various drugs for development and special equipment. The next moment, when our hero approached such a merchant, it showed him that the trade was being initiated. The next moment, windows appeared in front of the young man. The young man said that, as in that world, you only need to approach the merchant with the crystal, and trade is immediately initiated. There were several windows in front of our heroes, and he could choose what he could buy. Right in front of him was a level 1 development potion. The initial price for it was 100 gray crystals. The discounted price, the ring effect was 40 crystals. There was also water and pills. Looking at all these options in front of him, the guy was happy to see that the discount of the ring remained. The next moment he saw that there was a gun in one of the windows, the initial price was 800 gray crystals, the discounted price, the ring effect, was 320 gray crystals, so clicking on it, Yongfen thought that they were interested in that amazing function of getting high level things once a week at a low price. It worked, and looking at the ring that glowed, our hero wanted to look at this function. A window with a craft hammer appeared in front of him. Our hero was very surprised when he saw it. The initial price for the hammer was 15 o green crystals, and the discounted price of our hero with the ring effect was 600 gray crystals. The young man thought that it was unrealistic, because he came across an excellent craftsman's hammer. The next moment, he found himself in the shower again and was informed that the trading session was over, clutching his head. The young man thought that he did not have enough to buy a development potion even at a discount. He urgently needed to raise the level, then he would be able to enjoy all the benefits of the end of the world. At that moment, he paid attention to the sound that was near him, realizing that there were more people at the shower. At this moment, the zombie was walking towards the girls who were in the shower, one of them grabbed a knife and told her not to approach. But then a friend told the girl to give her a knife. Putting the knife in front of her, Wang Yu said that she was already a zombie, that if the girl came closer, she would be in trouble. Then they saw the hero who cut off the girl's head and looking at it, the girls understood that the guy had killed her, but that our hero was telling her to shut up and not talk nonsense. It is clear that the girl has already turned into a zombie, she is no longer a person, if not to kill her, then the girls would have died. 
right in front of him, our hero was explaining the whole situation to two girls. Then the girl who was behind said that the girl had really become a zombie. Her friend said that she wanted to bite them and it was good that the young man appeared. Thanking our hero for saving them and introducing himself, the girl said that her name was Yan Yu. And this is Duan Mu, pointing to a friend nearby, Yu said. The next moment, the girl asked what our hero's name was, but the girlfriend next to her tried to understand what kind of zombies these creatures were and our hero understood what the girls in front of them pointed out. He knew them. Previously, they were the best fighters of the Thunder Rose base, the skillful shooter Yan Yu and the doctor of mutation animals Duan Mu. While our hero was reasoning, there was a zombie behind him that tried to attack the young man. Zombies tried to attack our hero. But the next moment the girl who was standing right in front of our hero threw a knife at her, which she had held in her hand before, and then our hero realized that what a quick throw the girl had. Speaking about this and turning around to the zombie that was right in front of him, the guy said that if he wanted to deal with zombies, even getting into the heart was useless, because it was necessary to chop them off in the head. At that very moment the young man took up his axe and chopped off the zombie's head. Yu, looking at the guy, thought to herself that this guy was not only a strongman, but also abnormal. Why was he looking at zombies like that, she thought, or was there something wrong with the corpse? Our hero at this moment was thinking that last time these two girls organized the most combat-ready Blood Rose group. Yan Yu, a legendary level 8 shooter, has the ability to hit a target at very long distances. Duan Mu, a level 6 mutation specialist, can control mutated plants and animals. Our hero understood that before his rebirth in the last world, their bloody rose was at enmity with his third base of the heavenly disc. He even entered into a fight with them. He could not even think that now they would meet like this. Holding the head of a zombie at this moment our hero was thinking about it all. The next moment, when our hero was examining the corpse of a zombie that was right in front of him, the girl bent down to him and asked. Probably he was looking for exactly this. At that moment she had a crystal embryo in her hand and the girl asked where it came from. Looking at the girl, our hero realized that it turns out that the girls call it crystal embryos. Then you pointed at his girlfriend and said that Duan Mu had an anatomy. She had just found him. At that moment the girl was examining the body of a zombie that was lying right in front of her. And when she saw that attention was paid to her, she was embarrassed and said that she just wanted to look a little. Turning to the young man, everyone said that it was necessary to act together, one person more, the group's strength would be added. Looking at the girl, our hero could not think that the girl organizer of a hostile group in a new life would invite him to organize her. Then Yu, approaching her friend and asked Duan Mu what she thought about it and her friend said that she didn't mind. The young man had a clear look, he must have been a good person. Looking at the two girls who were right in front of him, our hero began to reason to himself that if he wanted revenge, he definitely needed to organize his group. Otherwise it would be very difficult to get Sayo in the leadership circles of the Heavenly Disc. And these girls had a great potential in which to invest. The next moment, while the girls were talking to each other, our hero put his head, with which he had been sitting before, and began to approach the girls. Then Duan Mu said that they probably needed to get dressed and her girlfriend said that this boy had probably seen them in this guise for too long. Turning to our hero, Duan Mu asked if the young man could wait for them outside, saying that they would change clothes and talked about him not peeping. Then our hero went out the shower door and said that he would go see if there were other zombies outside. After changing clothes, the girl asked if the young man knew how their friend became a zombie, and if there were zombies only in the shower. The young man said that he did not know this and said that it was also full of zombies outside. Then the girl said that, probably, the picture outside is now like in a movie about the end of the world. The girls understood that it was best to find a safe place where they could wait for help. Turning to our hero, the girl asked if she was reasoning correctly. Her girlfriend wanted to interrupt her, but at that moment our hero joined the conversation. Speaking about safe places, the young man was very surprised, because it was impossible to find him. In this city the number of zombies is growing at a terrifying pace, so they are also developing. The young man said, looking at the girls. Duan Mu was very surprised if zombies could evolve and asked if humans could evolve too. The young man said that they had to go out and talk, because now it was kind of clear outside. The next moment they were on the street and our hero began his story. The young man said that it was necessary to introduce himself, he was Yangfen, he could help girls develop, become as cool as he was. Then the young man decided to voice his conditions. He had three of them. First, in any of their actions, they obeyed his orders. Second, he did not need a burden, they had to follow him and give all the embryos of crystals. Third, traitors will be killed. Hearing the conditions, you asked what Duan Mu thought about it. 
Then the girl said that his nonverbal gestures showed that he was telling the truth and he probably had already developed. Otherwise he would not have been so strong. Then everyone wondered if the girl really thought that the young man had really developed. She was interested. So she was a little I thought about it and said that they agreed to his terms. The next moment, taking an axe to himself, throwing it over his shoulder, our hero said that they had to follow him. The next moment they came to the first academic building, where there were a lot of zombies and hiding behind a wall watched what they could do next. You asked that there were a lot of zombies and where they had to go. At that moment our hero held a crystal embryo in his hand and said that they had too many questions, so they just had to quietly follow him and collect these crystals. The next moment, our hero was already going out to the zombies, and the girls watching him thought, did the young man really want to go alone against a crowd of zombies? After that, a zombie turned out to be in front of our hero, and attacking him. The young man cut the zombie in half, then a crystal fell in front of him and the girl looked at the crystal while lifting it, saying that it looks like some elements connected in the central nervous system of a person. As a result of the reaction, a crystal appeared. Maybe this was the reason why they became zombies. Then her friend, addressing Duanmu, asked, that is, the girl thought that this crystal could make them zombies. Then looking at the crystal Duanmu said that theoretically this possibility exists, but she had to study the composition of this crystal in the laboratory. Looking at how our hero fights with all the zombies from you, I wondered why the young man collects these crystals. The girls were watching our hero and then Duanmu said that the guy was good. At that moment a zombie started walking behind them, who tried to attack the girls, but then suddenly something hit the zombie and the girls turned around and heard the sound of the car from which the young man was getting out. A young man named Lin Tian, the son of the founder of the corporation Lin Jai and who is madly courting Yan Yu. The guy said that they were probably connected with fate with the girl and even in such circumstances they met again. The young man said, getting out of his car, at that moment the zombie that he had knocked down was lying right on his hood. I appeal to the girls, the guy said that if he was around, these zombies would definitely not touch them and said that you would jump into his car. This would take her out of this dark place. Looking at the guy you asked Lin Tian why he stuck to them like a bath leaf, Privately, the girls could not understand how he got here. At this moment, our hero, who was dealing with zombies, was talking about why the girls were standing still doing nothing, because he had to follow right behind him. Then turning to our hero they said that a very annoying guy had come, the main major of their university, Lin. Looking in front of him, our hero saw a young man standing near the car and showing off in front of the girls the next moment he approached our hero and told the guy that he had excellent skills and he just needed a bodyguard, offering our hero to be with him because he had money. Having heard this, our hero completely ignored the young man. Then he put a check in his hands, said why he looked down on him, because this check with the space in the amount column, the young man could write at any time and the required amount and then Lin would already cover any of his expenses. Our hero, looking at the guy and thinking to himself that this major once again reminds him that it was necessary to accumulate money and food and weapons as soon as possible. The next moment zombies began attacking them, while our hero was distracted by their acquaintance. Saving the girl, the guy said that the zombies were more and more and it seems that they attracted the attention of a group of zombies, so it was necessary to break through and escape from here. So the young man asked the girls to follow him rather. Our heroes were leaving, and Lin asked you to wait for him. The guy didn't understand at all why this beggar he was talking about. Who is our hero? No one notices him. He didn't even want to ask him who he was, and Lin was the only son of the founder of the corporation Lin Jai. At that moment, the zombies were running after our heroes, who had moved away from the place where Lin was standing. Seeing that the zombies did not even notice him, Lin thought that he could go alone against Tan and said that they could run. At that moment the zombies rushed straight at our heroes and surrounded them, so the young man who was standing in front of the girls did not understand how it was possible. Looking behind him, Duanmu said that the flower in front of him seemed to be unlike the others and the young man, seeing the flower that was in front of him, understood that it was a level 2 flower, thought to himself that how the pumped flowers appeared so quickly, even faster than him, they develop, looking at the flower, thought are a hero. Then Duanmu asked our hero if the flowers could also develop. At that very moment this flower began to spray its poisonous seeds and the zombies breathed them. Seeing this, our hero asked everyone to be careful, because this level 2 flower can be directed by the attacks of a crowd of zombies. While our hero was dealing with zombies, the girls helped him and did not understand what they needed to do. 
because the zombies were getting bigger every time. Then our hero, fighting with the next one, told them to hide behind him, because these entry-level zombies move too slowly, so they could break through together. At this moment, while the young man was being attacked by another zombie Duenmu, the girl, saving her friend, said that the girl should stand between them, and you would deal with those who were behind. Looking at you, the young man thought to himself that it was no wonder that she was the strongest fighter of the Bloody Rose, because she was ready to deal with a crowd of zombies with her bare hands. Then suddenly a car drove up and then Lin told you not to be afraid of anything, because he was already here. Pressing the gas pedal, the young man told a bunch of zombies to get away from his beloved and the next moment he was already knocking everyone under him. Seeing an opportunity in this, our hero shouted for everyone to retreat to the university building and protect the entrance. Running into the building first, Lin closed the door, then the girl who ran right behind him was asked what the young man was doing. At that moment he was holding the door on the other side. And then Ayu, knocking, said that Lin Tian would urgently open the door and hearing this, the young man said that there was then one condition, as soon as she agreed to be his girlfriend, he would immediately let them in. The girl knocked on the door, which was closed and Yu said that Lin was the most terrible person in the world and then hearing this, the young man thought that the girl was in danger and at his own risk came here to look for her, and what about the girl? The guy explained that he had been courting her for a whole year, and she was shaming him now, tangled with unknown beggars, Lin said. At that moment, the zombies began to press on the building. The girls realized that they were in danger. Then our hero fought with the zombies and turning to him, they asked, saying that they could not go in. What should they do? The young man shouted for the girls to go to the next dining room. They shouted to the guy to be careful at this moment our hero was fighting with several dozen zombies. Realizing that it was very difficult for him, our friend said to himself that it could not go like this, because first we had to deal with that mutant flower otherwise there would be more and more zombies. Breaking through to the flower, the young man thought about why this flower had developed so quickly to level 2. At this moment, while he was walking towards him, the zombies continued to attack the young man. Having reached the flower, our hero carried an axe over it and began to chop off the petals of this flower, realizing that everything was so very firm and the young men thought that at the current level he could only pierce the outer layer of the flower. At this moment while our hero was dealing with the flower, he began to scatter his seeds everywhere. The young man thought that the mutants of the second level appeared in his past life and flowers only a week after the beginning of the end of the world. Did his rebirth trigger the butterfly effect? Our hero reasoned. At that moment the seeds fell on all the zombies and they rushed at the young man again. He understood that it was not very good because the flower makes the zombies attack and attack even more. While he was fighting, there were zombies behind him, too. But at that moment when the young man thought that everything was already over and a knife flew into the zombie's head. When he saw this, our hero realized that there were two girls in front of him and then when he saw them, he asked why they had returned. You said that the young man said that he did not need a burden, and although he and his girlfriend did not have much strength, but they would help in any way they could, the girls said. At this moment, one of them was holding a canister filled with liquid, and Yu was looking at the young man. The next moment they had already approached our hero and were standing on both sides of him, helping the young man to fight the zombies. Our hero understood that, to his surprise, he really teamed up with enemies from a previous life, then and suddenly paying attention to the girl's hand. Our hero saw that she was injured and you said that she had just not noticed how the zombie grabbed her and said that it was nothing terrible, it was necessary to deal with everyone first. Duanmu reported that she brought vegetable oil and said that it was possible to add a little spark. Seeing what the girl did, the guy thought that it was a great idea. The next moment, you reported that she would cover them and ran forward to the zombies. Then the guy told the girl to be careful, because there were zombies on all sides. The next moment, he was already pouring oil directly on the flower and throwing a lighter into it to set this flower on fire, thinking that it was still good that this flower was level 2. But if it reached 3, then it was no longer possible to burn it with ordinary fire. The young man explained to the girl who was standing next to her. Then he saw the pollen and realized that he had to hold his breath, because pollen is capable of paralyzing and plunging into a deep sleep. So he shouted to the girls that they had to leave the house soon because even level 1 zombies are knocked out by this pollen. At this moment, the young man shouted to you asking where his wife was, walking through the zombie mountains, thinking did they kill all these zombies and approaching the flower that he had previously dealt with. Our hero Lin asked what kind of thing it was. A strange thing was sticking out of the ground, thinking that there was also a bud that was sticking out of the ground. The next moment, the young man realized that he was suddenly impaled on a strange flower that pierced the young man through the body. 
standing in the middle of the square, you said that turning to Yongfen, that she could not run anymore. She was dizzy, seeing that the girl was ill. The young man approached her and taking her by the hand realized that she was infected with zombies and hearing this. The girl did not understand how this could happen, saying that she didn't want to become one of them and said that he should have killed her. Throwing the girl on his back, the young man told her not to worry, she still has chances, but if she really becomes a zombie, he will not be more lenient to her and will kill her. At that moment, our hero was thinking to himself that Yu's situation was serious. While he was carrying the girl, he was thinking that he had not yet pumped up to level 1, so the ring can only clean the body bitten by a level 0 zombie. You need to go back to the women's shower room and climb to the level, the only way they could save her and I think the young man. Carrying the wounded woman, her young man told Duan Mu to run after them as soon as possible and the girl caught up, saying that it was urgent to save you. At that moment they were being chased by a crowd of zombies. Our heroes entered the women's shower room, which was called a not bad bathroom at all, and at that moment our hero saw a merchant. Yu, who was sitting on the back of our hero, thought that she was very dizzy and then our hero asked how the girl felt. After putting the girl on the bench, our hero asked Duan Mu to give him the crystals and the girl asked why he needed the crystals, unless they could save you. Looking at the girl, the young man thought why is she crying, because her friend will not die and thought that he needed the collected crystals. At this moment, Yu, who was still conscious, looked at our hero and at the merchant who was nearby, not understanding who was there in a grey raincoat, why there was someone else in the women's locker room. Heading to the merchant, our hero realized that these grey crystals were barely enough and approaching the merchant he started trading. The next moment the girl saw the young man disappear from his place, thinking that he was missing. The next moment, Yu, seeing that the young man had left, did not understand if he would not cure her and she would become a zombie. The frightened girl was looking at that moment at the place where our hero disappeared. He entered the trade and thought that the end of the world had just begun, and a bottle of mineral water was already a table and four grey crystals. These were not merchants, but real moneylenders, the young man thought, looking at the window of the system that was in front of him, then adding a level 1 development medicine to the basket, the initial price of which was 100 grey crystals, and the price is now 40 grey crystals and mineral water. One piece, the initial price was 10 crystals, now it has become 4 grey crystals and our hero pressed confirm payment. The young man was very glad that he had a ring that has a discount function. He needed one bottle of medicine to develop to level 1 and one bottle of water. After collecting all this, the young man turned to the merchant and he held these items in his hands and said that after the discount 44 grey crystals were needed and the savings were 60 crystals. After drinking the drink, our hero thought that in his previous life he had missed the time for development in the early stages and eventually fell into the hands of Zio and could not even use the powers of the ring to the full. In the end he had to watch his loved ones die. This time, no one will dare to touch his loved ones, the young man thought, raising his level to the first. Also, the young man thought that Yu and Duan Mu could not yet be completely trusted. The method of cleaning the body with the ring should remain a secret for now. At this moment the young man was leaving and the trade was completed. Seeing that the girl was lying on the bench, our hero asked what happened to Yu. Duan Mu, who was sitting next to her friend, did not understand how Yongfen could suddenly appear again. But now was not the time to think about it, and so the girl shouted for the young man to look at you faster and it seems that she had already passed out. Our hero, looking at the girl, understood that everything was very bad, because she was already supposed to turn soon and said that there was no time. At this moment, Duan Mu was watching what the young man was doing and did not understand what had to be done. Our hero drank the medicine and leaning directly to the girl's face had to pass it to her. But he thought that she was in a coma and her teeth were tightly closed. Even if he poured a lot of cleansing water, the young man was I'm not sure what the result was from this. Seeing what the young man was doing, the girl was very confused. Everything worked out for our hero and the wound that was on the girl's arm began to heal. So you opened her eyes and hit the young man and asked Yongfen if he really decided to save her that way. Our hero recoiled from the girl and said that how else could he do it if the girl had passed out and could no longer take the medication herself and the next moment he was telling her to drink the leftovers, handing the bottle to the girl. Duan Mu rushed to her friend and said that everything was wonderful because the girl woke up, but she scared her to death if Yongfen had not helped in time. Then you would have been a zombie, her friend said. And then you asked, didn't the young man disappear there, why did he come back? Then Duanmu said that it probably had to do with the one in the grey hoodie who was standing not far from them talking about the merchant, and that the young man disappeared right in front of him, and then also suddenly appeared. After hearing the girl's reasoning, 
Our hero praised her, saying that she was very smart, because it was a merchant they appeared after the end of the world and you only need to approach him with crystals and you can trade. Hearing this, the awakened you said that it was very mysterious, telling about the trade, so the young man bought this bottle of water from him. The girl was interested and asked if he spent a lot of crystals. Also addressing our hero, you said that the young man had to assume that she had borrowed from him and when she dealt with the zombies, she would give the young man this debt. Our hero told you to forget about it, because they had to go already, they lost a lot of time while dealing with this situation. Then Duanmu grabbed her friend by the arm and said that the young man was behind the man. Her friend had not fully recovered yet. Our hero said that it was necessary to take advantage of the fact that these zombies passed out and then they would take out their crystals. Then they saw a friend of Lin, who turned into a zombie and did not understand why he became a zombie. Our heroes were near the academic building and then our hero said that it was necessary to go more carefully. Everything was not easy here. The next moment, the young man felt that something was approaching from behind them and it was a red stalk and then grabbing you. The young man talked about her being careful of this red stalk. At that moment the red stalk began to attack Duanmu, and the girl screamed for Yongfen to help her too. The attack radius of the plant was limited, it was necessary to keep a safe distance than the loach, and they would definitely not get. Our hero explained to the girls, at that moment they suddenly saw that the loach grabbed Duanma and then the girl said that this monster was too fast. The monster used the spores of a level 1 mutant flower and grabbed Duanma. Then our hero, snatching his axe, went to the girl and told her not to twitch, because these spores of that level 2 mutant flower, and the young man said that this flower wanted revenge. Running up to the girl, our hero tried to free her from these stems. Duanmu fell behind him and then looking at the girl, the young man asked if she could walk. It was necessary to step aside and hide, because there were enough problems here. Then Duanmu apologized to our hero, saying that she was already slow. The next moment, the flower started attacking our hero again. Attacking the young man with poison, Yongfen closed his mouth and realized that it was necessary not to breathe, it was poison. But in the next moment he realized that the poison hit him right in the eyes and he could not open his eyes. Just behind him a stalk formed and was already attacking our hero right in the back. Seeing that the bindweed was attacking again, the girls shouted for Yongfen to be careful, and then the ring worked for him. The ring exalted our hero into the sky and the young man thought that it was very good for him that he could be cleansed of poison by the ring. Otherwise today they definitely could not have survived. Opening his eyes, he grabbed his hammer and chopped the tentacles of this plant again. Cutting the tentacles, he saw the cores and thought to himself that they could be here. Looking at the white pearls, as you said, and turning to our hero, she asked what it was. The young man lifting the cores and pearls, said that they were crystals of this flower of the second level. He must not have had time to swallow them, explained Yongfen to the girl, then Yu was very surprised. Can mutants really eat their own kind? Our hero explained that it was so, mutants use the absorption of human bodies and the bodies of other mutants for continuous development and increase in strength. This is a world where the weak die and the strong survive. The next moment, flowers appeared from the ground and then Duanmu told the guys to be careful, because these spores germinate again. Then, looking at the land from which the spores grew, our hero said that these were no longer spores, but that the flower inherited the best from the mutant flower. And then you, who was sitting next to the young man, asked what he was talking about, talking about the best. Then looking at you, the young man said that she he'll find out soon. Getting up from his seat, Yongfen said that they had to go, because they had to go to the shower again and after hearing this, the girl asked if the guy really wanted to come back to trade again. Our hero said that she was very smart, because it was true. Returning to the shower room, which was not a bad bathroom at all, our hero thought to himself that even if we take into account that one white crystal is traded for a thousand grey ones, if you buy that hammer, then there will be nothing left. Approaching the merchant, the young man said that he wanted to start trading. Folding the basket, our hero thought that if he wanted to take a hammer and the girl's two potions of development of level 1 and a gun, so that at least they would not have to waste his time, since they do not really know how to defend themselves. In the basket of our hero was a rare craftsman's hammer, the initial price of which was 15 o gray crystals, and the price now was 600 rare crystals. Also in our hero's basket was a level 1 development potion in the amount of 2 pieces, and the initial price for which was 200 gray crystals but now the price was 80 gray crystals. And the young man also put a gray pistol, level 1. The initial price was 800 gray crystals. The price now was 320 gray crystals. After which, after checking the basket, he pressed the buy button. 
Looking at the system, Yangfen realized that he had spent exactly 1,000 crystals, 1,116 gray crystals, 116 gray crystals and thought that now they could fight, after which he finished trading and reappeared in front of the girls with what he had managed to buy. Addressing you, the young man held a pistol and potions in his hands, saying that everyone could have a potion of development, and that the girls should drink, and also a pistol that they would also be a combat unit. Then you asked if the young man would give them the pistols, then what did he have? Didn't he need a weapon? Our hero explained that he had it, pointing to the hammer near his hand. The young man said that everyone would not understand soon, because he had this weapon and also a ring and a craftsman's profession. In this life Zio had to wait for him and not die too quickly, the young man thought, tasting all the delights of his power. Looking at him, you told Yangfen that he didn't seem to have changed at all, and the young man said that you couldn't see with your eyes from the most important thing and he decided to show something. Having mastered the craftsman's profession in this life, he could create the strongest fully armed group and smear the base of the heavenly disc. Holding the hammer in his hands, the young man said that the transformation of the craftsman took place, and the next moment a long knife appeared from his hammer. Seeing this the girls were very surprised. Our hero said that the craftsman could transform materials from any weapon. And then the young man said that they had to add something against zombies, looking at their weapons and adding another core. The next moment the weapon began to glow and then the young man said that now this blade has the ability to paralyze enemies. Seeing this girl said that it sounded very cool. Showing her scalpel, Duan Mu asked if something could be done from it and the young man said that he could add materials and make them two knives. The next moment he connected the scalpel and the shower nozzle and two knives turned out. Giving them to the girls, the young man told them to try their action. Holding her new knife in her hands, Duan Mu said that the guy forged it with his bare hands and that it was very unscientific. The next moment you gave her friend a development potion, saying that they were pumping and would get abilities, asking our hero about it. The young man only shook his head from side to side, saying that it was a first level potion. It would just develop the hidden capabilities of the girl's organisms a little. Then looking at the potion that was with her, Duan Mu thought it was better to analyze the composition in the laboratory. But then you can also buy such a potion. The next moment, the girl decided to drink potions and then they said that it was unusual, because they felt their body filled with strength. And you, looking at her hands, told our hero that she was ready to kill a hundred zombies now. After they took their weapons and cheered up, the young man said that they needed to go because their next target was the women's dormitory where his sister Yang Jingxiu was hiding. Finding a car, the young man threw zombies out of it and they all climbed into it. At this moment our hero tried to drive as fast as possible, thinking about his sister. Driving up to one female hostel in front of him, there was a bunch of zombies and knocking down another one. The young man realized that the zombies were chasing them and they could block their entrance with a car. The next moment our heroes ran up the stairs and the girls asked Yongfen which room his sister was in. Then the young man explained that she was in room 501 and climbing to the floor where his sister was. The girl said that it seemed their affairs were bad and the door was open. Coming to an empty room where the window was broken, our hero called his sister the next moment. Her you said that there were many signs of a struggle, probably his sister was already dead, the girl said. The young man asked her to be silent and said that this could not have happened. At that moment, climbing onto the shelf where the girl's bed was, Duan Mu informed Yangfen that she had found a phone here. After seeing this, our hero understood that it was his sister's phone. Picking up his sister's phone, he saw that the sports bracelet had been disconnected 15 minutes ago, and the guy realized that she could not have gone far, so they had to split up and look for her. At this moment, the recreation room is on the seventh floor. The girls were tied up and sat surrounded by three guys who talked to him inappropriately and said that the girls would be fine, they promised them that. The guys thought that the end of the world was just fine, because otherwise how could such a beautiful girl get to them? Looking at the sister of our hero, the robbers said. The girl said that one of the robbers should not touch her and that he should let her go otherwise they would deal with her brother. Then the man walking away said that her brother would not help her, so he could save her. The next moment she screamed and told the young man not to touch her. But the robber on the contrary liked it, and he asked the girl to scream even louder. With tears in her eyes, Jinx Yu thought to herself that she was very sorry that she did not listen to him and opened the door to these men who pretended to be kind. Did something bad happen to her today, she thought. At that moment a young man burst through the door and told them to take their hands off the girl. When my sister saw her brother, she was very happy, and the guys who were looking at him did not understand where this young man came from. 
The next moment our hero was telling the man to take his dirty hands off his sister and attack him with his weapon wishing him death. At that moment, three more guys appeared in front of him, saying that the young man was a very bad person. Because did he really run over their boss and maybe the young man was tired of living, since he was so brave, saying that the young man was a dead man. Our hero, standing in a fighting pose and taking out his weapon, told his sister not to be afraid of anything because none of those who offended her will leave here. The next moment, the guy dealt with all the offenders and then one of them said that the young man was furious, attacking him with his knife. He wanted the guy to die, but the next moment you again, as for the first time, got a knife in the guy's head. Seeing this, our hero thanked her for it. One of them was left alone and falling to his knees. He begged for mercy from our hero, saying that the young man would not kill them, because they would not do that anymore, then you saw that he really died, because she did not even have time to think. The young man said that there was nothing to be ashamed of, it was the end of the world if if you don't kill, they'll kill you, the young man said. The next moment, he was untying his sister and rushing into his arms. Jinx Yu said that they scared her very much and cried. Yanfin hugging his sister apologized to her and said that he was late, but that everything was fine. Also next to him were other girls whom he saved and they thanked the young man that he helped them and to thank him they would go with him, because their safety depends on him. The young man said that the girls did not need to follow him, because this is the end of the world and he did not need ballast. Our hero explained, if they do not become stronger, they will soon repeat the fate of those who are lying right on the floor, pointing at the dead girls, our hero said. At that moment, Dunmu entered the room and asked Yongfen what had happened and whether he had found his sister. When she saw what had happened, she was surprised by what kind of sight appeared before her. Our hero said that he had found a girl and that they could already go. The girls who were tied up with his sister were very surprised if the guy refused them because they were worse than those two beauties near him. The girls were surprised, as if those three girls themselves were not ballast for him. Looking from the second floor, our hero said that everything was in zombies from below. He would go deal with them, and then the girls had to go down. Going down to the zombies, the young man thought about his crystals, to which he returned and attacked the zombies that were right in front of him. Having dealt with all the zombies, he shouted to the girls to come down, because they were finished. Then the sister watching her brother said that he was very cool, and they all listened to what he said. After getting into the car, our heroes drove off and then Youngfin asked you, who was driving, to slow down, because they had to go to the supermarket. Hearing this, the sister was surprised, did the brother decide to go to the supermarket, saying that it was full of zombies, but the next moment she heard her and my stomach started to rumble. There were really a lot of zombies around the store, and then Duanmu, looking around, said that they definitely needed to stock up on groceries and food. Usually large stores like this have back doors and alleys and had to go from there. You agreed with her and said that it was necessary to sit comfortably. They would come in from the back door of the store. Driving up to the door, they saw zombies and then our hero said that he would go deal with them. And they had to follow him, sorting out the zombies that were right in front of him. Our heroes entered the mall. Looking at the things that were on the sides, Jinx Yu said that there were no zombies here, and all the things were intact. Today they will rest here and collect things. Running up to the shelves, Jinx Yu looked at the counter and said that her favorite chips and cola were here, as if she had returned to normal life. At that moment Duan Mu adjusted her glasses and said that there was something wrong here. There should be a crowd of shoppers in the supermarket. Where were the zombies? Looking at the zombies who were standing behind the window, the girl said that these zombies gathered outside seemed to be attracted by some kind of thing, and then the sister who collected a few things told her brother that there was blood here. Paying attention, the young man understood that there was only blood on the floor, but there was no body. Then, turning to her brother, the sister said that she was scared, because she had never seen so much blood. It was not surprising that zombies were crowding outside. The next moment, after touching the blood, Duanmu reported that it was human blood and everyone needed to be on the alert. At this moment, our hero asked everyone to step back, find safe places and collect supplies, because right in front of them was a crowd of zombies who tried to break into this store and our hero understood that he had to fight with them, standing up for the girls who were in front of them holding their sword. Then you, taking a backpack, said that it seems someone deliberately threw a piece of meat to attract zombies and our hero thought that this was a good way to defend himself. There was enough food here and zombies with people would not enter and thought that he and his sister found two backpacks and both were filled in at that moment. Something caught his attention. 
the young man saw that someone was watching him on the second floor of the supermarket, and then the man who was upstairs said that the guy from below was her ex, addressing the ex-girlfriend of our hero who was next to him and she said that he was not her ex, addressing the moon, saying that that now there was only him in her heart and everything that was before him does not count. Wanji Lun, the head of the supermarket security service, everything you need, was sitting right in front of the monitor screen and watching our hero from above, lighting a cigarette that a girl lit for him. The girl, addressing the moon, said that the young man was so strange in the morning. He kept saying that this is the end of the world. This is the world of the strongest. After hearing what the girl was saying, the man asked if she was sure that the young man was like that, said if she was deceiving him and the girl told the moon that how could she deceive him. At that moment, the man grabbed her face, and the girl said that it hurt her, asking her to let go. He also said that he would not regret the girl at night, that she was too unfit. At that moment, Yongfen was on the monitor screen with Yu and then the girl, thinking to herself that the guy was a filthy Yongfen, because he was already with a new girl. She was abandoned in a hotel and now she was in the clutches of this man who was right in front of her. Watching the screen, the girl told the moon to pay attention to the fact that for some reason the girl's gun was glowing and that it was interesting. Approaching the glass, which was near the zombie, our hero saw a huge piece of meat and realized that his ring allows not only to interact with merchants, but also to store things. At that moment, Duanmu was saying that she needed to figure out a way to get more supplies, otherwise these two backpacks that they had would not even be enough for one of his sisters. Addressing the moon, the girl said that all the girls next to this guy were very beautiful, and then the moon said that the guys went down and brought these girls to have fun, it was necessary to die in good company. The man spoke to everyone. Then the guys, rubbing their fists, said that in the morning this Yongfen attacked them and as a result they were almost bitten by zombies. So they had to return the favor to him, they all took bits and headed straight to our heroes. The young man saw that there was a camera hanging on the wall, and paying attention to it, the guy said that the girls would rest. While here he would go get things and approaching you, Yongfen told her that someone was watching them, so it was necessary to move separately. When she heard this, the girl asked if there was someone else here, that I leaned into her ear, the young man told her to do as it was necessary. The next moment, our hero walked past the rose and thought that during the apocalypse, one bottle of drinking water cost four grey crystals, a bottle of cola could be sold for twenty grey crystals and that he had to use the ring to stock up on as much currency of this format as possible. Our hero also reasoned that now the ring can store a space of 10 squares, he had to try to increase this number and then he would be able to stock even more goods. At this moment he was lifting water and throwing it directly into the camera that hung on the wall, breaking it. The next moment, he directed his ring at the supplies that were on the shelves and sucked them right to himself. At that moment, a weapon was flying from the back at our hero, and then the boss was talking about how this young man dared to touch his things. Dodging the knife, our hero realized that it was an ambush. At that moment there was a moon right in front of him, who threw a weapon at the young man. Our hero thought to himself that in this world it was this man who tormented him during the beginning of the apocalypse. He enslaved his soul, which led to the fact that he lost heart and practically turned into a helpless invalid. Addressing our hero as a puppy of moons, he said that his name was Brother Moons and that the young man was obviously impudent to the point of indecency since he dared to mess around on his territory. At that moment, everyone rushed straight at our hero with bats on the orders of the moon, because he thought that our guy would be better off without legs, so he told them to cut them off for him. Dealing with all the opponents, the guy said that they were too weak in seeing this. His opponents did not understand where this brat had so much strength. Lung was thinking to himself, looking at the situation that was unfolding right in front of them, where our hero was winning. Then Lung said that the guy was not fooling, because his guys grabbed three girls. If they tried to touch him, they would do something bad to them. But at that moment Yu was behind him who was holding one of the guys by the head. Addressing our hero, the girl said that Yongfen was right when he spoke about these henchmen. They suddenly attacked them after he left, but she dealt with them. At that moment, Lung realized that they were screwed, then falling to his knees in front of our hero. He told brother Yongfen not to kill him, because it was all Zhao Yun wrong, because he forced him. At this moment, the man was reaching for his bat, thinking to himself that this guy was a very bad person. Did he dare to set a trap for him? He wanted to see how he would get even with him. As soon as he grabbed his baton, he told our hero that he would beat him to death with this baton and began to attack the young man. But he immediately repelled his blow and broke the bat right in front of his eyes and the next moment injured his hand. Then Lung asked what kind of black magic the young man uses and that he let him go quickly or he'll kill him. 
seeing that all his subordinates ran away and said that they were not to blame and asked him to spare. At that moment you watched our hero and thought that it turned out it was possible and the way he did. While Lung was sitting right on his knees in front of the young man, our hero asked if he really wanted to kill him. Long asked to spare him, because it was all the scoundrel Zhao Yun wrong and that he provoked him and asked to understand that every crime has a criminal and every debt has a debtor, asked to let him go. Then our hero said that he would certainly let him go in the next moment, his own weapon, which took an interesting form, was killing him. At this moment, our hero was offering his opponent to go to hell. Looking at the defeated opponent, Yu was very surprised. Our hero thought to himself that he could use his unusual abilities whenever he wanted at that moment. Lung was lying dead on the floor. Having dealt with their opponents, who were kneeling right in front of our hero, they turned to their brother and said that they would not dare to do this anymore and that the young man was very great and he had to spare them. At that moment, our hero was only watching his opponents and Yu said that although they were very nasty, but their attack failed and asked not to kill them. The young men told them to fail and then, running away from our hero, they thanked him and said that they were failing. The next moment our hero reported that there was another problem and called his ex-girlfriend, who was hiding nearby. Coming out of the door, the girl thought about Yongfen and that she was going out of her way just to make him a scapegoat and looked at the computer screen in front of her, clicking on the system window. She was faced with the question of whether to open the front door to the store or not. She pressed the button and said that she could not believe that the guys would be able to survive this time. The doors of the store opened and everyone was greeted by joyful voices that usually greet visitors to the store. At that moment the zombies fell right into the building and then our hero offered them to die, remembering his ex-girlfriend. Addressing you, the young man told her to go upstairs and find the switch from the induction door and close it. Then the girl obeyed our hero and running upstairs told him to be careful. At that moment, his sister and Duanmu ran to him, telling the young man to save them, because the doors in the supermarket were open, and that there were a lot of zombies there. The young man rushed straight at the zombies attacking them, telling Duanmu to guard Jinxu, and he would deal with these zombies. So Duanmu stood and held a knife in her hands, shaking with fear, and Jinxu was rooting for her brother, wishing him good luck in the battle with the zombies. Duanmu told Jinxu not to be afraid, because she would protect her. At that moment our hero was dealing with zombies, and Yu was going to the control room. After all, there should have been a switch in the control room. It was there that our hero's ex-girlfriend attacked her when opening the door. But Yu managed to capture the girl, and she knew that there was an ambush here. Yu thought to himself that the evolutionary drugs had greatly improved her agility. The next moment, she tied up our hero's ex and she screamed at the girl that she was a very bad person and had to let her go. But Yu had already climbed into the computer and told the girl to close her filthy mouth so that she would wait because she would soon deal with her. At that moment Yu was able to find the button to the doors closed. Jinx who saw the doors, told her brother that the doors would not close, but the young man said that it was okay, because he was nearby. At that moment he again struck down another zombie. Then suddenly he heard a familiar voice and saw his ex-girlfriend and she was led by Yu, who was walking next to and told Yongfen what to do with her. The ex turned to our hero and told him to save her, because the girl was so evil. But you said what happened to the girl's head, why did she open the doors so that they were killed or maybe so that Yongfeng saved her? Then the girl replied that she just wanted to help them cope with the moon gang, because they had killed supermarket workers and were going to kill them. Turning to the girl, our hero asked if she really wanted to help them, and then approaching the young man, she told brother Yongfen that she loved him the most, but our hero could not believe it and told the girl to recover to hell and help him kill Wang Lung once more. At that moment our hero threw the girl out right outside the store door. There were a lot of zombies outside the store doors and while they were eating her, she screamed for the young man to save her, but they started attacking zombies and she said that when she became a spirit, she would not leave the young man alone. At this moment, the zombies were devouring her. Our hero was just looking at it through the doors from the supermarket. Jinxu thought that the girl was a very bad person, not only scared her to death, but also threatened his little brother. While our heroes were collecting the stones that were left from the zombies, Yu turned to the young man and said that even if it was a little harsh, but the girl deserved it. The pest was Yongfen's ex, ask Yu from the young man. Our hero replied that it was so. Yu reported that there was a staff room on the second floor. You could take a shower there. You could stay here overnight and clean up. After hearing this, our hero thought it was a great idea. Everyone also supported the idea. The next moment they went up to the staff room. After taking a shower to the girl, we felt fresher and thought about what was very good. Then Duanmu said that the day turned out to be very stressful, 
and you replied that the girl should go to bed early, turning to our hero's sister, because who knows maybe tomorrow they will have even more difficult. Duan Mu was looking at herself in the mirror at that moment and she was already without glasses, because thanks to the medicine that our hero gave her, now the girl did not need to wear glasses, the girl thought that it was very good. While they were taking a shower, our hero went to collect food again. Standing next to the store shelves, the young man used his ring and wanted to start collecting products after collecting all the products that were on the store shelves, our hero also went to rest. The next day, early in the morning, people tried to enter the store. It was three guys who tried to open the door and when they entered the store, they realized that there was no food. Looking at the shelves that were empty, one of them asked where all the food had gone, and then the other, sitting on the floor, said that they had spent so much effort to come here, but there was nothing in this store. One of them thought that it was very strange, as if they were in a hospital, it was very clean here, like in a hospital. At that moment they rushed to the second floor. Going up the stairs, one of them asked that it was very quiet here, and what if zombies jumped out of there now? But then the young man was offered to go first and agreeing the young man went first. Opening the door in front of him, our hero appeared and held a weapon right at the neck of the young man. Then turning to his brother, the guy asked him not to kill, because they were not zombies. Seeing Yongfen, everyone thought about how fast his reaction was and it was not surprising that all the shelves were empty. The next moment, girls came out from behind the door and when they saw the young men, they asked Yongfen who they were. Raising his hands, one of the guys told his sister to save him and told the young man that they just came for food and canned cat food and others picked up his words, saying that the guy put away his weapon. Our hero put away his weapon and told the guys to get out of here, because there was no food here. Then I turned to the girl who was right in front of them, they asked what was in her backpack then. Having pulled out their weapons, the guys said that such a large backpack would be enough for several days. Then shooting with a knife that whistled right near their ears and you asked if they really wanted to take away her own things from her and if they were too stunned, so she told them to roll out of here. Seeing this, the guys thought that the girl had scared them very much. They would have been left without a head for another millimeter. Grabbing his friend, one of them told the beauty that it was not necessary to do so, because there was a misunderstanding with his friend. Just not everything is in order with his head and that they were already leaving. At that moment, his friend was telling his brother that they would really just leave here, even though this girl almost killed him. Then, while they were not walking down the corridor, his friend told him not to worry, because now they could not overcome in the open. But later they would still find a way to steal their backpack. After the two guys left, you, addressing one of the guys and the girl asked why he was still here and the young man, addressing his sister, said that in fact he was not with them at all, he just came for groceries and ran into them. Then, again turning to the girls, the young man asked if the guys had canned cats. He was ready to exchange them for information, saying that he had found out where a safe place was, where all the survivors were hiding, there were no zombies and there was military protection. Then the girl asked if there was no food on the first floor. At that moment she saw that something had skipped next to her. She did not understand that it was so fast, and then the young man, turning to see she, told her to calm down and go to him. At this moment, a cat slid in front of our heroes, who sat on the shoulder of a young man. Seeing the cat, the guys were touched. The guy said that the cat's name is Sishi. He came to get canned cat food for her. Yesterday she suddenly had a terrible appetite. She refuses to eat cat food, but she ate all the canned food in the house. The next moment, turning to his sister, he asked if she didn't know that everything was empty downstairs. There was nothing on the shelves. Yongfen said that some rustling was heard downstairs last night, probably someone came. Hearing this, the girl was very surprised. At that moment Jinxiu left the room together with Duan Mu. The girls looked at the stranger who was in front of them, and then seeing the cat, our hero's sister shouted that what a pretty kitty the young man had and asked if she could stroke her. The next moment our hero said that it was not necessary to do this, because the cat was not herself. The young man explained that there was nothing wrong with his sishi, that she was very obedient, holding the cat in her hands. Then Jinxiu told his brother to look at how pretty the cat was and asked the young man to pet her, but the young man insisted that she should not have done it. Without listening to our hero and turning away from the young man and showing him the tongue, the sister took the cat from the stranger's hands. Show your tongue to our hero, she said that the young man was a bad uncle. Holding the cat in her hands, the girl said that the cat was such a bunny, she had a smooth coat and now she was sharing her food with her. The next moment they were all leaving the building and then the young man asked his sister if they wanted to go with him to a safe place. When Yongfen heard this, he said that they had business. The girl was saying goodbye to the cat and then they suddenly heard that someone was calling for help. 
Suddenly they saw the guys they had seen before and who were rushing on a motorcycle straight towards our heroes, and zombie dogs were rushing after them. Then our hero told them to get out, because they had specially brought zombies here with dogs. But the young men stood behind our heroes and said they were wrong and asked they are very helpful, but just do not drive them. You, looking at the young men who were standing behind them and hiding, said that they were cowardly and told them to get out of here and hide. Going into the building with the girls, the guys realized that their plan was a success and then taking advantage of the moment, they began to take away their food from the girls, pointing weapons at them. Then one of them took out his weapon and already began to attack you the next moment. Our hero managed to help and knew that the guys were planning something bad stopping his attack. Grabbing the young man by the hand, he asked our hero to let him go. At that moment another tried to take away the backpack, and then the young man who was with them before tried to save the girls and the backpack they were holding. Then his former partner told the fat man to give him the backpack and take his hands away. Then, using a clever trick, the young man said that there were zombie dogs behind Jinxiu and Duanmu, and to make them beware, at that moment he snatched the backpack from our heroes and they fled. Getting on his motorcycle, one of them said that the brother had done everything right and he would drive a little further away, and, addressing the guys, said thank you for protecting them from dogs. At that moment one of the dogs was rushing straight to our hero, and the young man's partner, who was trying to leave on a motorcycle. Then a dog started rushing after our hero and paying attention to him. The young man realized that the dog was about to attack them. At that moment his sister was shouting at him, and the next our hero was already leaving the young man who was sitting right in front of him, into this very dog and attacking her with his weapon. While everyone was standing and looking at the disassembly, Yongfen was shouting for everyone to get into the car as soon as possible and not get in the way here. At that moment a large pack of dogs was running at him. Yu, giving the bag to her friend, told her to help her and took her bag. At that moment the girl approached our hero to help him fight. Attacking the dogs, she said that these dogs were not so strong. Our hero said that maybe not alone, but when there was a whole pack of zombie dogs, they were very fast and some die. Others immediately come in their place. It was better for the girl to leave before it became it's too late, our hero said. Everyone got into the car and waited only for our hero along with Yu, then the guys ran to the car. But then a huge dog started chasing them and when our hero saw her, he realized that it was a zombie dog with a second order mutation. Shoving you into the car, the girl asked the young man to sit down too, but he told them to drive by and he needed to deal with this dog. After asking Sinan to step on the gas and that they leave and not interfere with him, then the girl said that they went and wished good luck to our hero, who was standing against a giant dog. But you asked the young man to stop the car because she would go and help our hero. Then Jinxiu said that she was sure that they had to help her brother, and Yu was about to get out of the car, when her friend suddenly stopped her and told her to stop and listen to Yongfen, because if they interfered, they would not survive, and the young man was much stronger and should definitely cope by himself. While the girls were talking, our hero was fighting with a huge dog that knocked him to the ground and wanted to bite the young man. But our hero did not want to give up so easily and therefore attacked the dog with his sword, chopping off her head the next moment. A crystal appeared in the hands of the hero, and the young man thought that it was not bad. At that moment a pack of dogs was running at him. Although he dealt with a huge zombie dog of the second order, the smell of blood only teased the others. There were so many of them here that it was impossible to kill them all. At that moment a car drove up to them and you, holding out her hand, said that the young man climbed into it. The next moment, pulling on the young man, you was a little embarrassed and told the guy to sit down faster. Then he fell right on top of her. The next moment they were already leaving from a huge pack of dogs, and the fat man who went with our guys Yongfen told him to circle a little to get away from these dogs. The young man obeyed him the next moment suddenly everyone smelled blood. After looking at our hero, everyone asked if our hero was injured, but the young man said that it was a zombie dog, she was not dangerous to him. At that moment everyone realized that Yu was bleeding. The girl said that everything was fine. It was a small wound from a cut, she just broke up during a fight with zombies with dogs. Seeing this, Jinxiu shouted to you that she was normal at all, because the girl was bleeding, and said that everything was still fine. The next moment our hero tried to take off the girl's pants to check her wound, but you did not understand what the young man was doing. Seeing her wound, the guy realized that he was bleeding heavily early and that the girl had lost a lot of blood. After that, the young man thought about what needed to be exchanged for medicine from merchants and taking off his clothes. He asked Duanmu to help you stop the blood and told the fat man to drive to the pharmacy. The young man said that nothing would work now, 
All pharmacies had already been looted, but there were medicines and a doctor in the safe place he was talking about. After hearing about this place, the young man realized that if there was a doctor there, then it was better for them to go there. Then the guy said that after two intersections they would be on the spot. This place is located in the area of the largest shopping centers. Arriving at the mall, the young man said that it was here. Getting out of the car, looking at the giant shopping center, our hero thought to himself that he knew that it had already been built. Because last time, because of the torment of Wang Lung and others, it took a whole month to get here and the local doctor saved him. Sorry for that doctor. He did not obey he taught people orders and free of charge and because of this he was killed. This time he had to save her. The young man thought. The girls picked up you and told her to hold on. Because the doctor would soon help her, to which the friend said that everything was fine and quite tolerable. The next moment the young man who was with them said that they should go faster, because the move was right behind him. Running away to the guards, the young man was guarding the gate, saying that they should open faster, because they were carrying a wounded woman. And the guys said that the wounded man was returned here. Who knows, maybe he bit a zombie. And they didn't need zombies here. Two the young man picked up his hand and said that he had said everything right. Even if they were going to die, they would still not be allowed in. Then the girl was told that the young men should open their eyes and look carefully, because it was not a bite from a zombie, it was a cut from a knife, showing Yu's legs, and then Duanmu asked her to be slower, careful with the wound. But even after looking at the girl's wound, the guys said that they would not let them in. The next moment he said that there were a hundred grey crystals from each, and a thousand from the girl. Our hero, opening the bag, said that they did not have so many grey crystals, but this white crystal could be exchanged for a thousand grey crystals, grabbing the bag. The guards realized that there were also white crystals, that they were rich, and then they thought that they had to ask for not a thousand, but two, the next moment they were releasing our heroes. The guards said that they had to work according to the usual scheme, holding knives behind their backs and that as soon as the guys entered, they would first cut the kid, and then deal with the rest. They must have had many more crystals in their bags and they will leave the girls, maybe they will still get more crystals from them. Our hero, entering, realized that he saw the shine from the knife and understood that the matter was serious. At that moment the guys asked to move. But the hero realized that they wanted to kill him and said that he had not enough strength for this, pulling out his sword to deal with the opponents. The next moment, our hero had already attacked the young man and was able to injure one of them. Seeing this, his partner could not believe his eyes and said that how dare he touch his brother, because now he would kill him for it. But the next moment he was wounded by you right in the stomach and said that unfortunately he will not have the opportunity to take revenge. At that moment, the girl's wound began to hurt very much and then our hero said that it was necessary to show off on his own, because he would have coped without her and asked to pick up his bag and check their pockets. Everything he would find was hers. At this moment, the girl said that she was a real master at this and gave the bag to the young man. Opening the bag she realized that they were two beggars, they had very few crystals. Looking at them, the fat man thought that at first the guys seemed so friendly, but without question they killed and robbed two bouncers. When everything settled down it was necessary to leave them. The young man thought. At that moment our hero said that those who were watching them could go down. Then the sound of applause rang out, and the guards who came down to our hero said that the guy was good and decisive, dared to ask what his name was, introduced himself as Bao. And then the man in the suit who had previously applauded him said that he was called Boss Bao here. He used to be in the security business and now he was in charge of this place. The boss said that he lacked three leaders in the team and the young man did not want to work for him. Our hero replied that he welcomed the Boss Bao but said that it was necessary to discuss the bill later. His girlfriend needed help. He heard there was a doctor here. The next moment the man said that it was necessary to take the guys to the hospital to their partners and they took the guys away. Looking after Bao, I understood that this kid was very talented and if I could persuade him, then the base would become even stronger. If nothing worked out, then let him go to be eaten by zombies. His guard brought the guys to the medical center and said that they could pass. Looking at a place that they thought looked very strange, they thought that it really was a medical center. The next moment, opening the door, our hero came in and asked if anyone was here because they needed a doctor. A man with glasses was sitting at the table and said that he was a doctor so the patient could enter. The young man understood that this was not the doctor he knew before, so the girl had not yet come to this place. The doctor put you on the bed and said that the wound of a sharp stabbing object. The girl had a large blood loss. A transfusion would be required, as well as a tetanus injection. 
Altogether there were 5,000 gray crystals from them. While the doctor was treating the wound, he called his price. Hearing this, the fat man could not believe that the doctor was extorting 5 grand from them and whether he had a conscience at all. Then the doctor said if they did not want to pay, they could go from here and not interfere with his business. The next moment the doctor said that they could fail. It was only behind the curtains that someone said that someone needed help. If this person was against it, then this person would take it. A girl was coming out from behind the curtain and our hero realized that it was her. She was the same doctor who saved him in a previous life and understood what it meant that she was already in this place, since she was ready to help his partner. The girl came out and after examining her said that the wound was shallow, only cut in several places and lost a lot of blood from it. At that moment the doctor who saw the doctor asked what she was doing. He shouted at the girl and said that she was acting illegally and even more so for free, even though her doctor asked if she knew how expensive medical drugs were. The next moment, the girl turned around and said that she was a doctor and it was her sacred duty. How could she let a person die and if he wanted to file a complaint against her, then he could go to the boss. Then the doctor started shouting and saying why was the girl doing this, because she had to stop immediately, asking who she thinks she is, because he was actually the head of this hospital, trying to hit the girl. Our hero managed in time and grabbing the doctor's hand said that who gave him the right to touch the girl? Did he really want to be left without hands? The guy asked. The doctor reacted to the blow and said that they would pay for it and he would go to the boss bow. The next moment he left the room. And the doctor began to examine you, saying that the young man could wait outside. She would apply stitches. The next moment our hero said that it was not worth the gratitude and asked if she would become his girlfriend. The doctor looked at our hero in surprise. And at that moment he was thinking that in a previous life she had done a lot for him and this time he simply would not let her die. At that moment, everyone was looking at our hero and thinking that he had gone crazy. What was he carrying and that the young man was very confident. Only they met and the young man made a confession. The doctor was telling Mr. Yongfen that they were not so close yet and was thinking to herself that where did this guy come from? As soon as they met, and already a confession, such a loose one, she thought to herself. The next moment our hero said that they could get to know each other better, and the doctor answered him that it was tactless. At that moment Yu was lying right in front of them and thought that the guy did not see boundaries at all and she was very jealous. The doctor kicked out our hero saying that his girlfriend needed help. The next moment the young man left. After which, after waiting for some time, the doctor said that they could enter, because everything was fine with their friend. After entering the ward, the girls rushed to the bed and then the doctor said that the girl should not have made any sudden movements in the near future and come to remove the stitches in five days. Seeing that everything was fine with their friend, Duanmu rushed to the girl's bed. Jinxu said that Sister Yu was fine now, and the next moment they heard some screams outside the door. Someone said that it was them, addressing Boss Bao, because they refused to pay for treatment. The boss stood in front of our hero and, addressing Yongfen as a friend, said that medicines were very expensive, treatment could not cost less, to which the young man said that he did not say that he refused to pay, but 5,000 crystals for a small cut. Wasn't it fraud or maybe they wanted to fool him? Asked the young man. Then one of the boss's guys pulled out his gun and pointing it at our hero asked if the guy wanted to die. Because how dare he talk to their boss like that. Then the young man used his strength and then there was a magnet in the guy's hands for the place of the gun. Yongfen reported that most of all he could not stand when people poke him with a gun. Then looking at his weapon, the guard could not understand how the young man did it. Boss Bao, looking at our hero, did not expect that the young man had superpowers and therefore began to clap him, saying that if the young man worked for him, the treatment of his girlfriend would cost the guy for free, but the one who violates the rules will be punished. In front of our hero stood Wu Mei, whose superpower was fire and Gao Liang, whose superpower was earth. They attacked our hero and also attacked the doctor Lin Maia Chen, who did not expect this, so our hero, stretching out his hand, said that she grabbed right for him, saving the girl from the attack. At that moment she fell into his arms, holding the girl in his arms, who immediately jumped away from him in embarrassment and our hero thought that even a little bit and she could die again in front of his eyes. It seemed that this guy was quite capable and not a simple dissolute womanizer, the doctor thought jumping away from our hero. The young man, looking at the people in front of him, thought that in his previous life there were also many people with superpowers. He thought that this time it was impossible to limit himself to these two if he took a chance. Then there was no absolute certainty that he would cope with all. This was when there was only one thing left. Talking to the boss, Yongfen reported that he was willing to join them and increase the security of this place with his abilities. But the boss and his team had to spare the doctor's girlfriend. 
The boss said that, of course, he could spare her, but about the young man's help in strengthening the base is a completely different matter. Our hero realized that he could take advantage of this chance, because the young man thought to himself that it looked like this boss didn't know anything about the master profession yet and thought that it was possible to take advantage of it. Standing in front of the boss, the young man reported that his ability lies not only in the fact that he could transform objects into weapons, but also could create it himself and now he was able to create weapons of the first order. Our hero explained, but over time he will be able to create weapons of the second order. If this continues, he will be able to turn their people into an army with first-class weapons. But our hero explained that for the manufacture of weapons he needed metal crystals and natural quintessence if the boss provides him with these materials, the cost of weapons will cost him 80% cheaper than if he buys from merchants. Hearing this, the boss rubbed his hands and said that it was not bad at all, because the guy was a real find. The boss also said that there were no problems, because there was enough material if one batch of weapons met the quality standards. He would give the young man a drug that would help him advance to level 2 and arrange a celebration in his honor. At that moment, the boss asked to prepare accommodation for everyone. The girls, addressing Yongfen, talked about whether he was sure that they could stay here because this chief bow did not inspire absolutely confidence, and the sister, addressing her brother, said that he was very cool talking to these people right now. The young man said that, of course, he knew that it was so it was necessary to wait for Yu to get better and immediately move out of here. While there was time, it was necessary to put his strength in order and rest and to start taking these crystals and materials for himself. The boss, sitting in his chair, said that his guards should not take their eyes off this guy. They had to wait for him to make their weapons, and then grab his friends to make sure that he made weapons for them all his life and could not escape anywhere. They thought that they could make him their apprentice. The girl said that Chief Bao always came up with such cool plans, admired him. Our heroes were escorted to their place of residence and one of the guards said that everything was already packed in the hostel, so the guys would live here. Stopping our hero, one of the guards said that the young man would come to another place. Chief Bao had already prepared material for him and that our hero had to get to work. But the young man understood that they wanted to separate them on purpose, so that they could then blackmail him with the help of his friends. It's a pity, but the young man thought that his opponents overestimated their strength. Jinx Yu, turning to her brother, said that she would go with him at this moment. The guard who was standing next to the young man said that the girl did not dare to think about it. Because the vault was filled with treasures, did she really think that it was so easy to get there? Yongfen stroked his sister on the head and said that everything was fine, so she had to have a good rest and he would come back for her soon. The sister only pouted and agreed with him, because she had nothing else to do, so the guys were taken away in one direction and the guard took Yongfen in the other. Opening the door in front of the young man, the guard entered the code and then there was a vault in front of him, in which there were 5,000 grey crystals and the guard said that Chief Bao said to try these grey crystals first. If the young man does not work out, then he and his friends will go to the zombie sitting. After seeing these crystals, our hero realized that this gang had a lot of crystals at their disposal and it looks like they had a lot of weapons with firepower since they were able to get so many crystals in such a short period of time. Pointing in the other direction, the guard said that there were other materials there, but they did not know if they were suitable and said that these were souvenirs that the guys had picked up after the battles. The young man could see if something of this would be useful to him. Looking at everything that lay right in front of him, the young man thought that it didn't look like souvenirs and how could it be so wasteful to treat all this good? Because of all these things he could make cool equipment for the team. Here the young man told the guard that he liked to work without prying eyes, so the guard could go out and wait outside. Leaving, the guard informed the young man that he would like to warn only about one thing, saying that this room was made of material for level B bank safes, which was not even afraid of a bomb and that it was possible to get out of here only through this door, through which they entered, so the young man could not get up here with some magic tricks. After a while, the guard left, and our hero was left alone, looking at the objects that remained with him, picking up a white level mutation horn and a cosmic mineral. The young man looked at them carefully and thought that it was also the rarest plastic metal. It seems these guys do not guess the true value of these things. Looking further at things, our hero thought that this space mineral of a small size could easily be made into a cubic chain for storing stocks, and as for the rest of the things from them, you can also come up with some useful equipment to get out of here even faster. 
Having put together several materials, the young man began his work. He had the first level, a long mountain sword, the first level, a protective shield and the first level of scanner glasses. Also the young men used the first level, an ultra-thin bulletproof vest, the first level of the spatial chain and the first level, the desert eagle. Sitting on the floor, the young man thought that he had made so many weapons at one time and it was beyond his capabilities and hiding the weapon to himself. He thought that while it was necessary to save these things, it was impossible for them to attract external attention. Leaving these things here would be very stupid. The young man thought taking everything into his ring. What he saw. At that moment, two guards were standing near the door of this safe and one was asking the second deputy what he thought. Did this guy really make weapons out of these materials? The deputy said that the young man had only rare superpowers. He was still not able to do their work. But with him pretty girls look so stupid and young he would be happy to get to know them better. Then a friend opened the safe door and our hero, coming out of the door, said that if the deputy dares to touch his friends, he will not look at the fact that the young man is also a man with superpowers and will finish him off without regrets. Seeing that our hero came out of the vault, the guard thought that the young man was running into trouble. But the guy said that he remembered his words and went to check the weapon. Then the guard said that he had to remember his words. If the weapon he made would not meet the standards, then he had to prepare to die. When they came to the place where our hero worked, they saw a lot of weapons and then the man thought to himself that this kid was a very talented guy. Made as many as 10 pieces of swords and spent only 36 o gray crystals and some worthless souvenirs on it. He also understood that if he bought so many weapons from merchants, he would have to give away at least 6,000 gray crystals. Our hero reported that, given his current level of strength, he could produce up to 10 weapons a day. The next moment the guard decided to try the weapon and cut the thing in half that was in front of him. He thought to himself that it was a first-class weapon, that this guy would be very useful to them. He would not touch him, but no one would be able to forbid him to touch his sisters. The guard thought and said that the young man rested while, to himself. Yongfen reported that they had a weapon. Therefore, now it was their turn to be honest and ask to take him to his friends. Then turning to another guard, the man said that he would take him to his friends. Standing in front of the door, the young man thought that since he had made only 10 weapons, he thought that Bao would want more and would give him a drug to increase his strength level. The next moment he would enter the door that was right in front of him. The girls, seeing that the young man came in, stood in their underwear and when they saw him, they were very embarrassed, saying that why Yongfen came to them without knocking. But our hero did not pay attention at all and showing what he had, he said that he had made equipment for the girls. Pulling it out, seeing this, the sister saw that there were so many things in this chain that fit there. Grabbing the chain, the girl began to shake it and said that the treasures would come out faster and the brother stroked the girl on the head, told her that this spatial chain is the main treasure. There is an empty space inside it and the owner can put everything he wants there, the young man said and the girl said that then she would fill with all sorts of yummy thanking his brother for this treasure. Approaching Duan Mu and Yu, the young man reported that he had in his hands a desert eagle with an unlimited second-level ammunition magazine and glasses, a second-level scanner. He had made it especially for the two of them. After taking the weapon, Yu said that this was a second-level pistol with an unlimited number of cartridges and that it was very cool. Now she could no longer be afraid of vile zombies. Duan Mu, looking into her glasses, said that she could scan everything she saw with these glasses. Here came Wu Zainan, a fat man who was now with our heroes and Yongfen said that he came just in time, giving the young man a shield of the first level changing size to protect against mutants. After grabbing him, his boyfriend was very grateful and said that now he also has a first level shield. Approaching the doctor, the young man gave her an ultra-thin bulletproof vest withstanding the impact of mutants of the first level, and said that he made it for her and that this tenant could protect her, so the girl had to put it on. When she saw what the young man was giving her, she was asking thinking that really this guy could not make another style why it was exactly like that. The guard came to the boss and then showing the weapon that our hero made. Bao asked if it was a weapon that this kid made and then the guard reported that it also looked like a first level weapon. What power they did not know, Bao said that it was necessary to try and everything would be clear in the next moment he was cutting the table so that it was right in front of them in half. Seeing that the knife cut the table and said that it was a good weapon as sharp as a dagger of the first level. You had to take people and go tomorrow to get more crystals from 3600 you could make a dozen swords. It's much more profitable than buying from merchants. Then the guard asked that all this would be done. 
Only they had a condition that weren't they going to grab those girls who were with our hero so that he would always make weapons for them. But the boss said that the guys would not hurry with this, because the young man would not escape from them anyway. At that moment, the girls who were sitting next to the boss said that Chief Bao was bad, that they liked it. Early in the morning, everyone moved out in search of crystals, in addition to firearms. It was necessary to use swords made by Yongfen. Sooner or later firearms will come to an end. There is nothing better than cold steel, said everyone from the gang that moved out for profit. They turned to whom the deputy was asked, who knows, maybe Yongfen will make firearms, then their gang will become more indestructible. At this moment our hero was watching the gang that left and thought to himself that it turns out they have American heavy machine guns at their disposal. No wonder they have so many different rare supplies. He I was thinking that now this gang has gone to destroy mutants again. He understood that it looked like Bao was satisfied with the weapons he made, since he sent his people for new crystals and material and he would gladly accept his gifts, our hero said looking out the window. While our hero was looking out of the window, a fat man woke up and told Yongfen that someone had come. Opening the door, the young man saw a doctor in front of him. She said that they were in the living room, led by the clever main kept woman. Going out into the living room, the young man saw a girl who was sitting in an armchair. The girl said that the young man made her wait for a very long time. The materials for today were ready. Maybe she would be lucky she would be able to see with her own eyes how the young man makes such an excellent weapon. Seeing that the girl came and realized that after lunch his strength had not fully recovered, now he was not ready for work. Our hero understood about himself that Bao had sent the others to get materials for weapons, and this chief was being sent to work without wasting time. Everything was as he thought earlier. Here the girl, addressing our hero, said that he should not be so rude, because she could wait here or in his room if he wished. At that moment, the girl was thinking to herself that she would wait until the young man ran out of patience and he would be happy to make some unique weapon for her. The girl stretched out her hands to our hero, but grabbing her in time, the young man said that now he needed to go away on business and then the persistent girl asked where our hero wanted to go, saying that she would take him. I think to myself that her charm did not work on the guy, so it was necessary to be more persistent. The guy said that they have a very large base and there are probably merchants somewhere. After hearing this, the girl said that of course she had merchants only to use their services you have to pay 3000 grey crystals. Hearing this, the young man thought that 3000 was too much, but he didn't care, in any case, he wasn't paying. Then our hero asked the girl to take him to the merchant, he needed some medicines, she agreed and said that it was necessary to follow her. Having escorted our hero to the merchants, who was surrounded by several people with machine guns, she asked to open their door to raise their business, because she brought a man. Seeing four armed guards, our hero thought that it was very bad. Going inside, he saw a merchant who was a level 2 dealer and thought that there must be something here that he needed. Here one of the guards said that the young man should pay 3000 crystals, because the price was such. The young man handed him a package, then the man checking the package said that the guy remembered for 3000 crystals here you can stay for 5 minutes, when the time is over, he has the right to throw him out of here. Yongfen agreed to the terms and approaching the merchant wanted to open a deal, going in. He saw an electric toothbrush in front of him at a price that was 20 grey crystals, with a discount of 8 crystals, also a competition area where there was a mechanical bear, any level, attempts 2 out of 3, the price of 3000 TV series with a discount of 12 o. Also Y tiling, the price of 25 grey crystals with a discount of 10, and level 2, Ice Projectile, the price of 100 grey crystals, with a discount of 40 crystals. It seems that Chief Bao bought up all the useful things and a drug to increase strength, and it is clear that he allows you to make purchases after another. There were two misses. Looking at the arena with the bear, Yongfen thought, probably Bao sent someone to fight, but after two failed attempts, he stopped looking at the competition area where there was a mechanical bear. In general, it is very rare to find merchants equipped with venues for competitions. In the old world, many saved up their strength and bought equipment to get to such venues, our hero recalled. But now it's his turn. Therefore, a second level merchant probably should not send him to a site of too high a level. By clicking the buy button, the young man thought that he would play sharp. In any case, unexpected prizes are waiting for him to win. The next moment he was moving to the playground and thought that the time here was different from the time outside the playground. It was slower, about 10 times, so he had 50 minutes, the young man thought. Then a giant bear came out in front of him and the young man decided that he had to start with one hit, which was supposed to be the most powerful. Then the bear attacked our hero and hit him, then the guy realized that this bear was of the third level. There was a red crystal in his forehead. 
The bear fought with our hero. The young man realized that he was very strong. Flying back from the bear attacked him again. The guy understood that the bear surpasses him in speed and attack power. It will not be so easy to defeat him. But there are no invulnerable creatures in this world. Even monsters of level 8 and 9 have their weaknesses. Therefore, after looking at the bear, our hero thought that probably his weak spot was right where he was aiming at the next moment. Our hero got into his paw and seeing that he wounded the bear. The guy thought that he had slowed down only. The paralyzing property of his second level sword was too little, but he thought it would be enough after all, attacking the bear and cutting off its head. Watching all this, someone said that the bear had lost and that this guy was a very interesting specimen, saying that he was in anticipation. At that moment the young man saw that he was being watched and asked who was here. The victory in the competition. The prize is a level increase. The master of the first level goes to the master of the second level. And having received the second level, our hero thought that he risked his life so much. It was not surprising that it was not in vain. There were five seconds left and someone was talking about getting ready to pull him out, shouted voices from above, to which our hero said that this was not necessary. He went out. Here the men said that it was necessary to surround the young man and search. Then the guy asked how dare they. He was the third deputy chief. Did they really get tired of living? But the guys said that such a rule, 3000 crystals is only an entrance. To buy something you had to pay another half of the amount. Then the girl said that let the guys search him. There was no need to disturb Chief Bao. His friends could suffer because of the young man. Did he really want this? But the guy said that most of all he hated people who were trying to threaten him with the lives of his friends. He did not buy anything. There were no medicines that were he needs them. Then the guards said that everyone said so. It's a pity that they all lied, if they didn't find anything. Then what did the young man ask and one of them said that if they didn't find anything, the young man could cut off his head. For a person to stay there for five minutes and not buy anything, this cannot be. Then our hero told them to search him and not forget what they had just told him. Then the guard told his henchman not to miss a single corner on the guy's body and check the sole of his shoes, the guys said. The next moment they got together and the guys reported to their boss that there was nothing with the guy and they also found nothing in the soul. There were only four grey crystals in the wallet, to which the guard said that it was impossible the next moment the young man took the weapon from his hand and shot him in the head. After all, that's what they agreed on. Here the girl looked at our hero in surprise, and he asked if she also wanted to search him. Then she replied that she thought it was not worth it. The young man said that if she tried to blackmail him again. He would leave the girl without a head. After hearing this, she thought about what a rude guy. But her legs gave way from this and said that the young man did not leave because she wanted to become his friend. Approaching our hero, the girl said that she took him to the dealer and now the young man had to show her how he makes weapons. Trying to hug our hero, but removing her hand Yongfen said that she quickly moved away from him because he is not interested in married women. Looking at our hero, she understood that he rejected her, but she thought that this was not the end, because one day she would make the young man bite his fists and run after him and he would become her personal slave. Looking at Yu's wound, they said that it was almost healed and the girl was recovering very quickly. It was even a little strange. The doctor asked her if she knew what was wrong and then Yu said that she thought it was because she had evolved to level 1. The doctor said that she understood everything, because she had heard that the guys had very strong superpowers, but she did not assume that the recovery rate of the body was so fast, referring to you. While the girl was being examined, the guys were sitting on the couch and then his sister said that it had been half a day since his brother left. Why hadn't he come back yet? Then Duanmu, who was looking at the girl, told her not to worry, because he would be fine. Duanmu said that now I am more worried that Chief Bao does not provide them with either water or food, given the supplies they had left. They could hold out for another day at most. The next moment, the fat man was telling them not to look at him, because there was very little food left. He did not dare to eat more than necessary. Here our hero said that it was not worth worrying about it appearing in the room of his friends. Seeing the young man, everyone jumped up from their seats and said that the guy had returned. At that moment he was taking food out of his ring, saying that he thought it would be enough. He finished work for today and Chef Bao gave him food. After seeing this they saw how many goodies there were right in front of them. Taking the food, the guys thought about how delicious it was, because they could finally eat their fill and Duanmu said that she seemed to worry in vain. The guy was talking about how they had to eat and watch the door, no one had to be allowed in. He had to deal with one business. Our guy was thinking to himself that this time he would make something for them using special materials and at the same time try his new strength. Jinx Yu told her brother that everything was without problems and eating food said that he could not worry about anything. 
she would not let anyone near the door. The fat man also said that he agreed with the young man and they were all sitting on the couch eating food. At that moment the fat man fed Sishi and told her to eat more after all, she is still emaciated, like him. Jinx Yu grabbed the food and said that she would go take this food to Yang Yu and Mayo Chun. They were probably very hungry too. At this moment, our hero left his friends, sitting on the bed thinking that the profession of a master includes 9 levels from 1 to 3 beginner from 4 to 6 middle and 7 to 9 higher. In the world, only one person was able to achieve the highest level. The super fortified fort created by him was a real impregnable fortress. Even other people with superpowers could not do this. Thanks to this, he occupied a special place among all the other leaders of the strongest bases. The question is which base does not want to become a super fortified fort and the young man thought that in this world he would succeed. The master first of all must use a special rare material to create a unique weapon. The master of the second level is able to make something unique and special from the most ordinary raw materials. If you supplement it with rare materials, you will get a high level product. Looking at the stone, the young man understood that this red cleansing stone, which he found today in a pile of junk, belongs to a type 2 mutation. Otherwise, I thought that if the merger was successful, his sword would not only move to the second level. But who knows, maybe it would acquire new properties. The next moment our hero decided to make a red lotus sword. Looking at the sword, the young man did not understand why no changes had happened to him. Did nothing happen? What was it? The next moment he saw the flaming power of the ball and realized that it turned out to be an extremely rare fire mutation. In the past world, such an amazing weapon was estimated at 100,000 white crystals. It was a sword with a fiery pattern, a red lotus. At this moment, the boss was saying that today's weapons are of relatively poor quality, but they cannot be used for a long time. When they run out of firearms, they will provide everyone with a sword to cut the vial into zombies. Turning to Chief Bao Zam, he said that it was true that when this guy makes them a hundred swords, they will give him a drug to increase his strength. After all, his cost is 100 white crystals. Then Bao said that how could he do it? Because it was his drug, referring to the second deputy, the man said. It was necessary to wait for the young man to make 99 swords and everything he would do later. He would say that it did not match the quality. At that moment, our hero thought that one more batch and there would be exactly a hundred ready. From the remaining materials it would be possible to make only equipment in the form of light armor. At that moment our hero was making light armor from gold thread. It's time to exchange high quality items at a low price. This happens to the ring once a week. Last time he received a master's card. What will he be lucky with this time? The young man thought and again came to the dealer's point meeting him. Everyone bowed to the third deputy and said that according to the old rules, the entrance cost 3,000 gray crystals. The young man gave 3,000 gray crystals. One of the guards understood that three deputies had a pleasant reputation. Without paying a penny, he would receive a drug for the treatment of forces for two and leave. Approaching the merchant, the young man pressed and started buying. Three windows of the system appeared in front of him, and then clicking on his ring, the guy asked that it did not fail him. Seeing that a card appeared in front of him, the young man thought what it was. In the past world, this card of a perfect sage was one of the rarest. A perfect level 8 sage is able to revive a dead omnipotent base fought for this unique person. In front of the young man was a card of a perfect sage. Leaving the trade, our hero thought that he had to persuade Lin Maya Chun to go with them. This time the card of the perfect sage would suit her. The strength of their team would increase many times and our hero told Xiao to wait for him, because soon he would soap his neck. Leaving the trade, Yangfen again met a girl who said she was worried about him. At that moment, someone was knocking on the door to the guys and Jinx Yu rushed to the door, saying that her brother had returned. Everyone looked at the door in surprise, saying that the young man had returned early. When she opened the door, she saw two guards. When the girl saw them, she asked why they were here and where her brother was, then the deputy said that she would see her brother soon. But now she belongs to him and said that everyone should grab the girls or catch everyone for him, because he would love everyone and would not miss anyone. Everyone obeyed the deputy and began to attack on girls. When one of them saw the girl, he said that they had finally met, and he was taking revenge on her for his brother Han Liang. At that moment the girl took out a gun and told them to freeze in place. If they fought, they would be left without a head. The girl also said that, in fact, Yongfen was the third deputy and if they touched them, since they were his friends, the young men would smear them. The guys, seeing that the girl had a gun in her hands, raised their pistols and said that they were also armed. 
The guys said that they were also armed, and then the second deputy addressing the girls said that a beautiful girl probably wouldn't hurt him anyway. His skin was a stone, asked him to stop fooling around and at that moment the girl shot straight at the deputy with a pistol, then said that they would still look at it. The bullet hit the deputy and slipped through his hand. At that moment his hand was like a stone. The guy said that the girl was very brave. Once she did it, he said that it was a level 2 weapon. Which means that Yongfen hid such a treasure. The next moment the man knocked the weapon out of the girl's hands, saying that she was too slow, and without this weapon she was not capable of anything. Having raised her air, the deputy said that some girls wanted to make them and that turning to the guys they said that whoever catches whom will be the prey, the girls armed themselves said that men should not approach them. Duan Mu thought to herself that she had seen their weak points. The glasses given by Yongfen could help her. The next moment, the doctor started attacking the guys. Zainan and Kingsu said they should have found Yongfen faster and escaped. At that moment, one of the guys grabbed Kingsu and said that did the girl really think that this worthless trash Sinan is capable of something? At least 500 years will pass, this garbage will forever remain garbage, one of the hooligans told the guys. At that moment, Kingsu was trying to escape from the hands of this scoundrel and told the young man to take his hands off her. Sinan was pushing the cat at this guy and telling her to bite him. The next moment the cat started fighting with the young man. Scratching him right behind the face here two deputies said that everyone had to stop. If they twitch again, he would crush the tiny heads of the girls who were lying right under him on the floor. At this moment, two deputies were holding you and the doctor by the neck. Seeing that two girls were held hostage, the guys did not understand what they needed to do next. The opponents grabbed all the guys and then the latter decided that it was necessary to strangle the cat, which was on the side of its owner. Looking at the hissing cat, one of the guards said that this cat must have mutated. It was necessary to endure and a little later he would find a gun and put a bullet in her. The second deputy said that the guys should lead everyone behind him, and he thought that Chief Bao would be very happy to see this gun that he had in his hands. At this moment, our hero was asking why a girl who was a Bao woman was looking for him, to which she said that Gao Liang had just gone to arrest his friends. Hearing about this, the young man did not understand why he wanted to arrest them and then the girl said that it was just like that. They grabbed the young man as well as his friends. They should have been here soon. Hearing this the guy was very surprised. The girl said that he was in no hurry and that they were very a lot. It will be dangerous to go there alone. She offered our hero to make a deal because she would help him save his friends and the young man would give her a drug to increase strength. Our hero again threw the girl's hand away and told her to move away from him and then the girl thought to herself that Yongfen would regret it. While he was hiding around the corner and watching the gang that was running and looking for him, everyone wanted to find Yongfen faster. They said that he was still in the workshop. It was impossible to let him escape. At this moment, our hero was thinking that it looks like the girl did not deceive him, and he was afraid that the others had already been captured. Our hero understood that they were closed in that direction anyway. The young man had studied this place well in his previous life. After the doctor saved him, he was locked in that dungeon, forced to do menial work. He was able to escape from there on the day the girl died. The young man thought to himself that since Chief Bao had taken off the mask of virtue, he also no longer saw the point of pretending. All the kindness he had suffered in full in his past life, he would give them back in full, so he said to himself so that the guys would not doubt it. At this time, the guards were patrolling the cells in the basement prison. Our hero, seeing one of them, thought that it was time for light armor, so calling them our hero was merging with these armor the next moment he was ready for battle. While our hero was sorting out his armor, the guards told the girls to move and shove them into one of the rooms, then sitting tied together and they began to decide what they needed to do. Yu, looking at the girls, said that they could not just wait for them to be killed. Duan Mu supported and said that everything was right. Thanks to the glasses, she noticed that the rope with which they were tied and others, her leaked in several places, Yu could use the shard and she would be able to quickly free herself. Kingsu was saying at this moment that Duan Mu was very smart. Since the fat man had a sishi window, she could also help them and he said that she was a good girl. She had not to scream and just chew through the rope. They all tried to free themselves and then suddenly the glass flashed and the guards saw the shine of the sun glare. Entering the room they decided to check what the girls were doing. Calling the girls very bad people, the guard said that really these two wanted to escape. The girls also decided not to stand on ceremony with their abuser and said that how dare he raise his hand to a woman. The next moment the guard landed on the floor because the girl tripped him. At that very moment see she also untied the fat man's hands and he said that the guy did not offend the girls and died jumping right on top him. But then a friend of one of the guys took out a gun, said that if the fat man twitched, 
he would shoot him and remove the young man right in the face. Then the cat ran straight at the offenders who offended her owner. The young man said that he would not finish until he beat the fat man to death at that moment you asked not to beat the guy. While he was beating the owner of the cat, the cat ran up to him and wanted to attack him at that moment. The young man grabbed a gun from his friend and said that he would finish this cat by pointing a weapon at her. But at that moment when he started shooting at the cat, the fat man defended his animal. The young man hit him with a gun right in his hand. Seeing that the guy defended his cat, he said that it was his turn and would like to shoot at him. At that moment something flew into the enemy. It was a shoe and seeing this, he asked that someone threw a shoe at him. In front of everyone was our hero who came to the rescue of his friend standing in the cell door. The young man said that he thought he would find this guy as soon as he finished with work. He did not expect that he would come to him himself to prepare to die. At that moment, the guy pointed a gun at our hero and asked who of them wanted to die here, because it was still unknown and said that it was necessary to shoot and open fire. The girls shouted for the guy to leave and forget about them. Everyone shouted to Yongfen to run away, because at that moment all the guards shot directly at our hero. But beating off the bullets, the young man asked how he could hide when his friends were in danger. The bullets ricocheted right into his own offenders. Everyone thought that the guy was not a man, because these bullets do not take him. Then, having dealt with the guards, the girl saw that the young man was very strong. Was it really his real strength? But there was only one left. This one guard put a gun to his sister's head, saying that if the young man did not let him go, the girl would die. Kingsu was calling for her brother's help. At this moment, the doctor decided to help the girl and tripped up the scoundrel, saying that he should get away from her sister. The girl ran to her brother at this moment the enemy insisted on her gun. The offender wanted to attack the girl but immediately remained without a hand. Our hero said that the man did not have chances were, the next moment the opponent was already dead. Our hero said that they were severing all ties with Chief Bao and they had to get ready. They were leaving the base. All the guys obeyed the young man and the next moment he heard the voice of Bao himself, who asked if the young man really wanted to escape, because he said it would not be so easy. At that moment there was a man standing behind him the second deputy, and the rest of the guards that were ready to fight with our hero. Bao told Yongfen that he treated him well and why Yongfen took and killed his man. Then the second deputy stood behind him and told Sheriff Bao that why waste time talking to this guy? One blow, and their brother would be avenged. Yu pointed the gun and said that anyone who twitches will become headless, and then Duan Mu used a scan to identify weaknesses, and the fat man used a protective shield. Seeing all this, said that Yi Yongfen was very brave and Bao said that he appreciated this bravery and was ready to give the young man another chance. Bao said that he would forget about everything that happened if the young man gave him one of his team members and he continued to serve as the third deputy, then the young man said that a sensible offer. They have the strongest weapons and people with superpowers in their arsenal, and he has only a few girls and a chubby. Now getting into an altercation with them is like trying to break through a wall with his head, the young man said. You also said that the young man should let her go, because you owed her life to the young man. Then our hero looked at the girl. At that moment Sun Nan thought that he was completely worthless, especially since he deliberately deceived them and brought them to this base. Here the doctor said that she had to go. She joined their team later than everyone else and, in fact, she was still from this base. Taking his weapon, the young man said that there was no need to compete. He only said that this was a good offer. The next moment a weapon appeared in his hand and then seeing this Duan Mu drew attention to the fact that she found the weak point of this wall. The transverse axis of 3 and 3 meters, the vertical axis of 25 and 2 meters, when our hero said that he would never give up on his friends and hit right into the wall behind him. Having broken the wall, our heroes began to run through the hole that was formed there. The girls thought that the guy would not leave them. They were happy. Bao ordered his soldiers to open fire and shoot. If they could not capture the guys alive, they had to be killed, because they could not let him get away. While the girls were running, Sinan covered them with his shield, which reflected the bullets. Then jumping on him he asked and wanted to see if the young man could resist his blow. Sinan was scared, but at that moment our hero attacked him and talked about him dying. The deputy said that the young man was just in time to use petrification, an earthen pyramid to resist the attack of our hero. But after returning from his attack, the young man rushed forward and was able to wound the deputy with his weapon right in the neck. The deputy, holding onto his neck, asked how the young man managed to injure him, because his ability was level 1 earth. Attacking his opponent again with his sword, the young man said that he was not destined to find out. Then Yanfen, taking out his weapon, said that he wanted to see who would die first. Then the mutant said that the young man was an ignorant level 1 scum. Did he really think he could do anything to him? Then our hero attacked him with his weapon. 
and the mutant, looking at his claws, realized that his sword had cut his claws. The young man reported that his sword was quite unusual. He used all their materials to create this incredible weapon and the young man said to himself that he was weaker than this mutant. So he decided to use the red flame to mess with his brains and stall for time. Hearing this, the mutant was angry, was the young man really deceiving him? Because the materials were just useless souvenirs, especially since the young man said that he could only create weapons of level 1. The mutant asked, then our hero said, did he really say that? Then the enemy easily believed it. The mutant, looking at the young man, thought that it could not have killed him. It was impossible to wound him with a level 1 weapon. Was this sword really level 2 or even 3? Looking at the weapons in the hands of our hero and thought that it was necessary to wait for Yume and the others to let them shoot at the young man with firearms and let him hurt his. While the mutant was thinking, our hero saw a car that was approaching directly to him. His girlfriends were sitting in this car and told the young man to jump into the car faster. So after jumping in, our hero showed an indecent gesture to his opponent and said that they had deceived the fool. The mutant only stood aside. Realizing that he was deceived, he thought that the young man was just bluffing. In fact, he was weaker than him and that he was just stalling. So he started running after the car in which our heroes were driving and told Yongfen that he could not escape from him. Then you decided to attack the mutant with her weapon. You shot several times at the mutant, but she understood that she could not hit him and that he anticipated her blows and dodged in advance, and said that mutant beasts are very dangerous. While they were leaving him, they tried to figure out what they had to do, because soon this mutant would catch up with them. The young man cooked that they had to go to the city center, they would go to the very lair of zombies. Then C Nan asked that how were they themselves, because they would drive themselves into a trap. Then looking out the window the young man realized that the mutant was already very close. Duan Mu told Yongfen that she suggested that zombies block his path. And the young man said that it was so, because zombies below level 1 would not be able to smash their car. At that moment they came to a place where there were a lot of zombies and the young man said that the girl would rather drive through them. While our heroes were driving a car through the zombies, the zombies attacked the mutant and then Kinks who saw it, said that the zombies were attacking him and that her brother was right. But the next moment the mutant was telling the zombies to go away from him and dealt with them with one of his attacks to chase our heroes again. I saw that the mutants had dealt with everyone. The guys did not understand how it was possible and said that he was catching up with them again. So Duanmu was asked to press the pedal to the floor and push on the gas with all his might. Otherwise this monster would catch up with them. Looking ahead, the girl said that there was something ahead and that it was a level 3 zombie. Yongfen, looking at the road, said that it was the center of the city, there was a high concentration of people here, every few tens of days a zombie king appears here. Seeing him, the fat man asked if it was a level 3 zombie, for sure he was just terribly dangerous, because it seemed that these creatures lack intelligence, and they are very bloodthirsty, the young man asked, addressing our hero. Then Yanfen, getting out of the car and taking out his weapon, said that this was not the case. Level 3 zombies have special superpowers. He will be much cooler than Bao. This creature is not killable. She only craved blood, the young man said. At that moment, the zombie rushed at the car of our heroes, and the mutant that was behind him also told Yangfen that where would he run now? Rushing at the young man. Our hero was standing against two opponents. There was a zombie in front, and Bao was behind. They could not hide, so he stayed. Then the guys had to leave, after hearing this kinks who said that they could not leave without their brother. And you said that everything was right, she agreed with the girl, and they would not leave without the young man and said that if dying was like dying together. The fat man also said that he did not want to die and told the lord that he begged him to save them. While our hero was about to attack, then suddenly he saw that the zombie and the mutant began to fight with each other, so when the mutant saw the zombie, he asked what this damn creature was doing here and said that he would kill her. Then our hero jumped into the car and told Duanmu to step on the gas faster. While our heroes were trying to escape, the mutant was fighting alongside the zombies. The guys tried to leave from a point where there were a lot of zombies and the girls sitting behind the wheel did not understand why these zombies did not attack them. Then our hero said that he did not suspect that level 3 zombies really choose their own food. Mutants can provide zombies with more powerful energy to increase the level, so they still have to say thank you very much to Bao. Then everyone asked, doesn't this mean that the higher the mutant level, the more dangerous he is? The young man said that this was not necessarily the case, because top level mutants can also look for high level crystals to increase their strength. These zombies can also become their food, so this fight is not for life, but to the death and the strongest survives. Then the doctor interrupted our hero and asked where they were supposed to go now. Yongfen said that it was necessary to go to Haitian. 
There is a military camp there. Now this city is one of the safest places for people. After hearing this Kingsu said that they had to do it, their parents would check on them, because they didn't even know how they were there now. At that moment you looked at our heroes and then they asked what happened. The girl said that everything was fine. Then Duanmu, addressing the guys, said that she wanted to go to Dichuan. Because her parents stayed there at that moment you asked Duanmu why she said. Hearing about the city of Dichuan, the young man thought that in the old days, even before the end of the world, Dichuan was the most restless city, the pride of chaos and horror, it was hard for ordinary people to live there. However, it was also the place with the largest concentration of mutants and people with superpowers, but most importantly, the vile scoundrel Zio was just originally from this city. Yangfen said that they should have gone to Dichuan, now it is very quiet in Haitian. Parents are safe, they could go there later and the young man thought to himself that Zio should have already prepared, because Yangfen was going to kill him. Hearing this, you thanked our hero very much, and King Xiu, looking at the young man, only sulked with resentment at her brother. Then he stroked his sister on the head. The young man asked her not to sulk, because he had recently called his parents and everything was fine with them. They had to go see them another time. The girl just turned away from the boys and sulked on. Yongfen thought to himself that last time their parents also lived in Hadian, and they went to them only after six months and everything was fine with them. Yu, looking at the young man, thought that Yongfen changed the route for her and gave her a second level weapon. Did he really like her? The girl thought blushing and looking at our hero. But then she thought that, however, the young man offered to meet Lin Mai Chun. Everyone heard it. The young man did not offer her anything like that. Wasn't she better than her? Their girl began to think that her breasts were not small, and her legs were quite long. At this moment, interrupting her thoughts, the young man said that he almost forgot about it. He took out a card with a profession and said that she would be the best fit for a doctor. A doctor with superpowers would not interfere with them right now and gave her to Lin. When she saw this girl, she asked what it was and was it really a card for her. Looking at our hero Yu, I didn't understand if the guy gave her a card. Touching the card to the girl's forehead, the young man said that she would soon understand everything herself, and with the help of this card she would discover a completely new world for herself and when he touched the card before, the girl involuntarily screamed, the next moment she realized that she was a perfect sage. Sinan, turning to the guys, asked if the girl had gone crazy, then Yongfen explained that it was not so. The card was just being installed and from that day Lin would have the superpowers of a perfect sage. Now she could do what she could not before. At that moment our hero tried to cut his hand with a weapon. Seeing this, the girl instantly pointed her hand at him and was able to heal him in the same second. Seeing this, our hero finished his phrase that it was the ability of a doctor, and the girl looked at our hero with a smile. When Kingsu saw this, she said that now they should not be afraid if any of them were injured, and the doctor told Yongfen that she was suddenly terribly tired and whether it was normal. Yongfen looked at the girl and said that there was nothing terrible about it because just installing the ability took away too much strength from her, especially considering that her previous level was very low. Patting his sister on the head, the young man said that if she did not want Sister Lin to be tired to death, it was better to take care of herself and Kingsu said that she would be careful, because she did not want Sister Lin to suffer. Lin looked ahead of herself at that moment and said that since there were only restrictions, it was not easier to use medicines or pills. Then the young man said that, of course not, because a perfect sage of the highest level is able to revive a dead person. Such pills were not under the power. Yangfen thought to himself that in the past, a perfect sage of the seventh level could already do real miracles. Lin told the young man that everything was fine then, looking at the whole situation, and Yu thought that the main thing was that she had the strength left, because she also wanted to help Yangfen. The young man then thought that the card was supposed to increase Lin's strength a lot. It looks like he should also take crystals and go to the exchanger, the young man thought. Boss Bao will not be at the base for at least another hour and a half. The rabble left there did not pose a threat to him, our hero thought. And at that moment Yongfen was telling Duanmu that they had to stop the car. He had to go back on business, and they had to go to Dichuan and wait for him there. Hearing this, Duanmu thought that the young man was out of his mind. Did he really decide to return to this damn base? Then our hero was already trying to get out of the car, but King Su, rushing into her brother's arms, tried to stop him and said that she would not let him go anywhere. The young man tried to assure his sister that everything would be fine because he would try to just pick up some things that were due to him. Yu, hearing all this, said that she would go with Yongfen and Duanmu. Hearing this, told Yu that if they went with him now, protecting them he would lose more strength. The best was to go to Dichuan to investigate, and then they could get help for our hero and Yu hearing what her friend said, said that she was right. At that moment the girl said that she was so weak. 
Getting out of the car, our hero was heading towards the base, then he was greeted by zombies who tried to attack the young man. But they were not scary to him, so he fought with everyone and got his grey crystals from them. Reaching the base, the young man thought that it was easy to get to the storage along this path. Before leaving Boss Bao lived a wonderful road for him. Going down through the hole that they had previously made with the guys, the guards saw him and said that it was Yongfen and asked how he dared to come back here. The next moment they were already opening fire on the young man. But our hero, dealing with them, said that they too were also unlucky. Having dealt with his opponents, our hero wanted to open the door, which was clearly not an obstacle to his weapons. And breaking the doors, the young man entered the vault, which contained the items he needed. Looking at the items that were in front of him, the young man understood that Boss Bao's vault would now be completely his, and cutting through all the safes that were right in front of him, our hero saw that there were two more level 1 pills here. Collecting the things he needed, the young man thought that, however, Boss Bao managed to stock up on a considerable number of various weapons and a crystal a few days after the end of the world, and this is probably due to the fact that he accidentally started a deal and learned about many things from there. The young man thought that he definitely needed to move up a level. Our hero realized that his ring was already almost filled to the brim. It's time to arrange a festive salute for Boss Bao, and the young man the next moment he made a new weapon, saying that becoming a level 2 master is really worth it. It was a bomb and said that she did not notice the physical impact. Then Bao suddenly returned and told Yongfen that it was him again. Had the young man completely lost his fear, what the hell was he doing with his things? Seeing him, the young man asked if Bao had returned so quickly. The second level mutants were really capable guys. And then Bao's boss, turning into a mutant again, talked about the young man quickly putting it all back in place. But our hero, pulling out his sword, said that he wouldn't even think about it. Because Bao was wounded and his days were numbered, so now he will finish him off. Bao started attacking the young man and said that he was fine even if he was wounded, but he had enough strength to kill the young man. They began to fight and then Bao said that he would mix our hero with the earth and deal with his friends. Then our hero said that he should close his mouth and not dare to speak about his friends. Bao, looking at our hero, understood that he had wounds and his claws were weaker than the blade of Yongfen's sword and had to get out of here. Running away from the young man thought that he would have to leave the guy this time, but next time he would definitely kill him. Then our hero chasing Bao said that if he I wanted to escape, it was too late. Yongfen attacked him with his sword, cutting through Bao's chest. After killing Bao, the young man thought that it was all fine, but he saved his bomb. Having dealt with Bao, the young man watched his opponent lying on the floor. The next moment he saw the medicine that fell out of his pocket and realized that it was a second level strength enhancement drug. The young man did not think that his opponent would carry it with him. He did not even hide it in the vault. After drinking it, the young man felt like a new power bursting into his body. The second level will allow him to compete with eminent masters. The next moment our hero was thinking that it was necessary to catch up with the girls. While dealing with the zombies that were on his way, suddenly he saw a motorcycle that was right in front of him and sitting on it. The young man went to his friends, killing zombies along the way directly from his motorcycle. While our hero was driving on his motorcycle, he was thinking to himself that it might not be safe here. Laws are not written during the end of the world. Now in this world all people are victims who can become cruel monsters overnight, and no one knows what they were capable of. The young man thought at that moment his ring had started to glow. Looking at the ring, the young man understood that the ring was reacting, which means there is a dealer exchanger nearby and saw traces of the car from the wheels on the road, thought that someone had already been here, so our hero drove faster to reach the right place. While he was driving, he thought to himself that regardless of whether there was someone here or not, he could not help but look into the exchanger. Suddenly he would be able to get something useful. This would be his advantage in going to Dichuan and so Zio would have fewer trump cards, the young man thought. At that moment, the girl's car was in front of him, on which they arrived, and the young man did not understand why they decided to change the route, did something happen to them? Our hero thought as he approached the car. Seeing the tracks on the road, the young man understood that the motorcycle would be very loud, so he would rather walk, following the tracks that were right in front of him. The next moment, there was an unusual picture in front of him. Watching from afar, the young man saw a crowd of people. Looking closer, Yongfen saw Sinan and who was tied to a pole and there were people around him and the guy did not understand why the young man was there. But then where were all the other girls and thought to himself that these people were not mutants at all. They were just ordinary people. Did they really look like on those people from the last world who ate human flesh, and in this case thought that they would have to kill them, because he would not waste time in vain. 
Jumping down from his seat where he had been sitting and taking his sword, the young man rushed at the guys. Then Sinan told Brother Yongfen not to do this and not kill these people, because they were good people. The young man, seeing our hero, asked him to stop, and began to introduce himself. One of them said that his name was Lai Danyu. They did not want to tie up his friend. They were forced to do it by the new village headman. He told them to do so. The second guy explained that the headman said if they did not tie the young man, he would activate the magic tree and turn them into zombies. Then hearing this, our hero asked what kind of magic tree and where his girlfriends were, untying Sinan at that moment. Then the young man ran to the side and told the guy to hurry up ran after him. Sinan explained to brother Yongfen that there was no time for the tree now, because first they had to save the girls. He had to save them faster. The new old man took them to himself and said that he wanted to do very badly to them. Hearing this, our hero ran after him faster, asking about what finally happened to the guys while he was away. While they were running, the fat man said that everything really was like this. As soon as they arrived at the place, they saw the girl and thought they had hit someone. Duanmu was driving and said that the girl suddenly jumped out onto the road. Then approaching the girl, Sinan asked if she was okay and if she had hit hard. Grabbing the young man by the leg, the girl said that everything was fine with her, but her father, he was dying and she asked the young man to save him, but you, addressing the young man, said that they did not have time for this and that the girl had to leave, but the girl said that she would not leave, turning to her sister, she said that they should help her and asked her to save her father. Hearing this, Kingsu said that she felt very sorry for the girl and asked the guys to help her. Then the doctor who was standing behind her said that she thought her strength would be enough to cure this person now. Duanmu also supported everyone with the decision, because she understood that it was she who hit the girl, and that it was their fault and you said that they could have done it, but only for a short time. At that moment, the girl who was throwing herself at Sinan's feet was thinking that another batch of stupid people had fallen for her hook. The next moment she was already leading everyone to the city and explaining that her family lived on the mountain they were climbing and thanked our guys, because they were very kind. At this moment, a man was watching them and thought that Lai Danyu this girl was getting more and more capable every time. This time he managed to bring several girls, he had to urgently inform the headman about it, somehow maybe he would get it. The girl ran in front of the guys and said that it was her house and her dad was inside. Looking around, you thought that although there were no zombies in this village, but it was very uncomfortable here, the girl thought. The next moment they entered the house and the girl informed her father that she had returned, rushing to his bed. Our heroes also went inside the house and the man lying on the bed said that he could not get up and it was all due to illness. At that moment the girl directed her forces at him and told him not to worry, because she would soon cure him. Seeing this radiance, the man realized that these were unusual people. After that, the cough disappeared. He really got better and said that the girl was really a real doctor. At that moment Kinksu stroked the girl on the head and she thanked the guys for helping. Because they were really good people and Kinksu kept saying that her father got better and somehow in another since they can go for a walk together. The doctor at that moment thought to himself that using her superpowers was a very exhausting occupation for her if she was as strong as you. At that moment she began to give way and she said that she was a little tired, so everyone had to go and Kinksu. Supporting the girl, said that once the man became much better, then they will go. At that moment, the man tried to stop the girls and the next moment men burst through the door, blocking the way of the girls, saying that they had heard that there were guests in their village. Then the man asked the headman to let them go, because they really were good people and they could lure someone else. At that moment our heroes realized that they had fallen into a trap. That's why he had a strange look, as if the man wanted to tell them something. The next moment the guy who was at the head of the whole gang said that it was nonsense and ordered to grab our heroes, because that night he would be it's a lot of fun. The man tried to stop everyone else and told the headman not to do it, but the headman only hit the man. At that moment C. Nan tried to save him and asked what the stranger was doing. Yu, pulling out her gun, said that if the guy twitched, she would kill him and nothing would remain of his head. Yu said that everyone should freeze in place and no one should move. Did the guy really want to be shot? Then a man with a knife approached King Siu from behind and grabbed her, saying that everyone should stand still otherwise he would kill the girl, seeing that all our heroes lowered their weapons and raised their hands. The man, pointing a knife at the guys, told them to throw the gun to him if they didn't want to see him kill the girl in front of their eyes. Addressing the fat man, the guy was telling him to quickly give him his shield. The guys realized that they had nothing left to do, the next moment two hit them in the face. Then one of the men said that Liu Xin, it was well done, when he finished the meat, he would give them everything that was left, and asked them to take the girls to his hut. 
and tie the fat man at the entrance to the village and fry. The next moment the man threw himself at the feet of the headman and told him not to do this, because they saved him and there is a doctor among them. She will be able to help the seriously ill residents of this village. The headman only threw the man away by kicking him with his foot and told him to get away from him and why he dared to tell him what to do at all and told him to get out of here. Then he ordered Liu Jing to tie up his daughter and take her to the sacred tree. Also addressing the man, the headman said that if he did not roast this fat pig before his return, the sacred tree would tear his daughter into small pieces and asked if the man understood him. There was nothing left for him but to submit to old age. Our heroes were running to the girls and see Nan suddenly turned around and said that something was wrong. Then seeing this our hero asked what was wrong. But the young man said that he did not know where the house of the new headman was and at that moment one man who ran after our hero said that he he knew and would show the way. Then turning to him, our hero asked why on earth he should have believed him. His friends were in trouble because of this man. Then he spoke and apologized to our heroes, because he sincerely regretted it. That girl cured him. How could he repay evil for good? Besides, his daughter's life was in his hands and he begged Yongfen. The next moment the man ran ahead of our heroes and told them to run faster. The headman there might be a sacred tree in control. If they didn't hurry up, they might be late. When he heard about the sacred tree, our hero was very surprised and approaching the tree. The man said that it was an ancient tree that had protected their village from generation to generation, if he could pray to get rid of the disease. However, not so long ago something happened to the sacred tree. It suddenly rebelled against the villagers and began to kill them, the man said. But when a new head appeared in front of him, the tree suddenly stopped and from that moment all the other residents of their village began to respect him, made him the new head of the village. They believe that a man can manage his tree and save their village from misfortune. Apparently, the so-called sacred tree got so mad after using dark seeds, but turned into a mutant tree. But ordinary people cannot control mutated plants, unless the new head of the village is a person with superpowers. Our hero thought after listening to the man's story. While they were standing, the man pointed his finger in the direction of the city and that it was there that the hut of the new head of the village was located. Then the next moment our hero knocked out the door and the man and C. Nan ran after him, grieving that the guy did not break in there, because there may be a lot of security. At that moment, the girls were tied up in nothing but underwear, and then standing next to them. The headman said that all four girls were top quality goods and that they were very beautiful, and with beautiful figures and beautiful appearance, thinking that he could enjoy their beauty for a whole year. You, she was lying tied up on the bed and tried to resist. Then the man said that if she resisted, he would treat her very badly. The next moment when our hero opened the door and saw this picture, everyone realized that the brother had come to their aid and were very happy. Then, seeing that the young man came in without any problems, the headman did not understand who it was and where his guards were. The young man who killed all the guards said that he could not try, because they were all already dead. The next moment he approached the headman and told him not to dare to touch his people, saving you, who was lying on the bed. Yongfen said that it was better for the girls to get dressed, because there are people outside and he didn't want them to stare at them. After hearing what our hero said, Yu was very happy, because he said that she was part of his people, that is, she belonged to the young man. While our hero was untying the bound, sister and other girls, Yu was watching him. The next moment the young man approached the headman and pointing a sword at him. He asked the young man not to kill him and that he needed to talk. At that moment he had a weapon behind his back. Yongfen, addressing the guy, said that he was such a coward, how could he be such a person? Because he could not be a chosen person with superpowers. For some reason he fooled the villagers, our hero asked. Then, pulling out his pistol, which the headman had previously held behind his back, the guy said that he did everything he wanted and the next moment he was already without a hand. Attacking him, our hero showed who was the boss here and then the man who had brought him here earlier told the guy not to do it and asked him to stop, to which the young man said that he was unable to control the tree. So why was he afraid? But then Yongfen realized that the man he is not afraid of the sacred tree but of the fact that the second one will kill his daughter. At that moment, their daughter was tied up and told her father that she was scared, because one of the men held a knife right near her throat and told the guy to quickly let go of his older brother, otherwise he would kill the girl. The headman said that he had never doubted the girl, and that she was beautiful, lying on the ground and turned to the girl who, before that, had brought our heroes to this village. The man bent over our hero and begged him not to kill the headman. But the next moment the young man shouted for the man to die and attack him. Then the one who held the man's daughter hostage said that if the girl twitched again, he would stab her. The next moment our hero was dealing with his opponents, and one of the supporters of the headman attacked the daughter of the man they had rescued earlier. The girl was wounded and the father ran to his wounded child. 
Hold your daughter in your arms. The man asked the doctor to save her and then the woman said that the man should not worry. She did not meet people she could not save and our hero, addressing the man, said that he entrusted his daughter to her and did not worry about anything. But he could go and gather all the residents on the central place in front of the sacred tree. The man obeyed our heroes and thanked them for what they were doing while running away. At that moment the doctor was treating a child who was lying on the ground. Then, looking at the headman who was lying in a pool of blood, the young man said that he should not pretend to be dead because Yongfen had not touched his vital organs. Yongfen said that the young man would be their guide, because they said that he was able to control the sacred tree. Wasn't it so? Our hero asked, addressing his opponent, and the young man said that he almost decided to give him such an opportunity. At that moment he was trying to escape from our heroes, but the young man, tripping up, said that they didn't care what he wanted to say to him. He had to do everything that he told him. Coming to the tree, our hero saw a merchant and our hero understood that before entering here he felt the presence of a dealer. So it was him, the young man did not think that it would be a level 2 merchant. Looking at the tree, Duanmu said that it seemed like this tree was 3000 years old according to legends. Thousand year old trees can have a spirit. Although there is no scientific proof of this, but there are really records in research. The girl told about it, addressing our heroes. Kinksu, looking at the tree, asked if there was someone under the tree, why he was not afraid of the tree's wrath. The girl was interested. Then the headman said that it was him. It was the guy who ordered him to do evil and that he forced him. The headman thought to himself that they didn't seem to know this guy, and that he would put all the blame on him. At that moment, Yu was telling Kingsu that it wasn't a person, it was a merchant. If the girl had crystals, then she could start a deal when they first met his brother. There was also such a merchant and they are also not able to think, so they can't force anyone to do evil, explained the girl. Turning to Yongfen, everyone said that all the residents were here and when our hero saw it and said that everything was fine. At that moment everyone saw that the tree was raging again and it was necessary to run away faster. Running away in horror, everyone said that the new head of the village controls the sacred tree, and had to run because they would all die. The headman thought that he would stand his ground to the last and still intimidate them and saying that now the young man knows how strong he was, if he did not let him go, he would order the tree to destroy them. At that moment, our hero grabbed the headman and said that if he really could do this, he had to go, and he would see what he could do. Then our hero pushed the headman to the tree and he went to him. Looking at all this, the villagers said that it was bad, because this guy completely went crazy. He released the new head to freedom. Then the next moment the tree pierced the new head and seeing it all did not understand. Did the sacred tree kill a new head? Because the new head could control this tree. Addressing all the residents, Yongfen said that did they see all that had just happened? Because this guy could not control the sacred tree. Only he could stop the wrath of the sacred tree. After hearing all this, they asked if the young man could really do it and then our hero went straight to the tree. Everyone tried to stop him talking about the fact that the tree would not leave him alive. But the young man did not listen to anyone and said that now they would just check it out. Approaching the tree, our hero thought that he hoped that the dark seeds had not yet reached the root of the tree. Otherwise he would not be able to clear the tree of them using the power of his ring. The young man had to clear the tree. At that moment Yu ran to our hero to help him. But a friend said that it was not worth doing this, because Yongfen knew what to do, so the girl definitely would not help him. Duanmu reported that it was better for them to stay here, and watch the young man from here and taking out the gun you said that the girl was right. The next moment our hero started fighting with a tree and then suddenly the tree started attacking our hero right from the back. Our hero understood that it looked like a very strong tree, and that it mutated very much. That even his sword was powerless, the next moment, fighting with the tree, it began to attack our hero and then you shot, help the young man, because only a bullet can cut the roots of this tree, to what terrible level it mutated, she asked. The next moment, Yu was telling the guy to run faster, because a tree was attacking him. Jumping again on the stems of trees that were near him, our hero said that if he could not destroy the tree, an escape would not work either. He would have to go to extreme measures and he splashed his medicine right into this tree then it began to smoke and approaching the dealer who was standing under this tree, the young man said that it was necessary to start a deal. Our hero was thinking that he did not know if there would be an effect from purified water. But while it was possible to protect himself from new blows of the tree, then suddenly everyone asked why it became quiet did the young man succeed. Kinksu said that it was her brother, she had no doubt that the young man would succeed. Looking at the tree, Duanmu went to the roots and thought that this poor tree was finally freed from this horror. Pointing all the fingers at the tree, they said that the sacred tree had calmed down and that young guy could really control the tree. Everyone asked if it was really true. It definitely wasn't a dream, but then everyone tried to figure out where Yongfen himself had gone. 
At that moment, our hero was on a deal and looking at the items that were right in front of him. The young man thought that there were a lot of useful things here. There are even two cards with professions. It looks like this crazy tree protected this merchant well, the young man thought. Of course, the prices here were high prices. Each new level is very different from the prices for the previous ones. Fortunately, our hero did a good job at the boss bow and got 40,000 gray crystals and four white ones. At that moment he was looking at the basket that was right in front of him. In the basket of our young man there was a strength enhancement drug in the amount of two pieces, a healing drug in the amount of five pieces, a strength enhancement drug, one piece, an air defense card and an elf card, and our hero pressed the buy button. With the help of the air defense card, it was possible to control the air and various properties of space. At level 1 you can teleport this is just right for his little sister, and the young man thought. And the elf card was just at Duan Mu and last time. 41,000 crystals were spent, the remainder was 30 gray crystals and 4 white crystals. After seeing all this, did our hero really think that this was all that was left to move everyone to the next level? There was still a decent amount left. It looks like after arriving in Dichuan it was necessary to make everyone earn crystals, our hero thought. Drinking the funds, the young man thought that it was necessary to finally deal with this sacred tree, and looking at the tree where the young man reappeared, he said that it was necessary to continue. At this moment all the villagers said that the young man was a great prophet, and they would worship him, because he saved their village. Duanmu, who approached our hero, explained to Yongfen that he made the tree stop and all the villagers were fascinated and very grateful. At that moment his sister ran to him, saying that where was her brother, did he really go to the merchant? The young man replied that it was really so. He held a level 1 strength enhancement drug in his hand and told Zainan and Lin Myachun and Kingsu to take each this tube. He also turned to you, saying that it was for her, a level 2 strength enhancement drug, because it becomes even easier to fight at high levels, the young man explained. You, looking at our hero, thought that since Yongfen gave her such a different drug and gave it to her, then he probably liked her. While everyone was drinking the funds, the girl talked about it, and all the other heroes thanked the young man for what he did for them. Zainan smilingly said that it was so fascinating, addressing his brother, that he was very grateful to him. After drinking the potion that you gave the young man, she understood that she felt the strength saturating her body and also the doctor saw the effect and said that the weakness was gone. Did the drug really work like that? Kingsu also thought about her brother that for some reason she did not feel anything. And C. Nan said that he had such it feels like he's grown muscles. Yangfen explained to Kingsu so that she would not worry because this card with a profession was also for her. Now the girl would be able to teleport in space and even fly. From that day on she could not be afraid that someone would grab her and looking at the card that our hero gave her. The girl said that it was it was very cool, and she knew that her brother loved her. The young man also gave the card to Duanmu and said that he thought that the elf card would suit her very well. With the help of it the girl could communicate with plants and change their properties. The young man thought that she would like this card very much and stretching out her hands, the girl thanked Yongfen. Now she would also be useful for the fight. The next moment the girls used their cards. Duanmu stood in front of a tree and listened to a voice that reported that before that he was at a complete loss and could not control his superpowers, and when he came to, he found that the new village head was harming the residents, hiding behind his name and now his friend also wanted to gain control over him, so he got very angry. Also listening further, the tree said that everything was fine with him and he did not harm him. He helped him finally get rid of the mutated part of him, and a new life was born in him and offered Duanmu to take her with him, because he hoped that he would help them. At that moment there was a Sophora seedling in front of the girl, a level 3 mutation. The tree also said that his mutated roots remained on the ground, which he dropped. They were very strong and said that it was necessary to take them away and also make weapons out of them. At this moment, looking at the roots of the tree, Duanmu thanked the sacred tree for being made for them and picked up these roots. Running up to Duanmu, Kingsu said that it was very interesting whether the girl was really chatting with the sacred tree, and then Duanmu said that it was all thanks to Yongfen's merits. At that moment our hero stood nearby and tried to understand what the girls were doing. Approaching Yongfen, Duanmu said that this sacred tree not only gave them a gift, but also told them to make a weapon from its roots, handing the young man one of them. And then the guy said that it was a structure with a level 3 mutation. His strength surpassed level 3, it was impossible not to take advantage of it. Addressing Duanmu, the guy talked about her teaching him well, this kid has a huge potential and he will serve the girl well. At this moment a sapling was flying next to the girl, which gave her a tree. Then the young man commanded everyone to gather around him and leave. Then a man ran up to our hero and said that they could not leave, 
because they were their benefactors and saved their village. The rest of them had to stay for dinner, and then they would go. Then his daughter ran up to the girls and said that the girls had skill at the level. Hearing this, King Su asked if there would be anything delicious and everyone approaching our hero told brother Yongfen that he had to stay for dinner. Begging him and his sister tried to put pressure on her brother by saying that she also really wanted to eat. Remaining for dinner, the heroes danced around the fire and watching this, a doctor sat nearby with our hero. The girl said that it would be great if they were not threatened with the end of the world and she hoped that they would live every day like this. Our hero thought to himself that it was necessary to appreciate this happiness, because when they get to Dichuan, the nightmare will begin. In two weeks, the city of Dichuan. Arriving in the city, everyone asked if it was really Dichuan and they were finally there, these two weeks were a real horror. Sinan was sitting at the wheel of the car and said that the gasoline ran out and he had to get out of the car. This road sucked all the juices out of him. Duanmu said that the road was just in critical condition. It was good that they could use their strength to maintain their body and if Yongfen had not shown them the way, they would have simply died and would not have reached the place. Yu sat and thought about her parents, because she came in these half a month she trained hard and became even stronger. Then suddenly Kingsu saw that a monster was coming at them and said that he would not be able to catch up with her. Yu shot at him and said that it was a bunch of insignificant level 1. Duanmu, who came to Lin's defense, told the girl not to leave her side and attack the zombie with her baby, who was now with her. The next moment, the zombie went to attack Sinan, who was standing nearby. Turning to Sinan, everyone told the young man to be careful, because it was a second level zombie. At that moment Duanmu used her glasses and said that there were level 2 zombies even on the border with Dichuan. Then the young man used his shield to protect himself and everyone else. Sinan said that the shield was ready and said that brother Yongfen had made a second level defensive shield for him, so he had nothing to fear from the zombies that were in front of him. Yu reported that the shooting attack was ready. During the journey she smashed five zombies to smithereens, and the doctor also reported that the healer was ready. Kingsu, who was standing not far from everyone, said that she was ready for an instant retreat. No one would be able to catch her, but, of course, except her brother. Duanmu turned to Yu, told her to shoot, and the kid who was now with her could distract the others. At that moment the girl understood and they all dealt with zombies. Then our hero, looking at all this from the side, said that their team worked better and better every time and that it was very not bad. Watching the guys, the young man thought that only half a month had passed, and they were already making such progress, and that it would be very good. Using aerial teleportation and defense, Kingsu ran straight up to the zombie and took out a white crystal from it, giving it to her brother. The girl said that it was for him, then stroking the girl on the head, the young man said that she coped with her task perfectly. At this moment, while our heroes were communicating, then suddenly something flew into the young man and he thought that it was an ambush. While something was flying away at our hero, King Su used air defense and teleportation and grabbed her brother, got up and immediately thought about the commander and said that it was so difficult. At that moment Duanmu and Yu were also ready, saying that the enemy was in the northwest direction and the young man pointing a gun at him to shoot him. Shooting in the direction in which Duanmu said, Yu hit a sniper who was sitting in this place and aimed her weapon directly at our heroes. Then approaching the place where she was hiding, Yu asked who the girl was and why she was shooting at them, pointing her weapon at her. Then, coming out of her shelter and holding her wounded hand, the girl said that she shot because she wanted to kill them. Because anyway the guys were just a bunch of bandits who would rob other people. Then approaching her all the other guys said that the sister did not say so. Did they really that was stolen from her and how could she talk about them like that? Then, pointing at our hero, the girl said that he stole a crystal that should have belonged to her. Because she led this level 2 zombie for 5 whole days and had to kill it today. But she said that the young man took it from her. Crying. The girl said that she wanted to exchange this crystal for medicine for her sister, and the guys left her with nothing. Now her sister will die and they should have killed her better, in any case she will not be able to save her, she is completely useless. Listening to her, you told Yongfen that it looked like the girl was telling the truth. Besides, she was a local, I had to go help her give her some grey crystals as payment for a city tour, it would be much better than if they randomly wandered here. Remembering his past life, the young man thought that the sisters of beauty in the past in Dichuan really were two very brave and strong sisters. They had powerful superpowers. It was hardly a coincidence, he thought and asked the girl what her name was. Turning to our guys, she said that they could not have killed her, they could have quartered her. It was their business. Only she Chu Ziao and was not going to ask for mercy. After hearing this, the young man thought that it was really that simple, it was some kind of miracle. Probably it was fate, our hero thought. Turning to the girl, he asked if her sister's name was Chu Ziaoyan. 
was it true? And then the girl asked how the guy knew her sister. Looking at Yongfen and you wondered how Yongfen did not know the name of this girl's sister. And you kept thinking to herself that they were now about a thousand kilometers from Dichuan City. Besides, she sees Yongfen for the first time in her eyes. Looking at our hero, you thought how many secrets Yongfen hides. In the past, these two sisters did incredible things, in general. Each of them had only eight levels. But together, combining their forces together, they turned into an invulnerable something of level nine. Our hero recalled his past life and thought that he would regret it very much if he did not use it. Approaching the girl, the young man asked to take them to his sister, because they have a healer with a perfect sage card in their team. Perhaps they can help her. After hearing this girl was very surprised that the young man agreed. Then she reported that she would not allow a gang of robbers to see her sister, even if they even have a healer. Which was from that, because they probably want to take her sister away from her. And that's all because she was very beautiful. Giving the girl her white crystal, our hero said that they were looking for one person in this city and wanted to cooperate with his sister and offered her to take this white crystal as a rudiment. When she saw that the young man gave her the white crystals, she asked if he really wanted to cooperate, but that it was still a white crystal and would the guy give it away just like that. Because here you can hire five guards with level one superpowers for one white crystal. Then our hero looked at the girl and said that it was only one crystal. Approaching the girl, you told her sister that if she helped them, then she would help herself. If their friend could cure her sister, they would save a lot of crystals. Besides, where would they find a guard for themselves here? You asked, then the girl said that it was true, she was local, so they could have passed it on to her. Agreeing to the help of our heroes, the girl led them behind her and said that it was necessary without tricks. They have enough daredevils here and without them. The girl thought to herself that without a crystal and a medicine could not be bought even if they were not bad. Let them first cure their sister, then they would deal with them, she thought. Leading the guys forward, the girl said that their underground dwelling was in front of them. Zombies could not get in there and they were safe here, so after knocking on the door, the girl said that it was her and could open. At that moment our hero looked at his hand and saw that the ring was glowing, which means it was nearby there as an exchanger. Opening the door to Sister E. Her sister called her and said where Zion had disappeared. She could not find for five whole days and was scared to death. Two young men put their weapons behind her, who pointed their weapons at our heroes, and then the girl asked if she had brought friends or enemies with her. Using the shield, Sinan asked what they were going to do with them. Then the sister turned to Zion and asked if the guys had taken her hostage. But the girl told her sister that she had misunderstood everything and that they were good people. She wanted to kill zombies. They helped her and even shared a crystal that it was true. Seeing what the girl showed the white crystal, the sister said that since it was so, then the guys were their friends. Then it was possible to open the doors, she thought to herself that if they could harm them, then the sister would never have brought them here. Only if they are not plotting something else, it was necessary to see and get to know them, the girl's sister thought to herself. Xiaowen also informed her sister that her wounds could be cured and said that the guys were here to find one person, and they wanted to cooperate with them. Besides, they have a healer in their team with a perfect sage card. She could cure her by pointing to Lin, who was standing nearby. Then, turning to her sister, the girl said that she was stupid, because a perfect level 1 sage would not heal her wounds. But then the sister reported that if this did not work, then they still had one white crystal, so they would have enough crystals to buy an antidote, then the wounds would not hurt much. The sister was smiling at the girl and told her not to worry about her, because her wounds did not hurt and while she had to save that white crystal for the right time. But the sister said that it was not so, because her wounds did not bother her. Because her sister got into a level 2 zombie, let her she was also an unusual person and she had superpowers, but she could hold out for a maximum of a few days. Then the young man behind the girl said that the second leader did not speak like that, because it was his fault and he said that he was not capable of anything, went to hunt zombies and fell into the clutches of zombies of the second level. The main leader had to exchange all the white crystals they had for the antidote too to save him level. Turning to her sister, the girl said that her sister should not have sacrificed herself, Yongfen. Hearing their conversation, our hero thought about the antidote. It turns out that in this world they sell cleansing drugs in exchangers, why it seemed a little strange to him. Addressing the girls, he told them to tell them how many crystals they lack. He is ready to borrow them, but he has one condition. He needs to use the services of an exchanger. Then the girl reported that they lacked four white crystals or 4,000 gray crystals, respectively and asked if the young man had such an amount. 
holding four chalk crystals in his hand. The guy told her to take them and take him to the exchanger. At that moment the girl looked at the young man in surprise. Seeing his white crystals, was the young man really so ready to part with them? Why was he so kind to her and also brought her sister home? Then, turning to Yongfen, the girl said that they were even strangers, why the young man helped them and for sure he had his own interests, to which our hero said that he needed her and her sister. Hearing this girl were very surprised. The guys looking at Yongfen thought that he had recently said the same words to Dr. Lin. Did he really decide to apply the trick on them now? The doctor thought looking at the young man. At that moment Yu, who was standing nearby, thought that the guy was a scoundrel and asked if they weren't enough for Yongfen. To herself and at that moment, Si Nan was thinking, did brother Yongfen really decide to approach both sisters at once? Ooh. Yongfen reported that he heard that Chu Zai Oyuan has elementary superpowers, and he just lacks such a fighter in the team. Besides, he was looking for a local resident who would become their guide. At that moment, the guys were saying that when he heard about it, why didn't they know anything and how cool his brother was, he always knew everything. One of the sisters reported that the fact that the young man gave them the missing number of crystals, she would be their guide, but becoming a member of their team was not at all necessary. The girl reported, because now there are many large and small groups in Dichuan and a lot of strong rivals, not that no one is recruiting them, they just didn't want to be under anyone's authority, the girls said. Also, one of the sisters reported that their exchanger was located in this country, and told the guys to go right behind her. Also, as for their exchanger, she asked the guys to keep it a secret, but said that he could save their lives and also take them away. Our hero agreed with their terms and then the girl, pointing her finger to the side, said that the exchanger was exactly there. Seeing the merchant, the young man thought about the level 2 exchanger and hoped that there was an antidote, so leaving the girls outside, he asked to wait for him here and you, looking at our hero, only agreed and our hero, approaching the dealer, said that he wanted to start a deal. The next moment, the young man was already in a place where he could choose what he needed to buy. Looking at the things in front of him, the young man thought that it turns out there is a card with professions and a drug to increase strength and it looks like people in this place are really very poor and fortunately during these two weeks he was able to save a lot of crystals. But he was wondering if this antidote really works and decided that he would take one for just in case, let Duan Mu scan it. With this card, the power of the Chu sisters will depend only on him if they do not agree to join them. Then he will give it to Sishi, but they will definitely not get it. And this is not because he was heartless, just during the end of the world everyone had to think about themselves. At this moment our hero was looking at his basket, which was right in front of him. There was an antidote in the basket in the size of one piece. The usual price was five gray crystals for it, but the discounted price for the ring was two gray crystals. And the young man also had a drug to increase strength in one version. The usual price was 100 white crystals, but the discounted price for the ring was 40 gray crystals, and also, the young man took a card of the profession Pure Soul. In a single copy, the usual price was 2000 gray crystals, and the discounted price for the ring was 800 gray crystals. Looking at the basket, the young man realized that he had spent again. But soon he had to get rich and remembered Zio, saying that he was getting ready. Because the young man was already closed, the next moment the deal was completed. But when our hero came out he saw the picture in front of him. They said that the young man turns into a zombie. Did he not take the antidote? Everyone asked why this happened. At that moment everyone restrained the young man who was in a kind of dome. Looking at the young man, everyone understood that he had become an unusual zombie, and immediately a level 1 zombie and perhaps even level 2, and then pointing a gun at him and you said that everyone should hide right behind her and shooting at the young man said that he should die. But the bullets did not take the guy and everyone understood that the matter it was bad, he changed the target. He wanted to attack Sister Chu. Kinks who rushing forward said that she would save them and then the girl said that how did it happen that Zhu Jun took the antidote and then the sister said that it looked like the antidote was useless if he was bitten by a zombie. Then it was over. Then the girls were sitting, and a zombie was running at them, and at that moment Kingsu told them not to lose heart, because she would save them. Approaching the girls she wanted to move them, but realized that she did not have time. The zombie was already nearby. Then our hero appeared and saved his sister along with the girls, chopping off the zombie's head with his sword. And then Kingsu said that she knew that her brother would come to her aid. The young man said that the girl should remember and never dare to risk herself. There was no need to think that if she had superpowers, then she was invulnerable, and the next time she could be left without legs. Hearing that her brother spoke to her like that, the girl was very surprised. Hugging his sister, the young man said that he could not lose her again. After hearing this, the girl did not understand why he had to lose her again. 
had she already been abducted. At this moment, turning to Duanmu, the young man said that she should check the composition and see what this thing was capable of, giving her a test tube. The girl agreed, then our hero went to check everyone else. Approaching the sisters, he asked how the girls were and then one of the sisters said that her sister was very ill, and it seemed that she was turning into a zombie just like Zhu Jun, telling Yongfen that the antidote didn't work. At that moment the sister was telling them to kill her faster. She found it difficult to control herself and begged them to do it. Then Xiaoan said that the sister should have chosen another option. Turning to the healer who was behind her, the girl told her to save her sister faster. At that moment Duanmu checked the drug that our hero gave her and said that this drug is used to neutralize poisoning with heavy metals and nitrite. It belongs to the usual hospital anti-nuclear drugs. This drug cannot stop the process mutations. Just slow it down a bit. The young man understood that if this drug only slows down the effect of the mutation. For some reason the guy lasted so long and only then began to turn into a zombie. Really in this world there are also no means for the body to communicate in the exchangers. The next moment Chu Xiaoan turned into a zombie and began attacking her sister. Addressing Xiaoan, she said that she was no longer able to control and asked her to run faster. The girl, lying on the floor under her sister, said that it was nothing terrible and she was ready to die with her. Then our hero, standing over the sisters, said that although it was inconvenient for him to disturb them, especially at such a dramatic moment, but if they continued to talk, then the girl could not really be saved. At that moment, Yongfen gave Chu Xiaoyan the remedy to have in his hands, and told her to drink it, it would help her, but she just started growling at our hero. The sister, looking at Xiaoyan, said that it would really help her if there was no certainty, then it was better for them to get out of here as soon as possible. At this moment the guy threw her sister away, and told her to stop whining and doubting sooner or later. She herself would become a zombie, so you need to pour this liquid to her as soon as possible in the mouth. Hearing this and grabbing the girl, the guy began to pour medicine into her. Feeling that the medicine had taken effect, Xiaoyan said that she was in a lot of pain. But the next moment her consciousness returned and Xiaoyan jumped up to her sister and asked if she was okay. Then the guy looked at the girls and said that she was fine. Addressing Sinan, our hero said that the young man could remove his shield. Xiaoyan asked her sister how she was feeling, how her wounds were and whether they hurt or not because she scared the hell out of her, because she thought she had already turned Xiaoyan into a zombie. Then the girl said that she really turned into a zombie, saying that her head was very dizzy and asked if she had given her medicine. But then Xiaoyan said that it was not so, because it was Yongfen who saved her, that is, he saved them both. Xiaoyan looking at our hero, the girl did not understand how the young man did it. Then Yongfen explained that a primitive antidote is sold in the local exchanger, which only slows down the process, he gave her medicines that he bought a long time ago. If a medicine that just slows down the mutation process is so expensive, it's hard to imagine how much a medicine that can stop turning into a zombie costs. But the young man still saved Xiaoyan, so she thought that how could he pay for his kindness. At that moment someone ran to them and told the leader that it was bad. The man who ran to our heroes said that their sworn enemy Zheng Zhang rushed in with his men to them. Now they are tightly seized in the main hall. There is a fierce fight. The brothers are holding on with all their might, he reported. Hearing this, the girl got up from her seat. Then I turned to the man. She said that Zheng Zhang probably found out the news that she was injured and decided to make a route. It was necessary to go after him. Since he dared to come here, he would not leave here alive. The next moment, Xuan Wu turned to her sister and said that she was very weak, she could not fight. Yu, looking at our hero, asked if they would help these girls, and our hero said that first you need to go see what's going on there, because they can be useful. When our heroes came to the area, they saw that the guys were fighting and someone was shouting that it was necessary to defeat them, because this Xiaoyan girl turned into a zombie. She is no longer a person and can't do anything. It was necessary to break down all the doors and the bandit said that if they found an exchange, they could become even stronger. At that moment, my brother was talking about how he, too, would be able to get superpowers. Then suddenly someone asked what insignificant creatures dared to arrange such a thing on his territory and it was Chu Xiaoyan who appeared in full force. When the guys saw her, they told everyone to duck because this girl with superpowers and why she was here the bandits asked. They also said that Zhu Jun said that Chu Xiaoyan was injured because of him. Wasn't it so and how could she survive? Then the girl said that she didn't die and Zhang Zhang had enough courage. The next moment everyone asked the boss if she was okay after all, Zhang Zhang dared to attack them. 
the girl began to use her strength and the next moment she knelt down on one knee in pain and then running up to her. Her sister asked how Xiaoyan felt. At that moment the gang saw that the girl was weak and told them to look at her. So she took them to show off and said that they had another chance. The next moment, the whole gang went on the attack. Because the girl was injured and would not be able to use her superpowers, so they had to grab Chu Xiaoyan and said that the exchanger would be theirs. At that moment, a whole army with pistols was marching on the Chu Xiaoyan gang, and then the brothers defending the Chu Xiaoyan gang said that everyone needed to hold the line because the opponents wanted to grab their leader. At that moment, the preceptor Zheng Zhang presented a gun in Chu Xiaoyan's head and said that if anyone dares to return, he will blow off the head of their leader. Then her sister pointed her weapon at the man and said that if he touches her then her, then his brains will scatter all over the neighborhood. At this moment, the girl was telling her sister to come to her here, because the enemy would not dare to hurt her. Throwing the gun Zhang Jiang said that he would let her go. Then I turned to my partner Zhang Zhang said that he would eliminate the girl's weapon. Getting into Xiaoan's hand, everyone saw that the girl was injured and told them not to kill them, and begged. Then the guy said that everyone should come out or he would shoot them and wanted to see what the young man was capable of. At that moment our hero left the building and said that he came out, that it happened next. The sisters will see that Yongfen came and said that he really came to save them and said that the guys wanted to kill them. At that moment Zheng Zhang asked the brother, addressing our hero, because he was not like the chain dogs of the Chu sisters and it was necessary to agree that if Zheng Zhang did not touch him, then Yongfen does not touch him, asking how the young man had such an offer. Looking at our hero, Zheng Zhang thought that the young man came out to them alone and it seems that it was very strange, maybe there was some trick in it. Then our hero asked if the shooting was completed and the voice behind him reported that there were only six of them and the strongest of them has the first level. Pointing the pistols at our hero, everyone understood that there was someone else there and addressing his brother. One of the bandits said that they could not miss them, that if they had all heard about the exchanger, then they could tell someone about it and tried to open fire. At that moment, someone attacked them with their weapons, and then King Su and Si Nainanam. Using a shield, told their brother not to be afraid, because they were here. Then the young man, turning to his sister, asked why she thought that he was afraid at that moment of you, who was shooting from her pistol because of our hero and bullets hit their opponents in the head. Seeing this, Zheng Zhang said that it turns out there are others with superpowers and that they almost killed him, because one bullet grazed his forehead. Yu, coming forward, said that it turns out if he knew the coordinates, even with his eyes closed, you can hit the target. At this moment the doctor, coming out, said that it was all because the girl has a gift for it. Ordinary people can't do that. For example, she also won't work and the girl said that she would go and help the wounded. The sisters, sitting and crying, said that they had been saved. They would be fine at this moment Zheng Zhang asked. But why are such strong people like them helping the sisters? Then Xiaoyan said that because they are lucky. The girls also asked Zheng Zhang to answer who told them that they had an exchange and how he found out that she was sick and that he had to answer immediately or he would not be well. Then Zheng Zhang said that it was Kin Jun and he said that the girl spent white crystals to buy a second level antidote for him. That's hilarious Zheng Zhang said, then shoot him in the head the girl said that it was enough and now he can die. Xiaoyan also thanked Yongfen that this time he not only saved her, but also all her brothers. She did not know how to thank the young man. Looking at the guy, Xiaoyan thought that another moment of trouble would not have been avoided. But he saved the situation with ease and skill, this man could be relied on, the girl thought. At that moment, her sister was apologizing to our hero, saying that she was very nervous and did not pay attention to how she shouted his name and thanked the guy for saving them. Addressing the sisters, our hero reported that he only wanted everyone to stay alive. People who would help him find one person said that it was not worth so much gratitude, so the sister thanked the young man and said that she would help him find this person. The sister reported that now it was her duty and she could not refuse, but she has one request. There are only 10 people left alive in their camp. The young man would not mind if they also joined his team. At this moment, all 10 guys said that they were very grateful that Master Yang had saved them. Then King Su, addressing the guys, because from that moment on they were each other's comrades. The guys had to teach and train well. The young man said that since they were not strangers to each other now, he wanted to give Xiaoan something. At that moment our hero held a card in his hand and thought that only this card could show the true power of their elementary superpowers. Seeing the card in the young man's hand, everyone understood that it was a card of pure soul. Would the young man just give it to Xiaoan? Because it costs 2000 grey crystals. But our hero gave it to Xiaoan and told her to use it. 
Then thanking brother Ziao and kissed him on the cheek. Seeing this, both King Su and Yu were very surprised and thought that the girl really had the courage to kiss the guy. King Su thought that since she had the courage to kiss her brother, maybe she would also want to become a daughter-in-law, and she didn't mind. Then Yui saw this and said to herself that she was jealous of the girl, why was she able to do this? The next moment, the profession card, pure soul, fusion was applied and the young man looked at the girl. Then the sister thought to buy medicine for the girl, and the little sister could not afford to spend at least one silver crystal. In the past she always dreamed of having this card. She could not even think that Yongfen would do it and understood that she really hadn't made a mistake about him. At that moment, the merger was completed and turning to brother Jan, the girl said that she wanted to try her new superpowers and our hero said that she could certainly do it and just tried it on someone who wanted to offend them. Seeing the power, the girl understood if this is really the power of a pure soul. And you thought about the fact that another person with a mutation was now in the team and only she remained of ordinary people, and sighed, thinking about it to herself. Our hero said that the girl should not indulge, now her body was still weak, strengthening is required for such strength and she can earn exhaustion of the body, then showing her tongue to our hero, the girl thought that he understood everything. Addressing Chu Zioyan, the young man told her to gather people. He needed to look around outside. At that moment the doctor was trying to cure the girl. Our hero looked ahead and said that he had to get acquainted with the situation as soon as possible. There was no news from Yan's parents, so he had to hurry. Then, smiling at the doctor, Chu Zioan said that everything was fine. She would go with the young man. Thanks to Sister Lin's gift, it became much easier for her, especially since she knew the local places and thanked Sister Lin for curing her. The girl sitting next to her said that any doctor was capable of it. Here Link Su turned to her brother and said that she also wanted to go with them and asked the young man to take her with him. But the young man said that he could not do this, he was now going to inspect the nearby territory. It could be dangerous. Yongfen reported that he had another task for the girl and he asked his sister to check the camp's food supplies. If there was nothing, then it was necessary to get food from the chain and distribute it to everyone. Now they were one team. After hearing this, everyone understood that the guys said they had food because there was a shortage of food in their camp and after the apocalypse happened, they could not replenish supplies and everything that was left here had long been over. At that moment they looked at their owner, thinking that he had food, with glowing eyes. King Su, pulling out the food from her chick, said that of course they had food and everyone could eat their fill and asked to look here, where there was a mountain of food. Seeing this, everyone here understood that there were noodles and spicy chicken legs, because they didn't even remember how many days they hadn't eaten meat. At that moment, the sisters ran up to the food and thought that they were very hungry. The young man told them not to be shy and eat and turned to Zioan, saying that she would eat too, and then they would go. Looking at hungry people, our hero thought that because of the apocalypse, food became the most popular thing. Even in the exchangers it was possible to buy food. Of course the price was simply sky high and it was not available to ordinary people. Also in the past ordinary people had to sacrifice a lot for food, men became slaves, and women sold your body. Addressing the owner, Zioan said that they could go out, because she had already eaten. At that moment she was walking to our hero and paying attention to the girl. Yongfen realized that she had a bar of chocolate in her pocket and the guy realized that the apocalypse, when a bar of chocolate is considered a priceless treasure, so he said that they could walk. At that moment the girl was running right behind our hero. Zioan said that there is a central district in the city of Dichuan. The city core, five rings encircle it, and they were now on the border of the fifth ring. At that moment our hero saw a zombie rushing straight at him, but Chu Zioan also saved the zombie and remained lying on the ground. Then the girl began to continue her story that level 1 zombies usually live within the fifth ring. Sometimes you can meet level 2 zombies. The further you move deeper into the ring, the more likely it is to meet zombies at a higher level. She also said that within the three rings, level 2 zombies are as common as in level 1 zombies here. But even level 3 zombies are found, the girl said, taking the crystal out of the head of the zombie she defeated. Listen to her story. Our hero thought that you said that her parents live within three rings, and Zio on one ring. Our hero thought and said that it was about one ring, and the girl said that she did not know. She had only been on the border of three rings, go even further it she didn't have the courage, but she saw people there, the girl said. Zioyan explained that the people there do not live as scattered as they do here, they have an organization and they are well disciplined. 
They deal with level 2 zombies with ease, without straining too much. Yongfen said that if he took her, she would be able to defeat a level 2 zombie, and the girl said that she thought she would have a hard time. At that moment they were being attacked by a zombie. Using her fire, she decided to attack him, but it didn't help the zombies and the girl asked the boss to duck. Then taking her hand, Yongfen said that she was holding her hand incorrectly, and there was no need to throw it away like that. You need to leave your hand motionless and one deadly blow, and that's it. He said that the girl gave freedom to her superpowers holding her hand. Xiaoyan used the fiery sun and was able to slay the zombie that was right in front of her and thinking that it was so easy to hit right on target that this Yongfen was just a godsend. The next moment they were returning back to the camp, where all the friends of our hero were sitting and waiting for his return. After coming to the camp, King Su listened to our hero and asked about special training and whether it was necessary. Turning to her brother, saying that she wanted to go for a walk, kill a few zombies, get a pack of crystals and all, what kind of training was there? Then the young man said that Dichuan was unlike any place they had ever been to. It was very dangerous here. In order to save Yu's relatives, they had to prepare properly. The young man said that special training includes three stages. Stage 1 is a thorough study of the characteristics of one's ability. If everyone knows all these features, victory has been secured. This is what is called the foundation of the foundation. Kingsu said that she knew this, her superpower was air defense. She knew how to teleport and this is a great skill to escape and escape. She could also help her comrades, she was well versed in this, so she did not need any special training. Looking at his self-confident sister, Yongfen said that then he would ask her a couple of questions. What was the maximum distance she could teleport? What was the maximum number of all abilities she could use in a short period of time and how many people she could teleport at a time? After hearing all this, she said that she did not understand it. Looking at our hero, everyone thought that no one seemed to have studied such details of their abilities. If you make a mistake during a real fight, it's hard to imagine what the consequences might be. At that moment Yu was thinking that only she didn't have abilities. Even C Nan has, but she doesn't. Our hero looked at the girls and said that this did not mean that he specifically did not give you a card, just that there was no suitable one for her yet. Looking at the young man you understood that he remembered her and in the future she would definitely receive her abilities. Shaking her head from her thoughts, she wondered if she was still normal, and what was in her head. The guys were here to save her parents, and she was suffering because she still hadn't received her ability. The next moment the girl was thinking that she needed to get ready, because she was the one who owned a pistol the best in the world. Even if she didn't have her own ability, but she was still the strongest. At this moment our hero interrupted her reasoning, and asked to pay attention to what he would be now talk. The young man reported that stage 2, it was necessary to work hard on his physical form. It was not necessary to rely on the advantage obtained from mutations and medications. It was necessary to develop their abilities and physical abilities, because at a critical moment they can be very useful to everyone and that the chances of survival will increase rapidly. At this moment, the young man was listened to. Then he started talking about stage 3, saying that it was honing teamwork. Hearing this, Duanmu asked if they had not already worked out this skill, whether they still needed to practice. Then our hero explained that no, this time their teamwork would be somewhat different. Every day they would gather teams of three people to hunt zombies in any order. They had to try their best to move as far as possible into the ring. The young man reported that he would focus not on the joint work of all team members, but on the fact that further groups of two and three people could boast of a honed and strong team message. Then, as the combinations will be different for ordinary people and people with superpowers, they must learn to develop different battle tactics that will skillfully adapt to changes. Hearing this, the doctor asked what it meant. Would each of them move separately? Then Yongfen reported that it was so, they would have to split up. He could not use up all the trumps of their team. Under any circumstances there should be no power source left, only to preserve their dignity and strength. Then they would have there is hope for victory. The doctor, looking at Yongfen, understood that he was right because they did not know what opponents they would have to face, only if there were reinforcements they had hope of winning. The Chu sisters, looking at our hero, thought that brother Yongfen was taking care of them. In this end of the world it was possible to survive only by listening to his orders. The next moment, our hero reported that, if there are no objections, the first round of special training will begin tonight. Addressing Duan Mui, Si Nan and Chu Ziaoan, this was the first group. Lin Maya Chen and Yang Kingsu are the second group. Lin Xiaoyan would be guarding the camp and they had to make an inventory of weapons and equipment, as well as fill out a list of personnel and report to him. After hearing this, everyone agreed with our hero. 
Then King Su, approaching her brother, asked what Yang Fen would do and the young man said that of course he would have his own affairs here, so he would take care of them. The next moment our hero was leaving the camp. The young man walked and thought that let them prepare, and he would go about his business, because during the day he studied in detail the road he was walking along. It was the shortest way leading to the inner rings, walking along the road our hero thought. The outer surface is three rings. Looking forward to the third ring, the young man realized that there could be level 3 zombies, as well as animals with mutation. Although he had decently received all sorts of interesting things from Boss Bao, after all, they were all low-level materials. Now he needed to get high-quality equipment for his team. Killing some scary monster for this would be quite enough, the young man thought. At that moment something attracted attention. Looking behind him, the young man saw a monster and thought that it was great. A wild boar would just fit as a material for weapons, so he went to attack this wild boar. Looking at the boar and the young man understood that he had to be more careful with a mutated level 3 animal. Besides, he wanted to find out what the second level was capable of in combination with a level 4 weapon, and what was its limit. Chapter 49 Going to attack the boar, the guy realized that his forces were at the very peak of level 3 a little more and the boar would advance to 4, it looks like this boar ate a lot of his relatives. The young man understood that he was resolutely trying to stick his horn into him, probably killed a lot of rivals in this way. It turns out he has a mind, so it's not so easy to advance to the 4th level. Fighting with the boar, the guy realized that he still had no chance. The next moment the young man went straight to the boar, attacking him in the eye, and said that his attacks would not work with him. In the past world he practiced countless times. The next moment the young man was telling him to excuse him, but he wanted to take his crystal. But then suddenly the boar was able to attack our hero, and the young man had to jump away from him. Yongfen understood that even being near death, this boar had enough strength to throw him off. This was a very serious exhibit. Rushing away from the enemy, however, level 3, this is only level 3, the young man thought. At that moment, something began to happen to the boar in seeing this glow. The young man understood that it symbolized a breakthrough to another level, and that now the boar was moving to level 4. Looking at his opponent, the guy understood that in the past world he had already heard of cases when mutated animals with a pronounced instinct of preservation at the moment of anger could begin the process of breakthrough right in the middle of a fight. But he never thought that he would witness such a phenomenon himself. In case of a successful breakthrough to level 4, his physical strength will increase much. He may have superpowers, but in this case even he could get into trouble. But if you kill him now, you can only get a red crystal. And if you wait for the transition to another level and kill then he has a chance to get an orange crystal, worth a thousand red crystals. Besides, it will be possible to make a weapon of the highest quality from his fangs. Our hero reflected as he watched him make his breakthrough. Then seeing that someone was shooting at a boar, the guy realized that it was a grenade launcher, which means there were people here. At that moment two men who shot at the bull said that they had a cool catch, they could buy a lot of everything with this red crystal. After seeing two strangers, our hero said that, probably, they wanted to say that he had a cool catch. It was he who brought this animal to a state of near death, and they just finished him off, that they wanted to argue with it. Turning to our hero, the guys started shooting right at him and saying that our hero really wanted to take the red crystal, and they wanted to see if he could get out of here alive. Attacking Yongfen, who was standing not far from them, because the guys were on the roof and they had a great view of the area, and therefore they were able to shoot at their opponent from there, talking about the boar. While they were looking at our hero, the young man was standing quietly from below and taking out his weapon and asking if the guy really wanted to die. At that moment an explosion sounded behind our hero and seeing this, two acquaintances were completely stunned how the guy could attack them and heading towards them. The guys said that a mistake had occurred and apologized, saying that one of the brothers acted recklessly. Then the guy said that, however, they still killed this level 3 monster, and so maybe they could divide the profit by 40 by 60, after hearing what his brother was saying. The second asked if he was crazy. He didn't want to give him 40%, actually he was alone and there were two of them, they could have killed him. Then I turned to my brother, the guy asked if the brother didn't see what the young man was capable of. He was afraid that from that gang of new masters, if they touched him, they were finished, then our hero said that it wouldn't do, he was 80, and they were 20. Then the brother of the deceased guy started shooting at our hero and trying to hit him with bullets. Yongfen deflected all his attacks with his sword, attacking his opponent and trying to attack him with his powerful sword, the next moment cutting the enemy. The young man applied a healing drug to himself. Yongfen did not expect to meet such skilled rivals on the third ring. If they had plans to move even closer to Dichuan, 
they would have to become even stronger. Then he realized that he had only one drug left for healing. The next time he met the exchanger, it was necessary to replenish stocks. Here, after knocking and opening the door, Sio An did not understand who it was. There was a young man completely beaten in front of her. And when she saw Yongfen, she said that the guy had returned. Why there was a hole on his t-shirt and did the young man meet a zombie? That he looked so crippled. Then Yongfen explained that he did not meet zombies there, but a master with level 3 superpowers. Seeing this, Xioan was very surprised. Did the young man fight with a level 3 master and only got off with a hole on his clothes? It was amazing. Then Yongfen asked how the guys were, whether they had returned from a special training session. And then she asked him to take a better look at it himself. Entering the room, our hero saw Sinan, who was pierced by a weapon, and also Duanma who was wounded, and his sister, seeing their boyfriend asked what happened and where Lin Maya Chun was, to which Xiaoan replied that they had not returned yet. Xiaoan shouted to brother Yang that Sinan wanted to help her and it was all because of her, he was just trying to save her, and she was very weak, the girl confessed. Looking at our hero, Duan Mu said that they met two strong level 2 zombies, after which a battle ensued, they tried their best to defeat these zombies, but Sinan was seriously injured because the young man tried to save them. At that moment, they all went to help Xi'an. The young man was completely beaten up, saying that it was not so easy to finish him off, and that he had a wide bone, asking Yongfen if he had disappointed him. Then Yongfen reported that the young man had done the right thing and, turning to Duanmu, asked her to take this healing drug. Then, looking at him, Sinan thought that if it was a stelling drug, then it probably cost a fortune and thought that everyone considered him a burden that he brought nothing but trouble, that he was fat and stupid. Only one brother Yong was kind to him and the young man understood that he I was in debt to the guy for the rest of my days. Our hero sat down closer to Sinan and taking the thing out of his body said that when he got it, Duan Mu had to pour the medicine into the guy's mouth and then they would save him. The next moment, our heroes took hold of the beam that stuck out of Sinan's chest and told the young man to be patient. The next moment he tore the beam out of him, and Duan Mu quickly poured the medicine directly into his mouth. The guy lay down on the floor and then Yongfen explained that nothing was threatening him now. But in order to heal the young man completely, Lin Maya Chun's strength was needed. Then Duan Mu reported that they went in a different direction to the northeast. But it was already 3 o'clock in the morning and in fact they also had to return back, the girl said. Then our hero understood that something might have happened to them. Yongfen reported that he would go look for them, and they had to take care of Sinan. Duan Mu agreed with him. The next moment our hero was already walking along the road, and two zombies were running at him. While dealing with his opponents, our hero thought that you like to show off her powers, and you and Lin Maya Chun have unique abilities, so it would not be difficult for the three of them to get out of trouble, unless something happened. Then turning around, the young man smelled blood and realized that there was a fight the next moment, going up behind the alley. He saw that it was his friends here and Yu was standing against a pile of zombies and fighting them with her gun, saying that while they were fighting zombies, these guys sprayed poison. There was a group of bandits in front of Yu and then one of them said that it wasn't poison, it was his rosemary ability, they were just unconscious, and that the young man said that he didn't kill them. At that moment, King Su and Lin were lying right on the floor next to Yu. The gang leader was telling the beauty to advise her to stop too, otherwise she would face the same fate as these two girls. The guy also said that she could count three white crystals that she had in her hands and a gun as her devotee, and said that he would treat her well in the future. Yu, firing her weapon at him, told the young man not to dream about it, because she would never deal with such a scumbag like him. Then using protection, the bullet did not touch him and he ordered to open fire, and turn everyone into a sieve. Looking at her opponent, you didn't understand what she had to do. She could dodge ordinary bullets, but the girls couldn't and if it wasn't for her greed, if they hadn't chased three level two zombies and crossed the third ring, they wouldn't have stumbled upon these bandits, thinking that if they continued now in the same spirit, then they can only wait for death and nothing more. Here you said that everyone should wait, because she had an offer to them and she offered to make a single fight without weapons and interference of outsiders. If she wins, then the man will let them leave. But if he wins, she will do everything as he orders and that he may disagree and order them shoot and her friends will die. But his fighters will not get away with it, because she will kill them at the cost of her own life, the girl said. Our hero, watching this, understood that in a previous life, Ye Yu was one of the most unsurpassed fighters. Now there was a great opportunity for her to take this path and our hero understood that he should not have interfered with this event, so he just stayed to watch from his seat. The gang looked at the girl and said that they accepted her offer, because it was interesting for their leader. 
Also one of the guys said that the girlfriend obviously believed in herself very much, since she decided to challenge their master and then someone said that maybe the girl was just frostbitten on the head, once she decided on it. Then, standing against each other without weapons, everyone watched the fight that was going to happen between you and the gang leader. Looking at you, the guy asked if she was ready, because he was not used to waiting for a long time. At that moment he lost his fists, and then you began to attack him. The man said that in this area he was one in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and there was no one stronger than him and said that the girl could prepare to die. Then you said that she was afraid that today the young man would become two in this area, and hit him right in the side. Seeing her attack, the young man realized that she decided to comb her side and therefore attacked her directly hitting the girl in the face. You fell to the ground and then the boss stood against her, talking about the beauty admitting defeat, even if they were both second level. But they all have their weaknesses, then you understood that it was a very powerful blow. The young man continued to say that each person has a different physical form and thanks to the strength enhancing drug, this difference seems incredible, he is at least three times stronger than the girl. He explained. Then our hero appeared and looking down at the battle told you that she could not take this man by force, but she had her advantages, seeing him the gang leader asked who he was and that he should not have interfered. His partners pointed a gun at our hero, saying that if he dares to touch their master, they will shoot him. Seeing Yongfen, the girl looked up and was very surprised. At that moment, rushing at Yongfen, the man said that her friend had arrived. It was necessary to speed up. Looking at the opponent, you understood what Yongfen said about her advantage and she was thinking what it was. Then looking at the opponent who ran straight at her and said that she had to die, the girl suddenly remembered her advantage. Using her speed, which was her advantage, she was able to quickly dodge his attack. The man realized that he did not hit the girl, was completely surprised that she was able to dodge his blow. Dodging the bandit's blow, the girl went into battle and then seeing this, she began to beat him. But the guy said that she would not succeed. Even though she was very fast for him, her blows were nothing more than a tickle. But the next moment, Yu was already behind the opponent and was able to hit the guy right between the legs, saying that every man has a weak spot and he was absolutely no exception. Realizing that the girl hit him between the legs, the man fell down and lay on the ground, saying that she was completely heartless. At that moment Yu came up to him and hit him right in the face with her shoe, saying that they were not finished yet, and the next moment she threw him right into the wall and told him to roll out of here. After seeing everything that the girl had sorted out with their owner, the team asked if he was okay. You, looking at her opponent, thought that of course this guy was thick-skinned and strong. But if you find weaknesses, then she will have the opportunity to win. However, even if you strain and accelerate, even with her level 2, it is very difficult and expensive. Looking at Yongfen, the girl understood that this time she showed herself well, and thanked him for it. But then seeing his expression, the girl didn't understand what it meant. There are no signs of fatigue on this scarred face, only gas from the progress comes from his body. And then the man said that how could he think that it turns out that she has a masterful skill that even knocked down such a strong man like him. But soon this fight will end and who knows maybe tonight he will be able to make as many as three takeoffs, the enemy said. So using his strength, he said that he began to approach this seriously. The next moment, in the place of a man, he turned into a monster and seeing this, you realized that his ability was in front of him. Looking at a man who looked like a dog and therefore realizing that it was his superpower, she could not help laughing. Attacking the girl, the guy said that most of all he hated people who laughed at his superpowers, because he changed his mind. He could do with two takeoffs, saying that the girl could go wherever she wanted. Realizing that the mutant was attacking her, you tried to dodge, thinking about how fast he was, because his movement speed increased after activating the superpower. Dodging her from his blow, the bandit said that if she thought she had managed to escape from one blow, could she repel the second? Because his speed was three times higher than the girl's, so he attacked her again and you flew straight into the wall, realizing that her opponent's speed was significantly increased. The guy said that it was almost like that and that he would soon send her to the next world. Grabbing the girl by the throat so that she would not worry until her body cooled down, his brothers would take care of the girl. Looking at her opponent, you understood that if he hit her, she would surely die. Did she really have to die right now? Before her death, the whole life of EU flashed before her eyes and recalled that her hand was shaking when she tried to climb up the wall. Realizing that she was going to fall and break to death, she thought that she should not have quarreled with the coach. She should have secured her safety rope well. 
At that moment, while the girl was crawling up the wall, the guys were shouting that someone had decided to climb up without insurance, and then they realized that the man was crawling up, really, what he was doing, he decided to save her. Everyone understood, watching you. When she saw her father, the girl asked if her father wanted to save her. Then her father turned to her and said that once she started climbing without insurance, she had to be responsible for her decision and told her to go forward to the highest point and hold on and continue climbing. Little Yu understood that it was her decision, she had to be responsible for her decision, so she crawled up. At that moment she remembered that she would fight and had to protect her friends, because she could not lose. The next moment she was repelling her opponent's attack by climbing right on his arm and the next moment she laid him on the ground. Realizing that the girl got the better of him, the man lay on the ground and said that she also knew such techniques. At this moment Yangfen looked at Yu from above and thought that he was not mistaken in Yu, because if she was a coward, she would never be able to become one of the best fighters in the past world. While the young man was watching, Yu was able to break her opponent's arm and realizing that the girl broke his arm, he decided to attack her so that she would die but his attack fell on empty air, because Yu managed to jump back in time and said that now he would lose two hands. At that moment the girl broke both his hands and she said that he lost by pulling out his weapon. Then, seeing the knife near his throat, the mutant said that he was ready to admit defeat so that the girl would not kill him. Then Yu said that he should have kept his word and let them go. After hearing this, the mutant said that he would do as she said, but first she had to let him go. Yu, looking at Yongfen, thought that she had used such a cunning technique to defeat the enemy. She did not even know that if Yongfen was disappointed with her now. At that moment, Yongfen was saying that the girl had done a great job and turning to him, Yu was smiling at our hero with tears in her eyes. At that moment, the opponent's eyes flashed behind her and he said that the girl had lost by trying to attack her. At that moment Yongfen managed to get down and grabbing his girlfriend. He attacked the opponent with his sword, saying that he had no right to take the lives of his people. Then the enemy asked our hero and begged him not to kill him. But the young man said not to persuade him, because he lost his chance of life when he tried to bite the girl. The next moment, our hero cut his opponent right in half. When they saw it, all his colleagues said that their boss was no longer there and they had to run faster, because the young man had killed their brother and that he was a monster. One of the guys and absolutely did not understand how it was possible and how the young man managed to kill his brother. Then you said that this shorty has superpowers, he can make people lose consciousness and said that it was because of him that they got into trouble. Yangfen looked at the young man, he knelt down, calling our hero the master, saying that he was glad to see him and that within their four rings, the winner has the right to take away the savings and the members of the loser's team. After seeing this, Yongfen said that he did not need younger brothers and that the young man should get out of here. Then realizing that he did not need him, the young man was very surprised by this fact, saying that it would not do, turning to the owner, because he killed a scarred face, and with his insignificant superpower, the young man could not even find food for himself. He explained to Yongfen that he was right in front of him. Addressing the owner, the young man fell to his knees right in front of him and told the guy to take him to himself. Then Yu, addressing the young man, told Yongfen that he was still their opponent. But our hero, looking at the guy, understood that he had unusual superpowers, like Rosemary. And to kill Zio, he there is just a lack of a first-class specialist who could control the situation. Yongfen agreed that he could take a new team player and said that he had to remember only one thing. If he decided to do something bad, Yongfen would grind him to powder. The young man's name was Cheng Yu and he said that he remembered everything and therefore thanked the owner for allowing him to go with them. Looking at his sister and Lin, the young man talked about his new subordinate making sure that the girl came and looked at the girls. The guy talked about what would be done. Then turning to Yu, the young man said that she climbed on his back. Then Yu did not understand that he does the same. Yangfen told her to climb because did she think she could walk by herself, but the proud Yu said she could do anything. The next moment, the girl began to fall from powerlessness and thought to herself that women should not have shown their weakness. She had to prove to Yongfen that she was not helpless at all, but very strong. But the next moment she fell right in front of our hero and understood that it was a shame. Looking at Yu, who did not answer anything to our hero, Yongfen asked if the girl had decided to just crawl forward and then lift her onto her back. He told her to stop putting on airs and just climb on his back, after which, confused Yu agreed with our hero, climbing on his back approaching his sister and Lin, who were sitting nearby, whom the young man was trying to revive. Our hero said that it was necessary to wait a little while for Cheng Yu to revive Lin, and then the girl would be able to treat you. At that moment, snapping their fingers, both girls woke up, our hero was standing in front of them and then the girls did not understand why they fell asleep. 
King Su, looking at the young man, did not understand why she fell asleep. Wasn't she chasing zombies just recently? Then Lin said that she remembered that before falling asleep she felt some strange smell similar to rosemary. In front of them stood Cheng Yu, who apologized to the girls, saying that it was his superpowers. Yu showed the girls three crystals and said that everything was fine now. They defeated these three level 2 zombies and got white crystals, to which King Su and Lin were very surprised, realizing that they really did it, and then noticing that Yongfen was standing behind Yu. The sister asked why the brother was here. Yongfen explained that he had come to see how their training was going, met this guy in between and said that now the young man would be on their team. Then a little embarrassed, the guy said that it meant King Su was his master's younger sister and it was no wonder that she was so cute, like a goddess. Lin, looking at the young man, thought that judging by Yu's injuries, when they lost consciousness, the battle began, and this Cheng Yu was in the enemy team. But then he was accepted by Yongfen into their team and they still had so little experience. They had to obey Yongfen and train properly. Then suddenly our hero's ring lit up and looking to the side he was very tense. Then you asked what happened to the young man and he explained that there was something ahead. Thinking to himself, the young man realized that before the ring had not issued any reaction and suddenly reacted sharply to the manifestation of the exchanger. Was it really a legendary random exchanger? Our hero thought. Addressing Lin Maia Chun, Yongfen asked her to take care of the wounds of Yan Yu, King Su, and Cheng Yu to take care of safety. He would go and see what was there, then Cheng Yu obeyed the owner and said that he would definitely fulfill his order. He would not allow anyone to offend these beauties and would protect them at the cost of his own life. Then Lin looked at him, did not understand what kind of performance it was. King Su, running up to her brother, said that she wanted to go with him. It was very dangerous here and how could she let him go alone, saying that it would not do. Hearing this, the young man was surprised, asking if she was sure she would protect him. Then winking at her brother, she said that maybe it wasn't necessarily the case. Yangfen reasoned to himself that he had hardly had time to be with his sister for the last few days, and she was probably scared because of the apocalypse that had happened even if she didn't show it. But in her heart she was worried and thought that the sooner they left, the faster they would go back. Therefore, the young man allowed his sister that she could go with him. But if something happened, the girl had to immediately run back and not wait for him, so King Su agreed with our hero. They went into some building and then Yangfen told his sister that in unfamiliar places she had to try to walk very quietly. The girl listened to his every word and at that moment they went to the place where the merchant was in front of them. Looking at him, our hero understood that in fact it was a random the exchanger. Looking at the merchant, King Su asked her brother why this one was significantly different from those that had not been seen before. The young man explained that it was a random exchanger that appears in different places in each place. It is delayed for five minutes. Ling Su, looking at the merchant, said that the peculiarity of this exchanger is similar to her superpowers and said that it was very interesting. They were like colleagues with this merchant. At that moment our hero pressed start a deal. Seeing what the brother was doing, the sister asked if she could just get inside. Once inside everything looked like this. Getting there and the young man understood that the sister was secretly hiding the crystal again. Because only when the connection between the crystal and the exchanger was established, you can get inside and the girl said that it was her prey for today, so everything was fair. At that moment, our hero was looking at the tables that were in front of him. Seeing the mineral water, he realized that it was some kind of bullshit and said that there was another card here and that she could go look. The next moment, reaching for the card that was not far from her, the girl asked if she was doing everything right. Then the delivery of a card, a level 1 mechanic profession card, which for the usual price was 2000 grey crystals, but the discount on the ring was 800 grey crystals, the young man understood that it was a very rare mechanic card. When her girlfriend saw it, she asked if it was a good thing. Then the brother replied to his sister that it was a superpower that would suit her sister Yan Yu the most, so it was necessary to buy it faster. Then the girl said that she would give it to her sister herself, because she would be terribly happy. At that moment the girl was thrown out of the deal by pressing the forced exit, then she did not understand why she was here. Seeing that her brother was not around, the girl said that it was cold here and her brother had to come back sooner. Then realizing that he was left alone, our hero understood that after the purchase, the random exchanger immediately proceeds to force completion. At the end of the transaction he had not yet tried updating the abilities of this week's ring, so now was the time. After all, he would not believe that he would not be able to get anything worthwhile here. 
Clicking on the card, he saw a level 4 ear transmitter, a set of 9 pieces and realized that it was a level 4 auxiliary equipment, because this thing can transmit information at a distance of at least 100 square kilometers, among all auxiliary equipment. This invention is considered extremely rare and incredibly innovative. While the brother was looking at his purchases, his sister was walking around the place where they were and realized that this place was a library. The next moment she saw one of the books, she decided to pick it up, look, realizing that the book was on mathematics. At that moment, the girl thought about what she had almost forgotten, because more than a month ago she was an ordinary student. Kingsu recalled her previous life and thought that she must have been in the student park then. At that moment her brother interrupted her memories saying that they had to leave. Then the girl turned to her brother and said that she had one question and she asked him how he thought the young man would be able to go back to normal life. Hearing this question, the brother was very surprised about himself. He thought that his sister had also asked him similar questions in the past, but then he did not have such abilities as now and he could not answer it, even to himself, but now he was completely different. The young man told his sister to let Kingsu believe him while they were alive, there was still hope. Rushing to her brother and hugging him, she said that she believed that everything would definitely be fine with them and that they would definitely wait for that day. Then our hero stroked his sister on the head and said that it was necessary to return, because the guys were waiting for them. Holding the card in her hand, Kingsu, leaving the building, asked her brother how he thought you would look when she saw the card. She would probably be happy. At that moment our hero dragged his sister after him, telling her to shut up. At that moment, Yu was sitting near the wall and Lin was trying to cure her, saying that this time she was seriously injured and still she was a girl, and therefore she would need to stop showing off her strength. Sometimes you could just run away then and Yu said that she understood everything. While the girls were dealing with their wounds, they were protected by Cheng Yu. They say that the beauty should not worry because he would deal with the zombies that were coming right at them. At this moment our hero and his sister were watching from the side and then Kingsu asked the young man maybe they needed help. But the young man said that it was necessary wait a bit because he just joined their team and he wanted to check how the young man behaves. While Lin was trying to cure Yu and told Yu that Lin was fine, because she could stop for a while and then continue talking about what you could tolerate. But the girl said that everything was fine, she just might need their help later. At that moment, Cheng Yu was telling the girls to forgive him. It was all because he was cruel to them. The next moment Yu was telling him not to apologize, because they acted out of their own motives. Even if the young man killed her, only her weak forces should be blamed for this. But the young man asked not to tell the girl so, because if the owner hears, it will not seem enough to him. At that moment he said that he heard that the girl was from Dichuan. Then you said that she had recently returned here and was looking for her father. Her family lived within two rings. After listening to what you said and the guy was very surprised by this, he recalled what happens in the second ring, saying that you can still survive there only if the strongest. Everyone else has probably already died and you said that she knew it. But if there is even a negligible chance that her family is alive then she won't back down. Cheng Yu thought that if her name was Yan Yu, because there was already someone strong with the surname Yan on the ring, was it really such a coincidence? He recalled one man, a new member of the team. The guy remembered about Yan Lei, the head of the Blood Rose community, the nickname of the God of Thunder, for the ability of the Thunderer of the Third Category, controls thunder and lightning, the crown reception is a piercing thunderclap. The body revolution is level 3, at its peak, the character is explosive, decisive. But then the young man decided to ask what the name of the girl's father was. Then the girl said that his name was Yan Lei. Why then did the guy ask and then Cheng Yu realized that her father was the god of thunder. Hearing this Yu asked who the god of thunder was and then the young man also told her that Yan Lei was her father. He is one of the most powerful people in the city Dichuan is even in the top three. At that moment, our heroes were standing behind the wall. And then hearing this Kink Su, I understood that Yu's sister had such a cool dad. Hearing this, Yangfen realized that if her dad was the god of thunder, it looks like he completely changed the trajectory of life. In a previous life, Yu's name really enjoyed great fame, but he had never heard of her father, understood that everything was different in this world. The girl said that even though her dad was a retired military man, she was sure that he would be able to survive, but she did not suspect that he would become so cool. At this moment the young man said that he had his photo in Dichu and there are several influential people who should not be touched. He specially printed out photos of these people and told her to look and say whether it was her father or not. The photo showed a man and taking the photo you realized that it was her father and she finally found him. You thought to herself that it meant they had come to Dichuan for a reason. 
which was a great start. Looking at the young man, Cheng Yu thought that at first it seemed to him that the owner of Yangfen was the most influential, but now it turned out that there was a more influential person, the daughter of the Thunder God himself. This moment our heroes came out. Kinks who told everyone that they had returned. After looking at our heroes, the girls saw Yangfen. Then he said that how they managed to find Yu's father. It was time to start Plan B after hearing about Plan B. Everyone asked what the young man was talking about. Yangfen explained that they had to go to the underworld itself. They would be preparing for a trip to the second ring. They were looking for Yu's father. After hearing this Yu asked if he was sure. Because now everyone was not even able to approach the third ring yet. Approaching the owner, Cheng Yu said that the second ring is completely different from the fourth. There are level 2 zombies roaming everywhere, as well as a lot of level 3 and 4 zombies, a lot of mutated plants and animals. With such a low level of strength, only death awaits them there, the guy explained. After hearing all this, Yangfen said that he understood that, however, strong people chose the second ring as their habitat, which means that there is not only a lot of money, but also excellent sites for training and increasing strength. The young man thought to himself that besides, it was just a stone's throw from there to Zio. He did not know what kind of strength he had now. Given that he had outstanding natural data and had support behind him, it was better for him to deal with him before he became even stronger. Yu, looking at our hero, said that he wanted to see her see her father as soon as possible. She appreciated his kindness very much but said that they should still train. Then the guy said that Si Nan was still injured. Everyone needed to recover. Then the chances of winning they will increase significantly. The next moment, Kingsu approached Yu and congratulated her because she found her dad. And when she just had a gift for a girl, hearing about the goods, Yu was very surprised. Then Kingsu handed her a card in her hands and said that it was for her. Yu was very surprised and thanked her sister. Kingsu told Grandpa not to thank her because her brother said that the mechanic profession suits her the most. Looking at Yangfen, Yu thought that it turns out he did not forget about her for a minute. The girl thought that she would follow him all her life. Using the mechanic card and Yu's fusion became much stronger. The fusion was completed. After looking at her, Yangfen said that with this card she would be able to master any mechanism in a short period of time. Having asked for her gun, the young man wanted to show her something and said that he would do something for her if she would give him her gun for a while. Using his master's gift, he made ice bullets, which he took from Boss Bao last time, because it's great that he could find a use for them now, and also wondered why the owner had such a cool expression, no wonder, because he has a super unique master superpower. Cheng Yu thought, looking at our hero, Yangfen gave Yu her weapon so that she could hold it. Unfortunately he could only improve it to level 3 and said that there was no unique extension. Looking at all this, Cheng Yu thought that it was a level 3 weapon. The young man took it just like that and gave it to her. Throwing himself at the feet of the guy, the young man turned to the owner and said that he was also his brother and a close person and asked to make a level 3 weapon for him. Then Yangfen said that the young man should leave him alone because he had no materials. The young man asked what material Yangfen would need, because he would look for it day and night. Yangfen, seeing his reaction, said that he would later give him a list of materials, whether he would find him or not, then there would be problems for the young man. And then stretching out his hands to our hero, the guy said that he adored his master and wanted to kiss him. Our hero tried to dodge his manifestation of love. Addressing you, the young man said that she should try to activate the gun using her superpower, because ordinary people will not be able to shoot it. Hearing this, his sister rushed to the gun that was in Yu's hands. She said that her brother was deceiving people again, as they would not be able to and decided to shoot. At that moment she realized that nothing was working and asked if there were no bullets there. Yangfen, looking at his sister, said that this was not the problem, because he deliberately made it so that only a real mechanic could master him. From that day on he was going to make you the most unproduced mechanic, armed to the teeth. Hearing this, Yu was very surprised by this, and thought to herself that she would really become the most unsurpassed weapon that only she could master. Returning the gun to Yu's sister, King Su said that it was also for her, because she really could not use it. And then taking the gun in her hands, Yu took aim and decided to shoot. The next moment the bullets hit right into the concrete wall. Yu said that this gun can work with three types of bullets. One ordinary bullet, two ice bullets and three kind of bullets were ice explosion. Seeing this, everyone said that this trick was even scarier than Sister Ziaoan's pure soul. It works at a long distance, and in addition it ends with an internal explosion. It was very cool, summed up Yu. Cheng Yu, looking at the girls, said that it was incredible, and that the master made the best weapon and that he was unrealistically cool. Then Yangfen, covering his ears from his compliments, asked the young man not to exaggerate. 
also addressing all the guys. He said that not everyone had to take these headphones and put them on with this they will be able to keep in touch with each other. Lin, seeing the earphone, said that it really was a transmitter, because now there was not even electricity, and even batteries are very rare, and asked how this thing could work. After putting it on, the girl saw that it was unusual headphones. Kinksu explained to Sister Lin that it was a level 4 auxiliary equipment. There is no need for electricity. You just need to think and at a distance of 100 kilometers they can hear each other. The girl explained that at first she didn't believe it either. But then when her brother gave her headphones, she herself was very surprised by the sound quality. So good, much better than she had before. Listening to the headphones, everyone understood that indeed Kinksu's voice was so crystal clear. And with such a device, they were now not afraid to get lost. Cheng Yu, listening to the girl's voice, said that he had seen level 4 equipment for the first time and it was very different from what the owner had. After gathering everyone, Yangfen said that according to the plan, they would be led by Cheng Yu, who had already been to the third ring, which has a super control ability, and said that everyone would go except Chu Ziyuan and Si Nan and Kishi. They had to stay in the camp with the rest of the ordinary people and continue preparing and searching for crystals. Sister Chu, looking at the young man, understood she was one of them, that he still had not accepted her. Then the girl asked why she could not go with her sister and see Nan also asked Brother Yang. Did he really think that he was so weak? Then our hero said that there was no just on the contrary. Only the two of them will be able to provide reliable protection of the camp. Yangfen explained that Xiaoyan has the superpower of the soul. Initially she was the leader. She is good in command. Si Nan is the strongest in terms of defense in their team. One is good in attack and the other in defense. If there is some unforeseen situation, the guys will definitely cope. After hearing this they were very surprised and said that then they had to meet the expectation of Brother Yan 100%. Yangfen told them to all move out, the next moment his entire team was ready to follow their leader. Yu, looking at the photo, thought that she would definitely go to her dad, because she really missed him and her mom. It was a little more dangerous within the inner ring than on the outer ones, and the owner probably understands this, thought Cheng Yu, who was walking ahead of the whole team. But the owner specifically instructed him to do this, now Yangfen means he recognized his abilities. Besides, he himself gave him a great chance for Cheng to prove himself, the young man thought. Also, Cheng Yu thought that the owner was as good as always, he had thought out a plan of action correctly and planned everything in detail, his work simply cannot but admire. At that moment he saw in front of him that the road he walked last time was now destroyed and understood that this road would not withstand them. If the owner had been engaged in laying the path, of course everything would have been different. Then suddenly someone called out to him, asking where the young man was going. Then seeing the gang in front of him, Cheng Yu asked who they were. In front of him appeared Tian Zhen who was on the evolution of level 3, middle stage, superpower copper trunk, two levels of the initial stage. Also Zio Ao, who was at the evolution level 3 at the peak, the superpower cold flame level 2 at the peak. Sang Yun, who is on the evolution of the third level, middle stage, the ability of the devil sword of the second level, middle stage and with them was Jin Jai, on the evolution of the third level, the highest stage, the superpower sonic boom of the second level, middle stage. After seeing Cheng Yu, Tian Zhen was asked if the guy was sneaking under the cover of night. It looks like he was looking for an exchange. But Cheng Yu said that he was just trying to get some food, thinking that these guys had an incredibly strong aura. They must have been very strong. The next moment, one of the guys said that his cowardly, thievish face immediately showed that there was little good in the young man and said that he was lucky. Today Zhen would do justice and teach him, the next moment the guy hit Cheng Yu right in the face. At that moment, our hero was walking with the girls and addressing Yu said that they had left most of the food in the camp, so they had to save food within acceptable limits. Du and Mu turned to her friend and said that Yangfen did not care about this, but they had to take care of it. For his sake and Yu said that she understood, the next moment they all heard a scream. Yangfen understood that something had happened to Cheng Yu and said that it was necessary to run quickly to help the young man. Then Kingsu said that she also heard a scream and said that it was a long time to run, so it was necessary to use her ability to save time. Taking her brother by the arm, the girl said that now she would be able to bring only one person. First she would carry him. He said that everyone should follow her as quickly as possible. Six therefore, Yu said that Duan Mu should jump on her back because Yu was a level 2 fighter and could run much faster. Duan Mu spoke, in order for you to take Lin better, if someone really attacked the young man, then they will need the girl's superpower. At that moment, Cheng Yu was beaten up and after hearing that he had Rosemary's superpower, they said that it was not bad. But the level was too low, the young man was no more dangerous to them than a bug. 
Ao was holding him, saying that the fact that the young man was still trying to resist was commendable. The next moment, he was holding the guy Cheng Yu and telling him to stay in place. His master will be here soon. He will be able to easily deal with level 3 and even level 4 zombies. He will be here soon and then Ao will be the end. At this moment our hero and his sister were standing around the corner. When the young man saw Zio, he thought about what he would have to do and his sister said that her brother should not hurry. She had a plan to save brother Cheng Yu. Zio held the young man in front of him and asked about his master, saying that Cheng was just worthless trash from the outer rings and no matter how many of them were here, he would kill every last one and attack the young man again. Also, when addressing Chen, he said that would he really threaten him again, or should they have waited for his cursed master, saying that the same thing was waiting for him. At this moment, our hero came out, saying that the guy let him go. Hearing this, the young man turned to Yongfen, who was standing nearby and looking at his sworn enemy. Cheng was lying on the ground, and King Su ran up to him, said that she would save him at that moment the young man was beaten and turned to his sister. The next moment the girl tried to move him, but Zio said that it would not be so fast. Seeing that the guy wanted to attack her, she understood that at least teleportation takes about no more than a second, but his speed was also high. But then our hero attacked him and without hitting the guy, he said that it was a great pity, because he hoped to chop off half of his paws, then turning to our hero. He said that what an amazing weapon the young man had and that he did not suspect that we could find something similar in the outer rings. Talking about that today they did not get out for a walk in vain and that it was necessary to have a good frolic, addressing their group. One of the guys said that it would turn out that even the heavens were unable to resist his beauty since such a gift was waiting for him today. At that moment the fat man behind them said that the sword would be his. Yongfen turned to his sister, and the girl told her brother that she would take Cheng Yu away from here, and what should she do? Then she asked, then the guy said that she should immediately find Lin, let her heal the guy, and then he would figure it out himself. At this moment, our hero looked at the gang that was right in front of him and thought to himself that he could not suspect that these four had already rallied into a team. It's no wonder that Zio had everything in order, even in the most central part of Dichuan, the young man thought looking at his enemy in front of him. King Su, addressing our hero, said that these opponents were too dangerous and Cheng Yu said that he also thought that the owner would need help, but Yongfen said that the guys should go back, well, then the sister, taking the wounded man away, said that her brother should be more careful and brother Yi also said that the owner should be very careful, because these guys were very strong. At that moment our hero stood up with his sword and waited for his sister and Cheng Yu to leave. King Su left and thought that she would find Sister Yu and they would return with her so that she could help the young man. Leaving, the sister looked at her brother, who remained standing alone against the gang. The guy understood that after all it was his old acquaintances, the head of the three Tian Lun camp, as well as the others. Looking at the young man, one of the guys said that this sword was more suitable for him, so his friend could hold his horses. Then he agreed with his friend, said that if he could not take possession then he would do it. And then the guy had to remember that he would owe him several hundred one thousand gray crystals. The next moment, one of the gang jumped on our hero, asking if he would not be able to take the sword from the guy. Then he was afraid that his gift would be so strong that he would just clean up this kid. Looking at his opponent, our hero thought to himself that the main commander of Camp 3 Tianlun, Zhang Yun he was known for his incredible movement speed and outstanding level of body evolution. Combined with the Japanese style of fencing, even Zio Ao could not always win it. At that moment, our hero was attacked by this guy and then, dodging his blow, the young man took the righteous blade three blows to repel his opponent's attack and realized that he had already learned to reflect the reception of this opponent. At that moment the enemy's sword crumbled into pieces. Then another gang member said that this sword was a truly incredible weapon. He still had a level 2 blade. He spent a considerable amount on forging in the exchanger to achieve this effect. But cracks appeared on his blade from this blow, the young man understood. He did not expect that this guy would so famously repel the deadly reception of Commander Zeng. That was a shame, and maybe he would rid him of this extraordinary weapon, his opponent thought. Addressing Yongfen, the guy said that the last candidate was also an uncooperative fellow, the governor general of Camp 3, second in rank only to Zio with extraordinary abilities of level 8 Sonic Boom, which within 100 meters can destroy all living things. He can be equal to Zio Ao. At this moment the young man attacked our hero. After all, he thought that the distance between them was what it should be. Did he think that he could hide from the speed of sound? Yongfen that was right in front of him. At that moment, he saw that someone was attacking him with bullets and at that moment his attack missed. Looking in front of him, our hero realized that they had come to his aid. 
you managed to shoot, coming to the aid of our hero, saying that their commander would not fight alone and Lin was next to her, saying that their commander had both of them. Xiao Ao, seeing these two girls, asked where these two girls were from, that they needed to be killed urgently. His partners said that he was one of them to take it on himself. Beating women was his favorite activity, so he went on the attack on Yu, who attacked the enemy with her pistol, saying that that he underestimated women. When he saw that the girl was shooting a pistol, the young man realized that it was a level 3 weapon and said that of course he was very sorry, but he was not afraid of this weapon. At that moment you saw that her bullets did not take the man. Addressing the girl, he said that he liked the gun and therefore now it will be his. You told Lin to run away faster, because this opponent was very strong. She would try to detain him, then trying to stop the girls. The opponent asked if they really thought they could escape, saying that he very much doubted it and therefore went to attack you. Arriving in time, our hero said that he would not allow his friends to be touched, so he was able to repel the enemy's attack. You saw that Yongfen arrived in time and Lin was also very glad that the young man was able to protect them, so repelling the attack of his opponent, our hero told him to move away from his friends. Looking at the guy, the opponent said that the young man really had an incredibly powerful weapon, but he would not believe that the guy would be able to resist his two fists. Then Zio told him to stop, because he was not his rival, and turning to Yongfen, he said that the guy was talented, a guy like him should not was vegetating on the outskirts of Dichuan. Walking towards our hero with his attack, Zio said that it was a pity that the guy was unlucky with the opponent, because today they had to celebrate his funeral and fought with our hero. At that moment, they locked their fights. After the attacks were repelled, our hero thought that Zio was as capable as in his previous life, and Zio thought that this boy was not as simple as he thought. Watching our hero, Al thought that the young man was very strong. He not only managed to repel his blow, although he tried his best, but also to make his hand tremble, especially since the young man had a powerful weapon in his hands and Zio thought that he would not say that he could easily win it. Yangfen, looking at his opponent, thought that in his past life he was called a genius with dignity, because Zio was one of the ten strongest heads of all the support bases of this world. From his blow, the young man realized that he almost dropped the sword and understood that they seemed to need to raise their level of strength as soon as possible. At least three levels of evolution have been reached, and the guy understood that now he only had to force him to retreat. If he counted on a real fight now, Yangfen and his teams were at a great disadvantage. At that moment, the girls approached Yongfen and asked how he was and what they needed to do, because these opponents were really very dangerous. Yu shouted that she would die, but would not give up to them, just in case the young man had to say something. Yongfen, turning to the girls, told them both to shut up, because none of them would die today. At that moment, the Zio gang saw that it was a perfect sage and the girl was a healer, and that these were also very rare superpowers. Then turning to the commander, the second guy said that there was just not enough perfect sage in their camp and whether it was not so and the one who would grab her would accomplish the feat. The next moment, one of them said that no one should touch it. It would be his feat and told the girls to go straight to him. Then you saw what speed their opponent had in our hero, too, making a lunge. Said that with his insignificant abilities, did the guy really expect to be able to grab his man? At this moment our hero wounded his opponent, saying that he should not move because if he moves, he will bleed him. The guy looked at our hero and thought that the young man was so confident only because of his extraordinary sword, if not for the sword. Jen would have easily killed him, the opponent thought, looking at the tip of the knife, which was put right to his throat. Yongfen said that he was counting ten. If they didn't leave here, he would kill everyone. At that moment our hero started counting, and Zio started laughing and talking about helping him count and counting to one right away. Zio, addressing Yongfen, said, did he really think that he could kill this guy? He was afraid that the young man had very little strength, and attacking our hero said that it was necessary to attack altogether, addressing Tian Zhen and said that he should be strengthened, because soon they would take a completely wise man and cure him his. The young man standing against his opponent said that if to tell the truth, they really were not their rivals, but if four people with superpowers and one mutated means joined them, he gave 70% that they would be able to beat them. Then Zio, turning to Yongfen, asked if, in his opinion, people with superpowers grew on trees. Was he making fun of him now, and especially a creature with a mutation could not obey the will of a person? The next moment a shot rang out, and the gang thought that more people had arrived here. Our hero understood that his friends, the next reinforcements, had finally arrived. The two sisters appeared in front of our hero, and then King Su brought everyone else, saying that Cheng Yu should hold on, because he will soon be helped. 
All the guys came to help our hero. King Su shouted to Sister Lin to come to Yongfen faster and needed help and that the guy was barely holding on. The girl could not do this. Then you said that there was no place for Lin here. She had to go and cure the young man. There she could use her powers. So Lin agreed with her and said that she would go treat the young man. The next moment, the girl said that it was all her fault. She messed up everything and brother Cheng Yu suffered so much. But Lin asked King Su not to cry. It's not her fault. The wound is not serious. She will be able to cure him. At that moment, the gang was looking at the girls and at the reinforcements. Then Zio said to himself that he did not expect that reinforcements would really appear here. Besides, the strength level of this creature was quite high. The guys understood that they were trapped along the way. Because at that moment they were surrounded by Yongfen people. Pointing the gun at Zio, you said that there were more of them anyway. Did they still want to continue resisting? Yongfen, looking at them, thought that these guys were behaving very strangely. They should not remain so calm surrounded by so many fighters with superpowers. Really because of the rebirth that happened to him, they also have hidden abilities, our hero thought to himself. Zio said that since there are so many people with superpowers here, they have no more reason to hide their true powers and told his teammates to unleash their talents. At this moment the guy who was standing next to our hero said that he had been waiting for these words for a very long time. It was finally possible to let off steam, like it follows that at the moment he used his real strength and went on the attack on our hero. Yanfen, attacking him with a sword, understood that he could not penetrate his opponent in any way. And then he said that the young man was really trying to scratch him behind the ear, because his body was made of copper and he was not afraid of the blade, even the fourth level weapon. After all, our hero understood that he could not cut his opponent. At that moment, another one broke free and then, holding a sword, went to attack Duanmu and Xiaoan. So Duanmu realized that it was the enemy aiming directly at them. The next moment, Xiaoan decided that it was necessary to protect her friend and herself, saying that he would not succeed and the speed was high and that he'll miss. But the next moment the enemy attacked the girls and his sword ran into something hard. Duanmu saw that the kid who was with her, given to her from the tree, saved them using his stems and then the enemy could not cut this tree. But after pushing a little he still succeeded and he was able to attack the young man. The force was so powerful that it even cut the girl's clothes. The next moment, attacking the girls, he told them to go to the next world. Duanmu understood that she would not stand against this blow, and our hero, seeing this, shouted to the girl to try to save her. But then Zio said that the young man now does not have much time to worry about others and attacked our hero. He defended himself with his sword then and Yu said that she would help her friends. But Yu was also in the sights of another gang member and running up to the girl. He said whether she was sure she could help someone, because soon she herself would come to an end. At that moment Yu realized that she also had a strong opponent. But then lightning rang out and someone asked, and who dared to touch his daughter? Hearing this, the girl saw her savior, who attacked the enemy. Looking at the stranger who appeared, she recognized her father in his face. The next moment, one of the guys tried to attack Duanma and then hugging together with Xiaoan. The girls prepared for death, then the newly arrived hero said that the guy really wanted to kill them, but he wouldn't let him. The opponent understood that the deputy commander of the Bloody Rose, Mu Huadao, was in front of him. He did not expect that he would also appear here in the next moment. Our hero fought Zio Ao and he said that, of course, the young man could not be broken by this technique. The young man was very strong. Then Yongfen told him to stop pretending. Looking back, Yongfen saw an unfamiliar man and asked why Yu's father was here, however. He had to admit that this man appeared here on time otherwise they would have suffered serious losses. The next moment there was a sound behind our hero and turning around, he saw that an old enemy was attacking him. The young man who attacked our hero said that he had been hiding underground for a very long time to grab the guy, and now he had to die. The next moment someone attacked him and after looking the young man saw a man, saying that he had no shame or conscience. It was the commander Liu Chuanfeng. Zio, looking in front of him, saw strangers, and then he realized that all the members of the Blood Rose team were here. Were they also from the Blood Rose? He thought about his opponent Zio. How said that this was how the blunder came out, because who would have thought that these small fry were working under the auspices of the Bloody Rose? Even such thugs could be pinned down, it looks like nothing will work out today. Then Yu's father said that if the opponents wanted to continue the fight, then their guys would also join. And then Zio said that of course, but then his partner interrupted him and said that, of course, they wanted this and that they would fight, because one of them said that he didn't care about their bloody rose, because he would tear them to shreds, which Zio Ao did not expect from his partner at all. 
hitting his partner. Ao asked what kind of fight he would fight and was he completely crazy. Then he turned to the God of Thunder and said that Zio respected, but with their team of sacrifices to the God of Fire. Jokes are bad. He Zio remembered everything that happened here for a long time. Addressing him, he said that he had received an invitation from Tianlong, the Heavenly Wheel, and refused. How long he thought their bloody rose would last, then the man said that of course there were more of them and much better. For this damn heavenly wheel full of malice and cruelty, they became a pack of mutts. The more people they bite, the more their master is happier in his soul, the god of thunder said. Zio turned to Yongfen and came up and said that he had nothing such powers and offered him to go with them, because they wanted to create the strongest camp in which people can live. They were much stronger than the thunder god. They had as many as ten exchangers in their arsenal. So the forces and resources were ours. Then our hero began to laugh loudly and Zio thought that the young man was crazy. Our hero showed his strength. Then Zio asked why and what he was doing. The next moment he told one of his people to freeze in place and not attack the young man. Passing by Yongfen Zio said that it would take a little time. The young man would stick with them before the last judgment of the heavenly wheel. The next moment, the gang was leaving according to Zio. One of his partners asked the boss why they were retreating, because it was just a bloody rose and they met with them on the second and third rings and they have nothing to fear from them. Then Zio, turning to the young man, asked if they had the strength for this and said that they had seven with superpowers and three big men from the bloody rose, they could not stand in a duel with them, Zio said. In addition, the problem of the first and second rings will soon be activated and by that time they will not have to do anything, because they will all be already dead. At that moment, the father saw his daughter and said that he wanted to look at her and why did she lose a lot of weight, and was light as a feather, the girl was embarrassed, and then the father hugging his daughter was very happy. You asked his father how long he had not shaved. Realizing that he was very prickly, the man said that he had not shaved for about five weeks. You the next moment asked her father where her mother was. The father hesitated at first and did not answer anything. Then you asked her father again. The next moment, they came to the Bloody Rose base. When they arrived at our base, the heroes were conveniently placed, and then Yu's father said that it was their camp. They had converted an air defense military base, so it is much safer here than at other bases. Yu, addressing her father, asked if her mother was here, then one of her father's partners said that her mother was not here now. The girl asked in surprise where she was, because it was so dangerous outside, where did she go? Then the father informed his daughter that her mother had gone for supplies and she was much stronger than him. His comrades picked him up. They said that it was true she would be gone for two or three days, then she would return. Recreation Room Looking out the window, you said that it was necessary to wait for three whole days to see mom, and the father sitting opposite her said that the girl should not worry sooner or later, but they would still see her, and now she needed to rest a little and dad was there, so no one would offend her. At that moment, one of his partners saw the guys off and said that let the father and daughter talk about the past, and the guys had to follow him, because this building used to be a military base, there is a lot of space here, enough to arrange everything. Kinks who followed her brother and said that she wanted to go to mom and dad and that she was very jealous of you. Then the young man said that they would soon see their parents. As he walked, he thought that for some reason it seemed to him that Yu's father was hiding something. How can you get supplies for three days, especially in such a dangerous environment? Spending three days there and staying alive is an unusually difficult task, unless Yu's mother is really a very strong woman. Like they said, then there is a small chance in this. Then they were escorted to the room saying that these two are rooms that had been prepared especially for them. The young man went into one room, and the girls went into the other. Cheng Yu said that then he and the owner would stay here, and Duan Mu, coming into the room, said that the girls would spend the night with her. The next moment, Yu's father's partner asked why our hero did not come in. Then our hero asked if he could use their exchanger, if he could buy something. Then the man said that he was a friend of their commander's daughter, so of course he could use it in the end. The exchanger the most valuable resources in their time. I also turned to Yongfen. The man said that asking such a question, he should be sincere, if he did not play any role for their base. He would be afraid that he would hardly have given him information about the exchanger. Our hero understood everything. Addressing the partner of his girlfriend's father, Yongfen said that his super master ability, if they provide him with material, he will be able to equip all members of their base to the teeth. And seeing the weapon that the young man held in his hands and the man said that he could forge seven level one guns from two bullets. But in fact, there was a real master. In that case he would not beat around the bush and told the young man to follow him. Bringing our hero to the merchant, the man said that it was the newest exchanger on their base. 
They had emptied all the previous exchangers for a long time. Then our hero, seeing this, looked at the merchant in front of him. The man was telling the young man not to forget what he had promised him and he could use it whenever he wanted. Then our hero was telling the man not to worry about it. Approaching the merchant, the young man began the transaction. While the man was looking at the young man, he thought that the Lord had not left them in such a difficult time, sent them an incredible gift and their faithful beloved young mistress. If only this guy would make an excellent weapon for them and then the bloody rose could fight the heavenly wheel he thought. Going into the exchanger, our hero saw a lot of cards and thought that these guys really didn't seem to use this exchanger. All the names in the test field were untouched. He would try to open the rest later. Now he needed to look at the red wallet. Clicking on the card, which was called the Ice Rider test and the number of attempts was 3 out of 3, so he wanted to choose this. So moving in the ice the young man thought what he could expect this time. The young man was interested. The next moment, our hero was looking at several guards who were right in front of him. His ring was glowing. Yongfen, looking in front of him, realized that this time he would have to fight several at once. The next moment, he took out his sword and fought with the knights who were right in front of him, defeating one by one, fighting with several, repelling their attacks, attacking the knights. Our hero thought that they were weaklings. Yongfen reasoned that in addition to numbers, they did not have a single advantage, but his superpowers began to change. It seems that soon he had to make a breakthrough to level 3, so by killing these riders, he accumulated the combat experience necessary to break through to the next level. Having defeated several, our hero was still facing a whole guard, and then he said that they should have been bolder. The young man should have become even stronger the next moment, after fighting several. Our hero thought that the master of the third level of the test gave him the opportunity to increase his strength one level higher. It seems he finished here he must be about to be thrown into space from the conclusion of the deal. Lighting the way with his ring, our hero did not understand why he could not get out, nor had he finished yet. At that moment our hero turned back because something attracted his attention from behind. Looking back, the young man saw one rider who was on horseback and realized that it turns out those with whom he fought were not so strong yet. There was an unusual rider in front of him. The young man understood that he seemed very strange to him. The energy that emanates from him is very similar to the dark family that indicated the approach of the end of the world. The next moment, the rider ran straight at our hero, trying to attack him. The young man realized that he would have to fight with level 4. Before that he had already had to face such a force. When he fought with Sayo, the young man was at the peak of level 3. He had no way out, because he could not hide from his attack and not to respond to it. Our hero thought, reflecting the attack of his opponent. The attack was so powerful that the young man was thrown aside and dropping his sword. Our hero thought that his opponent was really very strong. From his power he could not hold the sword in his hands and another attack was made on him at that moment. So looking in front of him, the young man understood that he had his opponent had a very wild speed. The next moment he attacked our hero. He was dodging and trying to escape. Looking at the rider, the young man understood that with such speed and strength, this monster could easily dodge, even without weapons to attack. So the next time he grabbed another weapon and in the hands of the rider there were already two with which he attacked our hero. Seeing this the young man realized that it was a fatal blow, which the rider wanted to inflict on him. The young man took his blow and thought that he had deliberately avoided vital places, otherwise he would not have survived. After this blow and even a chain mail made of gold and silk would not have stopped the blow, and the young man realized that this rider was really very strong, thinking about how long he had been so close for the last time to death before being reborn. Addressing the rider, the young man thanked him for experiencing this exciting feeling again. The next moment the rider attacked the young man again and our hero understood that it was absolutely impossible to defeat him. The probability of returning from here alive is zero. However, since dark energy continues to spread through his body, what will happen if you pour purified water over him and our hero thought and took out a bottle and decided to try it? The next moment, the young man broke his weapon and jumped away from his opponent who attacked him again, and then threw the bottle directly at the knight, trying to strengthen him with water, then he just threw the bottle away. And after looking at it, our hero understood that nothing had happened, but at least now he knew for sure that he was afraid purified water, otherwise he would not have prevented it from breaking on his armor. A beam was sticking out of the hero's chest. The young man understood that in this state he would not last long. At that moment his opponent jumped on our hero again and attacked. Then he still understood that now he had to make his strike to defeat his opponent by jumping on his weapon. 
with which he attacked our hero. The young man had one last bottle of purified water. His strength was running out and it was his last attempt. But then suddenly he saw that the enemy went on the attack and attacked our hero in the other shoulder. Then the guy realized that he could no longer avoid his blows, otherwise there would be no more opportunity. Then the opponent realized that the young man was able to attack him with purified water and hit him right in the head clutching his head to the night. He did not like what the young man did and our hero understood that in a previous life, purified water from the ring was an antidote to mutation. But he could not even think that he could use it in such a place. It seems that the field of tests is somehow connected with the changes that occurred in their world. The end of the world. The exchangers, the black seed, the field for the test and that someone was definitely behind it all. At that moment the system said that the test had been won and our hero understood that his test had come to an end. Then several windows appeared in front of him that reported the win. Winning. Ability to extract ice. Description. Can be used by a master above level 4. A master can extract water vapor from the air and make weapons from it for himself. Snow White War Horse. Description. The ghost horse of the ice rider has an extremely high defensive ability. High speed. Movement does not require rest. Strength enhancement drug. Description. It can be used by people with level 2 to advance to level 3. It is not recommended to use it to jump to a level, death is possible. Seeing this, the young man understood that what great things, during the end of the world, danger and a chance for a better future are constantly in contact. It's just a pity that now the young man could only become a level 3 master. The next moment the young man realized that he was breaking through right now, he got the energy needed to break through by killing their boss. Having felt the power that he had, the young man understood that he had broken through to the master of the third level and then clicking on the crystal near him. The young man understood what it means, what the mutation of the second level of the master's superpower looks like. But promotion can be dangerous, so I exchanged it first, otherwise I could have died of bleeding, then nothing will save him. At that moment, our hero saw the system window. It was written there that he had a level 2 drug for healing in the amount of 3 pieces. The usual price was 100 white crystals, and the discount on the ring was 40 white crystals, and therefore the young man pressed the exchange button. After drinking the medicine, our hero understood that level 2 immediately felt much better than a level 1 drug. So then several more windows of the system appeared in front of him. The young man wanted to look further. Now all these things that were in front of him were his. In front of the young man there was a drug for healing in the amount of 3 pieces. The usual price was 100 crystals. The discount on the ring was 40 white crystals. Also a drug for increasing strength. The usual price was 100 gray crystals. And the discount on the ring was 40 gray crystals. Also the young man had purified water in the amount of 5 pieces. The usual price was 10 gray crystals, with a discount on the ring of 4 gray crystals. Choosing all this, our hero understood that all this would be useful to him. Looking at the glowing ring, the young man thought that now he still has a weekly gift. What will he get this time? Then a card appeared in front of him and seeing it in front of the young man was a drug to increase strength. Its usual price was 100 red crystals, and the discount on the ring was 40 red crystals. Thinking to himself, the young man saw a drug to increase the strength of level 3. It's really not bad. But the price is 40 red crystals. He now has only one red crystal, which he got when he killed a wild pig. It looks like he will have to send the girls to the trials a little earlier, our hero thought. The next moment, looking at his hands, the young man realized that it looked like his clothes had become too small for him. So here, just like in his previous life, along with an increase in the level, the body also increases in size. At this moment, our hero was completing his deal and exiting the trade, appearing in front of the man who had been waiting for him all this time. The man turned to our hero and said that he congratulated him and now the young man was at level 3, looking at his clothes, which were too small for him. He asked if the young man was on the field of tests, to which our hero reported that it was so. The next moment, Youngfin asked if it was possible to leave two more tests for them. The man reported that of course, but only if the young man makes weapons for the members of their base. He also understands that it was very difficult to find an exchange with weapons, they also bought two weapons. The young man reported that he would make a level 2 suitable for each weapon. But he has one condition. They had materials and a hundred red crystals. Upon hearing this, the man reported that if these were the conditions of the young man, then it was a mere trifle. Because they are all at the peak of level 3, it will not be difficult for them to go hunting zombies of level 3 or 4. The man told our hero that they were actually constantly collecting different materials in order to one day meet such a master as Yongfen. 
who would be able to provide equipment for their entire team and asked, however, can the young man give them a guarantee that each weapon will be level 2 and what if a mistake happens and then to do. When our hero heard about the mistake, he was surprised and said that then he should have looked for himself. The next moment he made a new weapon from those that he had and Yongfen said that he never made mistakes. If the materials allow, a master of level 4 can create weapons of any level. This is significantly different from the previous three levels. Yongfen handed his new acquaintance a weapon. He picked it up and said that it was really a level 2 weapon, and even with additional features, and that it was an excellent thing, he liked such an exchange. The next moment, he threw a bag to our hero and said that there were 50 red crystals here. He had to consider that for an advance payment. When Yongfen made a weapon, the man would immediately give him two half, our hero agreed. The next moment, the guy went to the exchanger and started the deal again, while the man admired the weapon that our hero made, saying that the quality of level 2 weapons really differs. If you provide all team members with such weapons even when attacking the heavenly wheel, they will have something to answer them. Yongfen said that he would leave this thing for the guys, it is not so easy to provide an entire base alone. But although in a previous life the growth of forces was rapid, one person still cannot do it, so it is necessary to have certain powers to survive during the apocalypse. The next moment, having bought the necessary things, the young man withdrew from the transaction. Turning to the man, he told them to go to the warehouse with materials, then he accompanied our hero, saying that he had to follow him. The next moment they were in the warehouse and the man explained that their warehouse was located here. The young man could use the materials that are here. There are a lot of remains from mutated level 3 animals. In addition, it was the most valuable thing in this base. It was a level 4 iron rhino horn. They paid too high a price to deal with it. Then the young man said that Liu could guard the doors, no one should disturb him when he was working, he needed to concentrate. The man thanked Yongfen and said that he would do as he wanted and went out the door, leaving our hero to work alone. The young man was left alone and looking at the horn, he thought that he had made so many level 2 weapons in one breath, and he was very tired. Now Yongfen will improve his weapons, the next moment he took out a sword and a horn. He connected the horn together with this weapon. Yongfen understood to himself that mixing a level 4 fire weapon with a level 4 bone weapon was simply wasteful. It was possible to lose the amazing functions of the weapon. He said that the game was not worth the candle. Thinking that Yongfen would rather change his clothes, the next moment he made himself an armor from this horn. Realizing that there were two more special effects, the young man realized that he seemed to have made the right choice, and now he decided to improve his weapon. The next moment, when he finished, the man went inside and saw that there were a lot of weapons on the floor and said that the guy was very generous. Giving him the bag, Liu said that there were the remaining 50 red crystals and a few more bottles of the strength-boosting drug, because his friends would need it all, to which our hero thanked the man and they went together to the rest of the Yongfen team. When they came to Yongfen's team, everyone looked at the funds that the young man gave them, and Cheng Yu said that this thing was worth 100 white crystals, what a noble man brother Yang was. Duanmu, looking at the bottle in front of her, asked Yongfen where he got so much strength enhancement drug, to which the young man said that he had made a deal with Liu Chuanfeng. Looking at his friends, the young man announced that they should drink, because they spent a lot of effort to get here. Their body condition is much to be desired. So the guys had to drink this drug. Everyone listened to our hero and began to drink while he began to talk about the rest of the things that he got. Taking out the bag, the young man said that it was a bag for storing weapons. It can be used in the same way as the Kinksu chain. Now it has a new weapon that he made for everyone. Then they can store it in this bag. Hearing about the new weapon, the girl thought about the flying cannon because it looks very cute. Description, self-consciousness is three levels for controlling weapons of a high degree of difficulty. Only a person with a mechanic's superpower can control a mobile cannon. The attack power is comparable to a level 3 attack. This gun went to you, of course, who was sitting next to our hero and admired his gifts. Kinks who got a light level 3 feather blade. Description: The level 3 weapon is as thin as a feather, but do not underestimate its power. It can easily penetrate even a steel coating. Special effect can penetrate armor of equal level and also level 4 weapons. The next one was Duanmu, who was holding a level 3 Thunderfoot in her hand. Description: Level 3 defensive weapon. It can add lightning strength to both legs and increase speed. Special effect at speed, both legs can knock out thunder and lightning. After seeing the weapon, Duanmu said that she also now has a weapon to attack. Thunderfoot, she finally joined the ranks of fighters. Nearby, Che Yu said that even he would have his own weapon with which he could control the flow of wind. 
The most unpleasant thing about his superpower is getting rid of the intoxicating aroma and now he will be calm. The young man had a cloak domineering over the wind flow of level 2. Description It is possible to control the flow of wind, but due to the low level it is impossible to use it as an attacking means. A level 3 waterproof skirt, level 3 protective gear looks no different from a regular skirt and even has a sexy frill, but at the same time completely reflects the attack of three weapons. When Lin saw the new skirt, she did not understand what brother Yan had given her. She said that he always surprised her with his gifts. Xiaoan was nearby and saw super short tight shorts. They were level 2 cold shorts. Outwardly they look like ordinary and short tight shorts, but in fact they are an important equipment for a person with ice superpower. It helps to increase strength and also has a level 2 protective function. Special effect, increases the power of the ice superpower plus 30%. The young man said that moreover, they and the two will get acquainted with the new equipment as soon as possible, and after that they will go to the exchanger to come and increase their level. Their team needed even more strength, our hero said, addressing Yu and Duanmu. The young man also said that he put a level 2 recovery drug in their bag. He was counting on the girls very much, so he asked not to disappoint him. Looking at our hero Yu and Duanmu agreed with him, saying that they certainly would not disappoint him. The next were Xiaoan and Cheng Yu, the young man, addressing them, said that now that the two of them, after sorting out the new equipment, would go together with Mu Huadao to meet Sinan and Chu Xiaoyan. This time the young man was afraid that their path would not be easy, so the guys had to be careful, they also agreed with our hero. The next Kinksu came up to her brother and said how she was, because the young man probably had an important task to entrust to his sister. Lin stood behind her and informed her that she really needed to try on new equipment, so she would leave for now. Stroking his sister on the head, our hero said that, of course, he had an important task for his sister, but first she had to drink what was in his hand, and then the young man would tell everything. Trying to smooth her hair, King Su was unhappy that her brother stroked her head like that and said what was it that he gave her. Was it really a drug to increase strength? While drinking the drink, the girl said that he said that he would tell her everything when she drank, so she would not waste time. The next moment, after drinking the drug, she said that she had drunk everything and now her brother had to talk. Now she is still at the third level of strength, so she was curious about what kind of task she could do and did not need to underestimate her. Then, stroking her head, Kingsu again told her brother that he touched her hair. The young man explained to the girl that her main task was to stay alive, no matter what happened and just live. Hearing what brother Kingsu said, she was very surprised and looked at him. Then the ground suddenly shook and Lin, who was approaching Yongfen, said what was happening. Was it really an earthquake? Then the young man said that someone must be trying to get into this base. Then suddenly a young man ran in and reported that the Heavenly Wheel group had invaded the territory of the base. They had to fight back. Then an unknown man suddenly appeared, driving around in a car, and said that he would kill the immortal Buddha, fight like the devil himself, and who would dare to stop him. Along with him were his companions, it was the Heavenly Wheel, Zhang Erle, a level 3 peak superpower, a bomb-making expert, an explosive technician. There was a girl next to him, saying that with a sharp knife, the water would flow even more. She did not strive to be a mean person. Let the streams be squeezed in a vice sooner or later there will still come a day when the dragon raises its head. It was Liu Tony speaking from the Heavenly Wheel, a level 4 superpower, attack like the sea. There was also another man who said that he weeds bread at noon. Drops of sweat fall to the ground, who knows what awaits in the plated dinner, and he has worked hard. These words were the men from the Heavenly Wheel, Ju Dali superpowers of the third level of the lower stage, Purple Poison, and addressing our heroes, they said that it was useless to shout. Then Yu's father came out to the strangers, saying that who were they, why did they come, did they want to die? The girl, getting off the car, told him, Yan Lei, that her master sent her to ask the man for the last time if he would join the Heavenly Wheel group. If the answer is negative, then all three of them said he would die. When my father heard about death, he said that then he wanted to see if they had enough strength to kill him. The next moment, one of the men was telling the boss that they were very strong and that he was taking a very big risk. But then the boss was saying that if they didn't fight back, the heavenly wheel would consider them dirt. He wouldn't let some nobodies attempt on him. Turning to his boss, one of the bandits said that he would let him deal with Lei and used a series of eight fold grenades attacking Yu's father. The next moment everyone was shouting and calling for the boss, then our hero appeared, saying that everything was fine with Uncle Yan Lei, and that they were not about what was there to worry about. 
At this moment, Uncle Lay said that they were so insignificant and weak for him and attacked his opponent, to which he shouted to his boss to help him. At this moment a girl attacked Lay using her strength, saying that civilized people should be able to keep calm. The next moment, Yu's father began to fight with the girl, and everyone was watching this fight. Using his power, Yu's father was able to attack everyone and everyone ran away saying that they had to leave soon, because it was the Thunder God, the true gift of the Thunder God that he used right on them. Looking at all this, Lin thought that this is what kind of power a person of a really high level is capable of the level of strength, and the kind of pressure that came from him. Then the God of Thunder said that now the opponents would get acquainted with his electric fist. But the next moment he saw that something had happened. His blow was reflected. There was a girl in front of him who was able to repel his blow from the opposite team and then the boss's partner said that her hair they have a very strong protective function it looks like the girl had four levels. When Kinksu saw the girl, she said that this was an incredible strength, she would hardly ever go bald. Then Yongfen asked why he pays attention to such strange things, it's actually her superpowers, besides a very high level. After seeing the Thunder God, the girl said that the strongest of the blood rose. Did he really? Did this have any meaning for them? But if the man himself joined them, the owner would give him a drug to increase strength above level 4 and the Thunder God could become as strong as she was. However, another member of the team said that the man underestimated the set of their kindness, so he would have nothing left but to choke on his gorgeous anti-tank grenades. Looking at his opponents, Lei asked if there were serious guys, thinking that he and Yan Lei would become someone's dog and told them not to dream of using force against their opponents. Then the man told the boss not to do it, but the boss had already gone on the attack. The girl from the opposite team said that the man could use any techniques, but the outcome would be the same. The next moment she attacked him with her hair, and using a powerful prison attack, she was able to tie Yan Lei. The next moment one of the fighters broke right through to his partner and decided to attack him with a grenade. Then looking at this, Liu asked if the opponent was not going to give up, then he would kill his youngest and he would die alone. The opponent threw a grenade at one of Yang Lei's team members, and Liu swallowed these grenades only ate them looking at this. Yang Fen said that there was not only Yan Lei in the bloody rose and that the man had to spit it out. The enemy told Liu to swallow, and then he tried it, a sevenfold burst of bombs. The next moment, the man's stomach exploded and then seeing this, the god of thunder shouted and called brother Liu, Everyone ran to him, because the man fell. Kingsu said that she would help him, but Yangfen stopped her and said that Liu was injured because his strength level is much lower than the one with blue hair. Did the girl really think that she could handle him? Kingsu said she didn't care about it, but she only knew that Uncle Liu and Uncle Yan were trying to save them, and therefore she wanted to help them. At that moment, Kingsu moved directly to Uncle Liu and said that she would help him now. At this moment, the enemy attacked her, saying that the girl was insignificant with a level 2 of strength. Did she really want to save them from him? That was naivety, and throwing grenades at her, he wanted to use an explosion on the girl. Kingsu understood that she couldn't hide behind her brother all the time and she had to become as strong as her brother. The next moment, using her weapon, she dealt with the grenades and moved along with Uncle Liu. Looking at her, the enemy understood that to his surprise, the girl was able to repel the bombs he created. It looks like she has a weapon at least above level 3, because he did not imagine that he could stumble upon such a rich harvest here and understood that this dagger that she had in her hand, no matter what it was supposed to be his. Kingsu moved to the base and thought that she was able to save Uncle Liu, but at that moment the enemy caught up with her and attacked the girl with her bombs Yongfen who managed to help, thought that it looked like his one fight after the upgrade became stronger much earlier than he expected. So he was able to save his sister and looking at him the enemy I didn't understand if there were other strongmen on this base. Leaving, Yu and Duanmu also asked who dared to make noise at their entrance. Did they really get tired of living and seeing Sister Yu, Sister Duanmu? Everyone was very glad that the girls came to their aid. Yangfen, looking at the girls, understood what it meant that both of them had also completed the conversion to a new level and passed the tests, now they were even stronger than before. Then he did not have to fight. At that moment everyone was looking at the girls who left the house, and the father who was tied up was standing next to his an opponent. The girl thought that in the end their trump card also remains on the sidelines. The next moment the machine gunner who attacked everyone with his grenades wanted to see what they would say to that. A twenty-fold burst of bombs, he did not believe that everyone would cope with it and threw his grenades directly at the girls. 
but you attacked him with her weapon and was able to deal with the grenades. Throwing three more grenades at the girl, the opponent told them to destroy her, used an explosion. You did it not by chance, because they have others who want to show themselves. At that moment Dun Mu came forward and using her new weapon was able to shove the grenade and throw it right into the opponent's mouth that it exploded right at him in the face. Running up to the opponent, she began to beat him with her shoes, saying that he really wanted to hurt her friends and that he should have been ready to fight her. Youngfin, watching all this, thought that it looks like this time. Thanks to the test, they not only increased their strength, but also finally understood the true meaning of this life in the apocalypse. Treat your enemies without the slightest leniency. At that moment, Duan Mu was grabbed by something and when she saw it, she understood that it was hair and interrupted her attack. The girl thought that from the point of view of mechanics it was simply impossible. She understood that it was necessary to retreat and investigate everything thoroughly. But the hare grabbed her leg and the next moment the girl was held hostage Duan Mu and Yu's father. The next moment, she asked if the guys really didn't take their heavenly wheel. Was it serious? Dropping Duan Mu in front of her, she asked if she didn't think she was joking. Then Celsius rushed to Duan Mu. But the next moment she was attacked by opponents, protecting the girl. The next moment, the girl said that why were everyone so stupid? She repeated 1,500 times. Nothing would work. It was completely useless. She had level 4. The next moment something happened. You said that she didn't think so. At first she was on the girl's right and then she was on the left and the next moment she attacked her opponent. To which she said that it was like they had to try her strength each in turn or only then they would understand everything. And the father said that the daughter would leave faster. But Brave You said that she had to save him and do and move. The girl said that you would go forward, and the next moment she attacked her right in the stomach. Then you did not understand how it was possible, but she did not feel the girl's speed at all. Her gun was broken and you was severely injured. The next moment the girl flew to the ground. The stranger said that you was certainly very tenacious, but this is even better to some extent. The next moment she attacked her, directly hitting her on the head with her shoe and said that they had no one in the bloody rose who could give a decent rebuff and at the same time the man dared to refuse to join in the heavenly wheel. Whether he really wanted to die, a stranger addressed Father Yu. At that moment, King Su broke away from her brother's hands, saying that the young man let her go because she had to help Yu and Duan Mu, and that the young man stopped holding her. Then Yongfen said that she should take her time and wait a little longer and should let them understand something. Then the sister asked what she had to let them know. Yangfen said that to understand what is called relying on each other. The next moment Yu was tied up and everyone saw that the opponent was attacking the girl. They wanted to help her, but they could not. Then they could only look at how Yu was lying under the feet of her opponent, and her father and Duan Mu were next to her. Addressing the girl's father, the stranger asked if the man really had the courage to call himself the God of Thunder and said that he should stop deceiving people. It was time for him to change his name and be called a snake-like god. The next moment, she was telling all his colleagues to look, because their master was a complete jerk. Were they sure they wanted to follow him? Following such a commander, only the bottom awaits them. Looking at this, Duan Mu thought about the commander and that Yongfen had not yet intervened. Then what was he waiting for? He was waiting for what she guessed. The next moment the girl was telling the commander to save her. Hearing that they had another commander, the stranger asked how many there were in total. The next moment something attacked her. Yangfen appeared in front of the face saying that he was their commander and would finish off the girl in one minute. This fight would be the achievement of his final domination from that day on. No one would dare to call him Yangfen, but only commander standing against his opponent thought Yangfen. Then the girl said that she had seen a lot of guys like him but they were all incapable of anything. The girl said while lighting a cigarette and that she had to be able to answer for her words and she would start by cutting off both his hands. At that moment she went on the attack on our hero. Holding his sword tightly, Yongfen said that their battle would last exactly a minute. He would let her strike first. Otherwise he was afraid that the girl would last less than a minute. The next moment something caught his attention. Lin was shouting for Commander Yong to look from behind. Someone said that they really decided to joke with her and no one would be able to repel her blow from such a distance, and that the young man would die. The next moment, the young man realized that it was level 4 and his clothes were also torn. Looking at himself, then the rhino horn clothes turned on the protection mode and it was activated and therefore the hair could not injure Yongfen. Looking at the young man, the girl understood that he began to have protective armor of level 4. Where did this boy come from in general? and let him be a commander. But where could he get such equipment? The girl asked, then addressing her the guy said that not only this guy has a weapon, 
but next to her was another one and his partner. Looking to the side, he said that all ordinary people in the Bloody Rose have level 2 weapons. Did they rob the efforts of the god of money? or not. Looking at this, the girl thought, what was wrong with that? Was it really so terrible? Saying that soon the heavenly wheel will have more weapons, if they beat them all. Then I was standing next to Zhu Dali. The girl said that he should use his superpowers and not miss anyone. She wanted to destroy them all, let the bloody rose become really bloody. The next moment, her partner used his strength and superpower lilac poison, which he pumped into the girl's hair. Since the girl's hair was holding Duanmu and Yu's father, Duanmu understood that it was very painful for her. What kind of poison was it that the man poured into this hair? It felt like strong acid was burning the skin. But she understood that no matter how painful it was, she would not scream, because she I shouldn't have distracted the commander. And Yu's father said that it all happened because he was a weakling, was to blame for the fact that Yu was subjected to such suffering. Looking at his daughter, who was next to him, at that moment our hero jumped up to the enemy, and was ready to attack him using his sword. The young man thought to himself that Yu and the others were poisoned, they would not last long. There was no more time to delay. First he would finish him off with poison, the young man thought. At that moment the girl's hair began to attack our hero again. She said that 30 seconds had already passed and that she and her partner were the perfect combo. His poison could burn through the armor of a young man and it didn't matter that they were level 4. They wouldn't be able to cope with the poison, because it's an unusual poison it's corrosive acid. Attacking our hero, the guy realized that his clothes began to tear, even if the girl was able to destroy his protective armor. But his blows still have no effect on Yongfen, and he thought that he would finish the girl anyway. The next moment he cut off one of the parts of the hair, but it didn't scare her, and she asked if the guy was sure and asked him to look at his legs. At that moment, the young man's legs were all covered in poison and when he saw the poison, he realized that it turned out to be him and said that the girl had spent so much effort to cover the entire surface of the earth with her hair not so that it would be convenient to attack, so that all this space was under his control and the girl said that the guy I realized it too late. Addressing the young man, she explained that she was in the top five of the strongest in the heavenly wheel. Their joint work with Zhu Dali makes even their master cautious. She had the most powerful power that the owner gave her. Looking at the girl's hair, our hero listened attentively. The next moment he was furious, she was telling everyone to die. Looking at the hair, everyone thought that it was useless to run. Were they going to die now? Even the commander was not able to resist this unknown force. All the partners from the Red Rose thought. Uncle Liu was lying on the ground and told everyone to run faster, because he knew what this girl was capable of. Everyone had to survive and everyone didn't have to die with him here. Next to him was King Su and Lin, who were trying to cure the man, and next to them were the partners from the Bloody Rose. Looking at the man, everyone asked how he could say that. King Su asked how Liu could say such a thing when her brother was fighting for him and for everyone to shut their mouths. King Su also said that her brother would never lose, he could not do it for anything and that they had to believe in their commander because he would definitely win. And everyone was inspired and said that it was necessary to do as the girl said. Because Yongfen was fighting for them and they should not have just said goodbye to life, rooting for Yongfen. They said that the young man should finish off this girl. Our hero was fighting a fierce battle and thought that it looked like hiding his powers would not work any further. He needed to open up a little and then he decided to change the ability. In the next moment, he used the superpower of the Ice Makers masterfully, directing it directly against the girl's hair. Using his strength, Yongfen realized that it was his first pen test. He did not know if it would be successful. Then looking at Yongfen ahead, the girl said that the truth is not true. The devil is not the devil. Penline the abode of the immortals selects Dachira, strength in death, strength in life, to draw a sword and kill his own devils. The road to hell is ordered for him. The man standing next to the girl said that when you finish with the bloody rose, he will give her some interesting books and said that today he was a beautiful moonlight. She wanted sharp chicken legs. Then the girl informed her partner that he still reads few books. If he wanted to become a sociable person he had to read more. While she was saying this to her partner, at this moment, while they were distracted, our hero was fighting with the girl's hair using a magical ice mountain of swords. Seeing a mountain of swords and ice, the girl did not understand what it was and her partner said that he did not know anything. Everyone else at that moment, looking at the battle, thought that everything was quiet and tried to figure out what it was, a mountain of ice and where it came from. The opponent said that who was it who stopped her blow. At that moment she saw that the ice doors opened and in front of her was Yongfen, who was walking in front and said that there were still 10 seconds left, and there would be exactly a minute, looking at the girl in front of him. 
and turning to our hero. It turns out she said that it was a young man who did it. Unfortunately his legs were damaged by the effects of poison and the young man could hardly walk. Even if he could do it, give him at least 10 minutes. She said that he would not overcome her anyway, so he had to stand there and humbly prepare to die. The next moment our hero was saying that who said that he had to go by himself. The next moment, using his strength, he told his partner to come out and it was a frosty warhorse and said, heading towards the girl, that the last 10 seconds were left, they would see if they could manage to create a miracle. The young man thought to himself that this technique requires being at close range of the enemy, so he would not use a horse. The girl, attacking the horse with her hair, said that he had a lot of interesting things. She stayed to kill the young man and all these things would become hers. Realizing that the distance was suitable, the young man decided that it was necessary to attack. The next moment the opponent saw the attack of our hero. Using his strength, the young man said that it was necessary to pierce. The next moment he heard screams and everyone who was near this place understood that someone screamed in pain and what happened there. Someone said that it seemed to him that it was a female voice. It can't be that these skywheel scoundrels injured young lady you and that the fog was so thick that this huge wall of ice and nothing could be seen. Kingsu jumping from her seat said that she had to help her brother. Then Lin holding her said that the girl only had to look at this sudden long wall that appeared. Who knows maybe she was dangerous. What they would say to Yangfen later, it was necessary to wait a little. At that moment, the wall in front of everyone began to collapse and looking at the fog in front of them. Everyone said that some silhouettes appeared there. The next moment it was Ba Xian Lei and the others and in the very front was Yangfen sitting on a horse and then Kingsu saw her brother, the girl understood that the young man had won. Lin said that it was the commander and everyone was glad that our heroes had won. At that moment the opponents were lying under their feet. The Doe, addressing our hero, asked if maybe this one also needed to be taken with him. Who was lying on the ground throwing bombs earlier? The young man said that it was not necessary. Anyway he would not tell them anything of value. The next moment, our hero dealt with his opponent using his strength. Having reached the base, our heroes began to treat the wounded and Lin said that she could heal their wounds, but this poison seemed to be impossible for her to cope with it, which is why the young men left two of their opponents alive, because this poison is level 3 and the girls with her first level powers could not compete with it. The man was saying to help her boss immediately. If he cured her, then he would be able to get rid of the poison. Only one in the whole Dichuan was able to cope with his poison. The young man said that Lin would help them to make sure that they lived a little longer and that would be quite enough. Then Lin said that she understood everything. The man shouted that if Yongfen cured his boss, he would do nothing. After hearing that the young man threatened him, our hero used his strength, and he said that if he wanted to kill him, so he could kill him, if they did not help him, then he would also die and no one would help him cope them with poison. I thought to myself that even if he lost his life, he had to save the boss, who was sitting next to him, talking about a girl with long hair. Pointing a weapon at the opponent, Kingsu asked if he really wanted to save his boss. She also wanted her commander to be alive and well. And if he did not agree, then she would take and cut his boss into pieces, right in front of his eyes and asked if the man wanted to look at it. Then he told her not to do it and not to touch his boss, he would do everything himself and help. Said that he did it, jokes aside, it's all on her conscience. Otherwise she would hurt him, so she would want to say goodbye to life herself. The man understood everything and understood that he had been freed. Yongfen was telling her to free their bodies from the poison, pointing at Yu and Duanma, as well as the Thunder God. Approaching them, the young man said that it might hurt a little, but the God of Thunder was not afraid and told the man behind him to start ridding them of this poison, because he would endure everything. Zhu started to rid them of the poison and after feeling the pain, everyone understood that it was very painful. Yu and Mu, who was sitting, who was also being rid of the poison, thought that if it was possible to take this poison for research, surely it would turn out to be a super strong weapon. Yu said that she was not afraid of pain and just felt so sorry for the weapon she was looking at, because her gun was broken. The next moment, the man cured them and said that the guys were alright and now it was Yongfen's turn. The next moment he grabbed his legs and told the young man to silk to hell. He grabbed their commander and that they immediately cured his boss otherwise the man would kill their commander. After seeing everything that the man had cheated, they rushed to help Yongfen. But the young man stopped them, turning to the man. He said that he was secretly in love with the boss. Was it so? Hearing this, the opponent blushed and asked if the young man guessed. After hearing everything that Yongfen said, Everyone was very surprised. Turning to the opponent, the guy said that the man was only talking about them saving his boss. Her life was much more important to him than his own. If he said that he simply respected her as a senior mentor, then no one would believe him anyway. At that moment the embarrassed man could do nothing more talk. 
Yangfen, sitting on the floor, said that if he freed his body from the poison and answered a few of his questions, the young man would think about letting him and his boss go. So turning to Lin, Yangfen asked the girl to help the long-haired one who was sitting next to him. Lin approached her and said that she it will help. The man agreed to Yangfen's conditions, said that if they let them leave, he would answer any questions. The next moment he was ridding the hero of the poison, and Lin was able to cure the girl that was lying on the floor and then seeing it, the man was very glad that the boss woke up. When she saw what her partner was doing, the girl asked if he was healing Yangfen from the poison, and that he should have stopped immediately, whom she told. But the young man informed the boss that they had made a deal, if he cured him, the young man would help them. Using her hair again, the girl asked if he would really help her. There is no need for that. But the bloody rose is the base of the unfortunate scum who feed zombies and nothing more. Hearing about the fact that the base feeds zombies, Yu was very surprised. The next moment her father was silent and did not say anything. Then the girl continued and said that even if they saved her life, but she would end them here, turning to Yan Lei, because he was a complete jerk who could not even face the truth and accept the death of his wife. She also said that even if the owner saw something in him, he would not entice the men to their side, telling them to die. The next moment her partner asked the boss not to do this, because now this fight was useless, the guys would kill them. At that moment the hare was going straight to attack Yangfen. At that moment, Yu was next to her father and asked her father what this girl had said. Did her mother die and then her father said that it was all his fault, because he had to die. Then turning to sister Yan and uncle Yan, King Su rushed straight to them. But the next moment our hero attacked the girl and pierced her chest. Then the man shouted to the boss and called her. Wounded, she understood that Yangfen could become an obstacle for the owner, and that he had to die attacking our hero, the girl said. But at that moment her partner came to his defense, trying to protect our hero. The girl's partner told her to become, because she was not their rival and that she could die. He asked him to come to his senses. The heavenly wheel does not care about them. Erle is already dead. Ju said that he did not want to lose her and asked her to come to her senses. But the girl said that the young man should let her pass, otherwise she would kill him, too. She knew that he loved her, but she could not like the pathetic stickler. Only for him, for the holder of the heavenly wheel, Zuo Lingyun, she was ready to sacrifice everything what she has. Hearing this, Ju was very upset and said that he understood everything that she could have killed him. He did not want to see the girl die in front of his eyes. At that moment our hero said that he did not stick at all. Just the girl was a greedy and cynical person that she had to burn in hell. The next moment he attacked her and then seeing it, her partner told her not to die. And dying the girl said that it was for the sake of the heavenly wheel. Holding the girl in his arms and addressing the boss, the guy said that she was very stupid. The heavenly wheel just used them both. Then Yangfen said that the man should tell him why the heavenly wheel invites all the factions to him. If he says, he will let him take her corpse. The guy said that everything was because a very rare random exchanger appeared on the first ring, and there is one very difficult test on it. By winning this test you can get a rich reward. But the heavenly wheel will not be able to complete this test on its own. So they are looking for people who will be used as cannon fodder. They it will take a lot of meat. And this is their main goal. Yongfen, addressing Lena, said that she would cure the young man and she said that she would cure him. But the guy said that he did not need it. He apologized and asked that they be buried together. He would be very grateful. The next moment, he used his poison to die next to the girl. Duanmu, looking at this, understood that even during the end of the world, one can meet such pure true love. Kingsu, looking at this next to Duanmu, thought that if the day ever came when her brother put her in danger, she would do exactly the same as this man, who protected his boss and his beloved. Leaving them, our hero said that it was necessary to bury these two together. The next moment they were all walking through the tunnel, and then they said that they would soon be in place it was there ahead. Then Duanmu told you to be strong, because her friend was with her. The girl said that she understood everything. Lin turned to our hero and asked the commander, saying that his jacket was torn. Maybe she needed to sew it up then. The girl suggested. Now there was already a tense situation. It was not quite convenient to be distracted by something else. And our hero said that it was not necessary to do this. Kingsu, addressing her sister Lin, said that she would be fine. Then the young man said that she would be fine, because she was strong. The young man thought to himself that it looked like you had gained experience in such matters and began as a result. Now she understands how other people feel. The father brought the boys to the door and said that now they were in place. And then, addressing you, the man said that her mother was here, whether the girl wanted to see her, whether she was sure of it if her mother was still alive but for sure she would not want the girl to see her like this. But you told her father to open the door. It didn't matter what she looked like now, she was her mom, period. 
The next moment, the doors opened and a terrible creature appeared in front of the girl, who was shackled by several handcuffs on her legs and hands. Seeing this, the woman went ahead of them and then you and her father looked at her. You ran to her mother and her father told her not to go there. The next moment our hero froze her leg so that the girl could not move. Then she shouted to Yongfen to let her go. Coming closer to you, Yongfen asked if the girl really wanted to die or if she thought that becoming a zombie would be able to save her mother and asked if her brain was also infected. At that moment she had no choice to answer. Yongfen, coming closer to the woman, said that the infection was at a high level. You can only try to go to extreme measures. Purified water can help before the infection process begins, but he will still try just in case. At that moment he had a serum in his hands. Then Kingsu, addressing Uncle Yan, said that his brother had purified water in his hands. With his help you can get rid of the zombie poison and she said that they should not worry, because they will definitely be able to help. After all, you was their friend. At that moment looking at Yongfen, who was ahead she called him the commander. Yongfen came closer to the zombie and was able to cleanse her with holy water the next moment the girl started screaming. But the god of thunder said dear that it was a cleansing process, and you, looking at her mother, told her to hold on because she would soon get better. At that moment our hero saw something that was abnormal. The woman was embraced by the green light, and after that she began to pronounce the name of her husband, the name of her daughter. She thought to herself that she was so tired and so exhausted and so wanted to sleep, remembering whether the dear one who lay next to her and did nothing while her daughter could help her eye was in the girl's arms. The next moment, she remembered how you and she were hugging and crying while the man sitting at the table was telling them to bring wine because the wife only knew how to annoy her husband, and he wanted to drink and threw a bottle at two women who were sitting on the floor in front of him. The next moment, the mother remembered that her husband's mother was shouting at her and talking about what was difficult in raising a child, because she had once raised her son. Why then the girl could not do anything and that the girl was a good-for-nothing fool. At that moment she was crying and she was holding her daughter in her arms. She was captured by bad memories. She thought that she was very tired and no one wanted to help her. And the girl was crying and wouldn't stop in any way and that she was a good-for-nothing fool. Such thoughts were in the woman's head and her head was torn from it. The next moment our hero realized that she was breaking through and the woman mutated. Yongfen said that purified water could not cause such an effect. The dark seed took possession of her negative emotions and everyone had to leave faster, looking at the zombies in front of him. Our hero understood that when a person meets his closest people, he not only experiences positive emotions, but also negative ones and the dark seed is just it reveals itself best there. Thanks to him it becomes a hundred times stronger. At that moment, the woman acquired a level 4 zombie mutation and then they told everyone to come out immediately. At that moment Kingsu turned to her brother. But the young man said that there was no time to explain to her that she had to run faster. They could not cope with this zombie. Yen Lei shouted in his darling to wake up and you also tried to help him, trying to call out to her mother. But the woman was very angry and attacked her father. Then seeing this you said that the mother came to her senses, but the woman was already standing behind her and was ready to deal with her daughter. Yongfen said that she was no longer her mother and it was necessary to step aside, because he would get rid of her. The next moment the young man wanted to attack the woman, but you rushed to her aid, telling the commander that she understood everything that she was a zombie, but she was still her mother. Seeing this, Yongfen understood that the girl stood up for her mother, but the next moment she wanted to attack her daughter, and with tears in her eyes, you apologized to her mother. Seeing this zombie decided to attack her daughter, but stretching out her hands to her, you said that she had just come to see her and she apologized in front of her, telling her mother that she loves her. The next moment, the grains of the brain began to recover, and the woman with tears in her eyes growled, but she did not attack the girl. Then Yongfen thought that really in this, even in this case, there is a chance to save the woman. In the past there was no such situation. The woman stopped and did not attack her daughter. Then you shouted to her mother and asked if she remembered her after all. It was she you. But the next moment the story about the loved ones ended, and the woman started attacking her again. But then there was a click sound and our hero was able to grab the woman in his icy hands. Turning to you, he asked and told the girl that it was necessary to stop following a whim and did she really think that with one word to her mother she would be able to reach a woman and asked if the girl was the heroine of a melodrama. At this moment, grabbing you the thunder god and the young man was saying that it was necessary to leave. There was no point in staying here anymore, however, he noticed something. Leaving with you, he told the girl that he seemed to know how to make her mother a person. Because you asked about what the young man noticed and then asked in surprise if it was true. 
while they were running out of the door and closing it behind the guys, the young man said that they would be able to return her mother to her former appearance, depending on whether they could win a prize for the main test of Dichuan. Explaining to everyone, the young man said that the Heavenly Wheel also wants to get this thing, but is in a test offered by a random exchanger and rejoicing you said that if it was really so, then they had to go there. Everyone said that if there was the slightest hope of extracting the lady, the Bloody Rose camp was ready to sacrifice anything to go with them and they thought that the boss also agreed with them. Then Kingsu, addressing our hero, said that it was necessary to move out immediately. Yangfen said that it was not worth rejoicing so early, because even if the Heavenly Wheel did not have enough strength to win this test, looking at them now, they were nothing more than cannon fodder. He would like to increase the level of his strength, but is it easy they are even afraid to be outside the doors? They do not have an exchanger, and they cannot find a drug to increase their strength, not to mention that they will move decently in strength. Kingsu said that in order to laugh at the end, they urgently need to increase their strength. The young man said that he would be able to prepare the drug himself, only Duanmu would need help, and after hearing Duanmu said that she was very surprised that our hero needed her help. Then, turning to her, he told her to pack her things faster. Tonight they are moving out together with the prankster. The rest will stay at the base to wait for the return of Cheng Yu and Xiaoan, who went after Si Nan and Chu Xiaoyan. Then everyone listened to their commander. The famous place of absorption in the city of Dichuan, in the past was a people's park. This time our hero understood that he had to rob this place a little. The city of Dichuan, the center of the third ring, the people's park, where our heroes came. At that moment, Duan Mu and Yangfen were watching the situation from behind the fence. Then behind them stood a baby who had grown up a little, the sprout from the tree that Duan Mu had given the tree. Yangfen listened to the radio that was in his ear, and was told that Sister Xiaoan had already returned with Si Nan. They encountered some troubles on the return, but Mayo Chun looked at them and everything was fine. Looking at the park, the young man turned to Duan Mu and told her to check if there were mutated zombies in the park. They had to prepare for going there. Duan Mu agreed. The next moment she decided to check if this was the case. The next moment she said that there were no level 4 zombies in this park. But there was something else. Then when Yangfen heard this, he asked what was there. The girl said that there was an incomprehensible area here. She could not determine what was there and said that this area was very similar to a black hole. The girl said that she had two assumptions. One that there is no life in zombies and two that this is a passage into the dimensions of ogres giants. He said that it was clear to him that this was enough. Addressing Yongfen, Duan Mu asked if they would go there and then, and he also said that of course they would go. Because if you don't try, you won't find out, the young man said, as she thought it would be safer to walk or on a motorcycle, Yongfen asked. Following the boss, Duan Mu thought about what the boss said, if there is something unknown to them now, then they will not stop. Their team has the strength, it was impossible to stop. At that moment, they were walking through the park and then hearing that it was too quiet, Duan Mu told the boss that she would check the situation ahead. But at that moment he told her not to do it, because something was close to them. The next moment, looking in front of us, our heroes saw a giant snake and then Duan Mu explained that it was a red asp. The books say that he does not exceed one and a half meters in length, but it is too big and clearly he was a mutant. Then the young man said that it was not the time for science and Duan Mu had to move, because this monster was already very close to them. The snake rushed to attack our heroes and then the kid who was with Duan Mu started fighting against him and Duan Mu said that the little spirit was very brave. The little spirit was very proud of himself, and our hero watched that this kid had just grown up to level 4, could already safely kill Asps 3, and said that Duan Mu fed him very well. Then, addressing the boss, Duan Mu approached the snake and told him that it was a snake's gallbladder. Why was it not like an ordinary one? It looks like a diamond. Then our hero, coming closer, said that it was a gallbladder, but because of the snake's mutation, it crystallized that's for sure. He could combine him with her weapon, it will add to his consuming properties. Hearing this, Duan Mu was very happy and saying that then this time the little spirit performed a feat. The spirit next to her was very happy about this and our hero said that he remembered this act. And now they need to go, because they needed to find materials for a drug against mutations. So they moved deeper into the park again. Touching the trees, Yangfen said that the park corresponds to the rumors, a lot of strange flowers and unusual herbs. They came to the right place, then Duan Mu, looking ahead of herself, said that why didn't she see these plants from them you can make a drug for mutations. The young man looked in the direction where the girl was looking, said that he was not I'm sure, but it all depended on the girl. 
When Duan Mu heard that everything depends on her, she was very surprised. Then our hero said that this was his trial version of the drug and asked if the girl would analyze it for him. And he would go to collect materials for now, everything was simple. She just needed to find out these properties. Duan Mu looked at the drug and thought that this place could help them all become stronger, so she would do her best. At this moment our hero was collecting materials by shining through the soil. He was saying why someone was hiding and that they should have already come out. The next moment there was a strange plant in front of him. Duan Mu completed the analysis and said that the composition of this drug really includes elements of mutating plants. Having saved that sample, she would be able to reproduce it. At that moment she looked at Yongfen, saying to herself that the boss was not even paying attention to her now, he was conditionally a machine. Looking in front of her, the girl had some purified water, which she secretly poured from the boss. She wanted to save for future research. Now the life of Yu's mother depends on her. And then pointing her glasses at the water, the girl apologized to the boss, saying that she only wanted to help Yu. Turning to Duan Mu, the young man tried to understand what she was doing and then he realized to himself that she wanted to find out what was there and he decided that he would not interfere with her. The next moment something caught his attention and he understood what it meant that what was in front of him did not want to come out. Then he decided to use his strength, and decided to attack the stranger. Attacking, the young man said that they had one purpose, to become his materials, and contrary to expectations they were hiding a level 4 plant. Did they really want to bring it out and our hero said and using his strength, he wanted to see how they would behave in front of the blades. There were roots in front of him that he tried to attack and then such their young man walked forward. Looking ahead of him, he did not understand why they still did not want to go out. This little thing is not worthy of him soiling his hands on it. Then suddenly our hero saw a tree that went wild and looked at our hero. And then when he saw the tree, the young man realized that it was the local ruler and that he had been keeping himself waiting for a long time. Attacking the tree, the young man said that it was at the peak of level 4, all because his body is a treasure. Killing him is like killing a hundred small fish, so he drew his sword and attacked the tree. At that moment, Duan Mu was telling the young man to stop, which he did not expect at all, and then she touched the bark of the tree. Approaching the tree, Duan Mu said that they had no evil intentions, they just needed some materials for medicines, and she asked the tree to let them collect these medicines. Seeing the girl who was standing right in front of him, Duan Mu asked him again. The next moment, the tree listened to the girl and dropped its fruit. Looking at the fruit in front of him, the young man did not understand what it was. Duan Mu also did not understand what it was. Then the fruit split and some kind of creature flew out of it. Looking in front of her, Duan Mu said that the rulers responded to their request, but asked them not to harm the local plants. Also allowed them to take not only the material for the medicine for free, but also any that they liked. And the girl was here to keep an eye on them, told Duan Mu about the creature that hatched from the fruit that was right in front of them. Then the creature said that people were strong, of course, but there is a force stronger than them, if they continue to fight. Then in the end everyone will be absorbed by him and she was going to fight him. If he gets out of the park, then all people will come to an end. After hearing this, our hero said that everything was fine. They would do everything according to their requirements. Looking at the creature in front of him, the young man thought that a similar girl was talking about a guy from the zone that Duan Mu could not scan. In the past this place was called the Land of the Devourer. The similar creature was somehow connected with this, but since Ant is sure that she can suppress him, then the guy has not yet he has grown to a state where he will become invincible. Maybe if he kills him now, he can get something unexpected, our hero thought. But he understood that before that he had to collect all the materials. Walking ahead of the creature that was flying in front of him, the young man thought that now his main priority was to increase strength. Without strength, all this was just empty talk. Then the being looking after our hero understood that it looked like the strength of this kid was in that strange ring that he wore and that she had never seen such a thing. Even her who had lived for hundreds of years was very impressed. Looking at the young man, the girl thought that if they cooperate with him, maybe they could destroy that devourer. Based on his past life, our hero understood that his level of ability was more important than the level of evolution. If you leave a little drug exceeding the strength for analysis, then you can use local materials for production. After all, there should be no one in this park. Could there be merchants here? The young man thought as he collected materials. The next moment he was looking at Duan Mu. They say that he was almost finished here. They could slowly move on to the next place. At this moment the creature that took after them said that the guys should wait. There is something to discuss with them. If everything works out, then they could take all the plant materials from the park that she wished I could no longer interfere with them. Then Yongfen thought to himself that he did not expect that the idea of showing the power of his ring would immediately succeed. 
The intelligence of these mutant plants is as good as his in his previous life. Then, turning to the creature to be next to him, the young man said that it was difficult to refuse such tempting conditions and asked to tell everything first. Then he would decide. The creature said that she hoped that the young man would be able to team up with her to defeat the devouring monster in the center of the park. If they killed him, she would not only allow the guys to collect any materials from the park, but also make a special gift. Then Duanmu asked what she meant by a special gift. The creature said that it was talking about a mutated wisdom core in its body. After hearing about the wisdom core, Duanmu was very surprised and then the creature said that she noticed that the guys could create items, so they should know that the wisdom core can help improve their abilities. The duel looking at Yanwen understood that he was very surprised. Was the core of wisdom really so powerful? And she was wondering if she could study it? Then the young man asked if the creature was sure that it could give him a bucket of wisdom. The creature said that she was sure of it, because she had already lived too long. Even her mutation is not like the others. She has as many as three wisdom cores. Our hero agreed. He agreed to cooperate, but the girl had to prove that she had this core. Plus he has an additional condition. If you get rid of this guy, then all the treasures that he has, including the crystal core, will go to our hero. At that moment, Duanmu and our hero were following the creature that was flying ahead of them. And then the creature said that they had agreed and that it was necessary to move out already. Following the creature our hero asked if something would go wrong. Then for sure he would immediately run away. Then the creature said that they were plants. Unlike people, were not such visionary creatures. Her roots extend throughout the territory of this park. So it was in her best interest to help the young man. In case of failure she would be swallowed up by that creature. Hearing this, Duanmu told the boss what exactly the core of wisdom was. Why they needed it so much. Yangfen said that the core of wisdom is a first-class thing with which you can accelerate progress and intelligence, then I will hear about this role. The girl repeated so that you can accelerate progress and intelligence, isn't it contrary to the law of nature, and said that by the way there is almost no vegetation left, even the ground is all cracked. Yanfin in front told Duanmu to look not only at her feet, but also forward and the next moment looking in front of her. She still understood that they had to overcome this monster. Then seeing this, she asked how it was possible. It was a black hole in the middle of a large pond and where the plants absorbed by it go. Coming closer, the girl did not understand what it was. Then the creature flying over them said that the guys should not make noise. Because they could wake him up, they had to try to finish him off with one blow, since they had no chance in an open fight with him. Therefore, I turned to our hero. The creature asked if the young man was ready. If they had no more questions, then it was time for them to enter the pond. Yangfen said that he was ready. It only remained to pass something to his assistant at that moment he was calling his horse and Duanmu was standing next to the horse that was licking her. Then the boss said that she was already familiar with his smell and they were practically friends. So the young man told the girl to stay here. But if any dangerous situation arose, she had to spit on everything and get on a horse and run away. Duanmu, who was standing next to him, listening to him, wanted to object to our hero, but the young man said that she thought it was an order, then after listening to Yangfen, the girl said that she understood everything. Our hero at this moment, together with the creature, were standing near the pond to which they were supposed to go. The creature said that there was only one meeting with this monster, she did not see it completely, but noticed that it was gigantic in size and clad in a very hard shell from the outside. By the way, she managed to pierce it in the chin area and it seems it was his weak spot. Then jumping with the creature into this hole, our hero he said he understood everything. Many evolving organisms do not require a lot of oxygen. They feel comfortable in the water. I wonder what this monster looked like. Then descending lower and lower in the water, the creature said that the young man should be attentive because she felt his approach and that he was in front. At that moment, our heroes saw a giant crab of level 5. Yangfen understood that this monster does not sleep. Such a giant mutated creature must have deadly properties. It is not surprising that even grass does not grow next to the pond and said that it was necessary to be beaten first. But the creature stopped our hero and told the young man to wait. The creature reported that this opponent was still sleeping because of excessive vigilance. He had developed the ability to sleep with his eyes open. But in reality he was napping right now, last time she didn't know about it and it played a cruel joke on her. The girl talked about rashly going into a frontal attack. They could not defeat him, they had to act more cunningly. The creature informed our hero that he had to follow her and hit him right in the weak spot. Only then they would have a chance and looking out from behind the mountain. The creature said that the young man should look carefully. Here is his weak spot. 
During the last battle, she was able to get away from him only after hitting him there. Now he had a scar. She herself was so badly injured that she slipped from level 5 to 4 and lost one of her wisdom cores. The young man, looking at his opponent, understood that today they had an ideal chance to finish him off and thought that he should put all the blows in his area of that scar. And at this time she would try to hold him, the girl said. Then the next moment they decided that they had to proceed with this attack. The next moment our hero decided to attack his opponent and realized that he had woken up. Then he told the tree to hold him tighter. At that moment our hero attacked his opponent. Then the young man said that he was doing everything he could to this opponent above him by a level. Duanmu thought that she would like to know what was going on at our hero and what kind of monster lives there. So looking at the pond that was right in front of her, she asked the boss to come back as soon as possible alive and unharmed. At this moment our hero was fighting with his opponent, realizing that he was not his rival. The tree screamed for our hero to hide, because the opponent saw him. Then the young man said that if he wanted to kill him, he wanted to see if he had enough strength for it. The next moment he attacked the crab that was right in front of him, in his sore spot. But this did not break the crab in any way, but only broke the sword of our hero. The young man did not understand how it could be. The next moment the crab grabbed our hero by the leg and the young man understood that he had only one way out. Then the tree said that the young man would rather come up with something, because if the crab swallowed him, then the young man was finished. At this moment, our hero was getting closer to his opponent's mouth. The crab was right in front of the young man and when he saw the man, he was very angry. Then the tree said that everything was over, everything that gets into the stomach of this monster gets into the eyelids. If you swallowed it means you are not a tenant in thought. Is she going to die here too? The next moment our hero broke right out of the crab's insides. Looking at this, the tree did not understand what was happening. How was this possible? Was the person still alive? Then our hero, breathing in, said that he was finally free. It seems today he will not return empty-handed and said that if you cook this monster, it should turn out very tasty. Seeing that the young man was alive, the tree said that it was simply impossible. She saw with her own eyes how he was swallowed, then standing on his opponent. The young man said that with the help of ice he could create any objects he wanted. He could even create an exact copy of himself. Just that the young man said that he swallowed another his. Yongfen explained that while he was distracted by her, he had time to hide and a crushing blow and asked what they would do now. But at that moment something happened and then the young man said that now it was necessary to finish him. To begin with, it was necessary to raise it to the surface together and the tree agreed with our hero. The young man understood that his physical strength was quite limited. But he thought that it should have been enough. And the tree, looking at our hero, understood that now she was looking at him with completely different eyes. The next moment they grabbed crabs and tried to lift him to the surface. At that moment she was duly watching the water standing at the top this put. While she was standing at the top, suddenly the horse that was near her began to break out and then the girl asked him to stand still. They first had to figure out how to help their boss. You can't just throw yourself into the pond. The next moment, suddenly there was a splash and the girl saw a huge crab that was right in front of her. Directing her power at him, she would like to attack her opponent, but suddenly realized that the crab was not moving. Was he really dead? The next moment our hero emerged from the pond and the girl, seeing him, asked if the boss was okay. Standing next to the girl, the boss said that it was not quite, because he was soaked through. He would not refuse dry clothes. 